Hey, y'all. Let me know if you can hear my voice in the chat. I'm in here. So tell me if you can hear me so we can get this thing rolling. Okay, I think I can hear myself. So I hope y'all can hear me. If you can hear me, give me some thumbs up or some purple hearts so we can get this conversation moving, child. Okay, I see a yes. Thank you for letting me know you can hear me. So let's see. I got my girl, Danny 100. Thank you, says I'll be here. Thank you so much. My friend Rock Just Living is in here. My my friend Queen Chelsea is in here. Danae, hey, 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 y'all. It's good to see y'all. Thank y'all for making it through. It's been a minute, but we are we in here, child. We're gonna we gonna we gonna make it work, okay? Let me see. My computer moving so damn slow. That's what took me so long, but baby, we made it, okay? So, first of all, how's everybody doing? Because it's been it's been about three weeks since we've been on this live stream. So I hope everybody has been doing well. And I'm so glad to see that y'all made it through the live stream because Honey, when I say I've been all over the place, I've been here, there, and every damn where trying to figure everything out. And I'm like, I'm going live, I'm going live, and still hadn't had a chance to get on live, but I done made it back. So we in this thing, and we're going to have a good conversation today. So I hope everybody, like I said, has been doing well. And I've been doing well. I just, like I said, I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off, okay? But I'm doing I'm doing good enough to be in here. So we doing good. Let me see. My friend Black Butterfly is in here and says, hey, y'all. Hey, Black Butterfly. It is good to see you. And thank you for making it in here. Mind Bites that made it in here. Hey, Mind Bites. Thank you for making it, friend. Thank you for making it, friend. And I appreciate all y'all for leaving the Purple Hearts. I truly, truly do. Let's see. So if you're in here, please go ahead and hit the like button so we can get this uh, this video out. Let's see. Mind Bites says, hey, come on in. Yes, yes. Come on in, y'all. So if you ain't been here before, Come on in, have a good time, say what you got to say, because we all, we all walk, all, all opinions are welcome, child. Let's see my friend, Naturally Marge is in the building. Hey, Naturally Marge says, I'm here, girl. Thank you so much with the Purple Hearts. I appreciate you for making it through. Y'all make sure y'all go over to my friend's channel and subscribe to her because she has definitely been dropping content as well. Naturally Marge definitely has some good quality content. My friend Mindbite says subscribe. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed and if you haven't, um, if you haven't hit the like button, go ahead and hit the like button as well. Let's see, free, uh, Sierra, Sierra side with the purple heart. Thank you for being in here, Sierra side. I appreciate you for making it through. Cream seven ninety four. Thank you for making it through. Says, hey D, hey friend. I appreciate all y'all for making it through. So today, like I said, we're gonna have a good little conversation because it's been about two, three, four videos that that then came and went, and we ain't talked about none of it. So we're gonna get into every little thing that we missed. Okay. Let's see. I want to make sure I get everybody's comments. Let me scroll down so I'm not missing nothing. Let's see. My friend Mindbox also says hit the like button. Okay. Make sure you hit the like button. Please make sure you hit the like button. Oh, Sierra side. Thank you so much for the super sticker. I truly, truly appreciate you for that. Thank you so, so much. I truly, truly appreciate you for enjoying me and enjoying the content enough to send a super sticker and even be here in the chat today. I truly appreciate you, friend. Thank you so, so much. And that's from Sierra side. I appreciate you. Naturally, Marge says, thank you. Thank you, D. Of course. Of course, Naturally, Marge, you've been doing the thing. I've been enjoying your content. So everybody make sure you go over there and subscribe to her channel as well. And if you do have a, um, a YouTube channel, so this week, because last time when I was saying if you have a YouTube channel to leave um, to leave a purple heart or something, but child, that'd be confusing me because it'd be so many damn purple hearts. So this time we're going to do, if you have a YouTube channel and you want people to subscribe to your channel, leave a green heart so that we know that uh, you have a channel and that you want people to come over and subscribe. And baby, last time I was telling people to leave their YouTube channel in there, I done went over to three, four, five, six, seven, eight people YouTube channel. And baby, when I say I don't even know if they want me over there, I've been over there leaving comments, <laughs> leaving comments and all type of shit. I don't know if them people even want me over there, okay? But that's what I'm saying. I want to make sure that people actually want people over there on their channel because like I said, I've been over there running running up comments on people content that probably don't even want me in their business, okay, child? But if you have a YouTube channel, please make sure you drop a green heart. If possible, I know some people don't have all the emojis and stuff, but if you do have a green heart or, you know, you can put the hands up or something like that so that I can know and that other people can know you have a YouTube channel as well. Let me see my friend. Look, Queen Chelsea, I'm I'm ahead of you, boo. I got my water. Uh, as soon as I grabbed my water bottle, I was like, my friend Queen Chelsea going to be proud of me today because I got me some water, child. I got me a fresh water bottle, okay? And it's cold because I'm making sure I'm not going to go in choking mode today, okay? That's for my friend Queen Chelsea. She already know how we get in here because I'll be talking so much. I'll be over here choking and can't nobody help me because it's just me and my little dog in here, okay? That's for my friend Queen Chelsea. Thank you so much. Said, do you have your water, D? Baby, yes. <laughs> I got it today. My friend Mind Bites with the oh yes with the with the with the champagne bottles and the horns said thank you Sierra I, I truly appreciate you Sierra side that was definitely a, a blessing I truly appreciate that let me see my friend Dana says I'm here hey Dana I appreciate you for making it 
uh, my friend Sierra side with the green heart. So that friend, that means my friend Sierra side also has a YouTube channel. So make sure y'all go over there and head to her YouTube channel and show her some support. And when I am finished with the live stream, this will make it easier for me to go back and see who has a YouTube channel so I can come over there and subscribe to you guys content too. Because like I said, everybody who had a YouTube channel on the last video, or I tried to get to everybody who had a YouTube channel on the last video. And if I did, not I definitely want you to make sure you leave green hearts in here so I can make sure I head over there. Everybody who was on the last live stream and I asked if they had a YouTube channel, I tried to make sure I went over there, hit the subscribe button and send them some comments and send them some love as well. And I've been watching y'all content. So make sure y'all dropping because baby, when I say I'm supporting, I'm trying to support everybody who's been supporting me. So everybody who has a channel and they see green, if you leave green hearts, make sure you head over to their channel, subscribe and hit the like button on their content as well. My friend Queen Chelsea with the crying laughing face say, look, I'm I'm so serious. As soon as I grabbed my water bottle, I thought about you, friend. <laughs> that was the first person I thought about when I got my water. So I see my friend Sierra side with the green hearts. My friend Mind by said, I bought y'all some, <laughs> I bought y'all some Dr. Pepper. They say it's good for your coochie. Look, we finna talk about the coochies in a second. Cause baby, when I say, <laughs> When I say it been it been some interesting it been some interesting content coming from the ladies, especially when they're talking about some coochies, chow. We finna get all into that because that that was some tea for me for sure. My friend naturally Marge with the green hearts because she has a YouTube channel. So like I said, make sure y'all head over there because she definitely has some good quality content. Let me see my friend Helen Hicks. Thank you for being in here. It says, hey girl, hey Helen, I appreciate you for making it through. I truly truly do. My friend Mindbite says. That video you dropped was funny as fuck, D. Thank you so much because that, first of all, that video was 15 minutes. And for some reason, when I was trying to drop that video, it would not upload. For some reason, it was taking forever for me to even be able to get the video. And then when I uploaded it, it was taking forever for it to upload. So I'm like, you know what? I don't know when this video finna drop, but they gonna get this video whether they like it or not, child. I don't know what the hell I said. It's so long. I couldn't tell you. What was going on until I read until I watched the playback? But I was like, they're gonna get this video, especially since it took me damn near 48 to 72 hours to get the damn video to go. So look, I hope y'all did enjoy it because that damn near drove me crazy, child. And that was from my friend Mind Bite said that video was funny. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate that because chow, it was a hot mess trying to get that video out. My friend Queen Chelsea said, Who said soda was good for the coochie chow? Look. Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper at that. <laughs> My friend Mindbite said, I'm going to get y'all some Dr. Pepper. I don't know. I have no, <laughs> I have no idea. But that's my friend Mindbite said, I'm going to get him some Dr. Dr. Pepper for the coochie chow. <laughs> and that's for my friend Queen Chelsea. My friend Queen Chelsea with the crying laughing face. My friend uh, Mindbite says, Queen, Dwight people said it. That's hilarious. I'm not sure. Tell me who Dwight, Dwight is because I'm not sure who that is either. That's funny. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. My friend Dana 100 with the purple hearts. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. My friend Bree Trinity is in the building and says, hey, D, chow. Look, yes. Hey, Bree, th th thank you for being here because you know I love chit-chatting. I love chit-chatting with all y'all. Y'all are my friends. And it's so good to see all these familiar faces and all these familiar names in here because y'all y'all already know. We be going at it and we be having these conversations and baby, it get fun, funny and all type of shit in this chat. So I appreciate seeing all my familiar faces and all my familiar friends in the chat today. Naturally, Mark says, OMG, not the coochies. Yes. Look, <laughs> child, that said Dr. Pepper. That's what I'm like. That said Dr. Pepper for it at that, child. OK, but let me see. My friend C. Lopez. Thank you, C. Lopez, for being in the building. Says I have one, but it's not like most. Hold on. Let me scroll up. Says, I have one, but it's not like most. I use it to post things I do on a daily so my grandchildren have something to watch. Ever since I lost my five-year-old grandson, Sebastian, I find it suitable. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm truly, truly sorry to hear that. I'm sending you love for sure. I'm sending you some love, some energy, and everything else because that is definitely unfortunate. And I'm sending you some um, some motivation as well to keep your channel going because that's something that's definitely going to keep you... Um, just keep keep memories going for you and your family as well. That's one thing I definitely encourage people to do YouTube for outside of trying to, you know, trying to make revenue and trying to get, you know, popular and stuff like that. I truly think it's a great thing for memories because you can go back and, you know, see see uh, life experiences that you had or just memories that you had and watch those things play out and let your family kind of see those things as well over the years. So I think that that's a great idea for you and your family and for anybody else that's deciding to think about doing YouTube. I definitely think it's a good idea because there's there's more to it than just trying to get money or trying to, you know, like live these big luxury lifestyles like you see most of the ladies doing. I definitely think it's a good idea for people to just use it for the memory aspect. And so you can kind of watch your life and watch, you know, watch yourself from year to year and see how you've progressed or, you know, see where you've gone in life as well. Let me see. And that was from our friend C. Lopez. I'm very, very sorry to hear that, C. Lopez. I'm sending you love for sure. 
My friend Queen Chelsea says, and C. Lopez has a channel because I see her green heart. So make sure y'all head over to her channel and show her some love and support as well. My friend Queen Chelsea says, who's the white and what happened to cranberry juice or water? <laughs> Look, said, what happened to the cranberry juice or water? Because that was the last thing I heard that we were supposed to be using for the coochie channel. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh, Lord. My friend, uh, look. <laughs> my friend, my advice that said the white peoples. Cheryl, I thought you was talking about a man named the white peoples, okay? Said equals the white people. Look, you was going to have me over here Googling the white peoples. <laughs> You was going to have me over here all messed up, Mind Bites, because I for damn sure thought you was talking about a man named Dwight Peoples then told us to drink Dr. Pepper for the coochie chow. Look, you already got me towed up. Y'all be y'all be having me messed up in here. This why I can't, this why I ain't got no sense, because y'all be having me all over the place, and so do the rest of these YouTubers. With the shit they be doing and saying, I don't be having no sense. With the type of stuff I be thinking when I be watching these vlogs, baby, I be all over the place. And then here come my friends in the damn chat talking about Dwight Peoples equals the white people child this is what's wrong with me right now because y'all crazy and so am i child <laughs> and that's from my friend my bites done lost her damn mind that is hilarious my friend c lopez says this is an awesome channel i found it and i'm loving the vibes thank you so much i truly appreciate that and baby whenever you come in here you can say whatever opinion you have because that's all we doing here say how we feel we be in here cutting up okay that's all we do and that's that's my favorite part about it that's my favorite part about coming in here Talking to everybody is knowing that I'm going to get some good laughs and some good energy, child, okay? That's for my friend C. Lopez. My friend Queen Chelsea says, oh, the white people, OMG, look, maybe that was my response because I, I definitely wasn't fit that, gonna put that together, child. Like I said, I was going to go uh, Google the white people's child because I'm like, maybe the white pe people's is a doctor I ain't never heard of before because at the end of the day, I ain't never heard nobody say drink Dr. Pepper for the coochie, but at the end of the day, if the white people's is saying that, I guess we finna uh, fill the refrigerator with the, with the Dr. Pepper chow, okay? Let me see. My friend Queen Chelsea said they be really talk, uh, they be really liking Mountain Dew. I do not like Mountain Dew, okay? Now, I'm not a fan of Mountain Dew. I've, I've, I've drank it a few times before, but I cannot drink Mountain Dew, okay? And definitely, that's for the white people's for show, sure, chow. <laughs> that is for the white people's for show, sure, chow. And look, first of all, before I even go too far in this chat, I was just watching the Winslows this morning, okay, because they done found a dog and all type of shit. So I was watching that trying to see what's going on and done seen that they done found a dog and all type of stuff. So, child, at the end of the day, if you don't know the Winslows, leave a question mark in the chat, baby, because we'll let you know who the Winslows is. I know my friends who was here before know who the Winslows is because, baby, I ain't even the one who came up with these names, okay? I ain't even the one who called this lady Carl Winslow. But at the end of the day, if you know, you know, friends, okay? Let me see. My friend C. Lopez says, thank you so much for being you. I appreciate the kind words. Of course, of course. I appreciate you for being here. And like I said, it's, it, we all in here to support each other. Like I said, I try to support everybody who comes in here and supports me. And I truly, truly love each and every one of y'all because this is, this is me sitting here in my home doing nothing. Otherwise, I wouldn't have nothing to do and nobody to talk to. So y'all truly come here and y'all give me a reason to laugh and to talk and to, you know, to to find anything to say and to find people to say it to. And I love having conversation with y'all. I know sometimes people that are new to the channel will come to the channel and um, especially come to the live streams and just say like, oh, well, you talking too much or you reading too many of the comments. What the hell am I supposed to do? I'm not going to sit here and just be rambling on for 45 minutes because I can't talk that much about, about with no responses. So I have to respond to who's talking in the chat because that makes it more conversational and it make it like a little phone call, child. So like we on the phone just having a conversation. So like I said, if you got something to say, throw it in the chat because that gives me a reason to keep on talking and to keep on interacting with y'all. I love the interaction. Like I said, I can't sit here and and just run off conversation because then I'll be not knowing what to say or I get lost or I get bored with talking to my damn self. So child, I love talking to y'all and I love the fact that y'all like talking to me because that gives it, that gives it more of a, a back and forth feel, you know? So I hope that y'all enjoy that aspect of it too, because I know, like I said, sometimes people that are new will come in here and be like, stop reading the comments. Just say what you're going to say. I ain't got shit to say unless y'all got something to say. Okay. So that makes it more fun for me. So I appreciate you, my friend C. Lopez for even saying that. Let me see my friend Black Butterflies in the building. I appreciate you for being here. Thank you so much for making it through. My friend Mind Bites with the prayer hands to C. Lopez. Yes. Send my friend C. Lopez some love for sure. Let's see. My friend C. Lopez says, thank you to Mind Bites. Rock just living with the green heart. Rock, Rock Just Living has a YouTube channel. And friend, I didn't even know that. So I'm definitely going to have to go over there and subscribe to your channel as well. Thank you for letting me know that. So I'm definitely coming over to send you some love for sure, friend, because you already know I rock with you. Let me see. My friend Queen Chelsea says, y'all think Lily lost some weight yet? Because 
Let me see. At this point, she needs to stock. She needs to stock. And she needs to stock in heavenly wings, child. That, I agree with you on that. If she don't put some money in that goddamn heavenly wings at this point, it's going to be a problem because as much as she didn't look, now she's going to probably put some money in that other one because, child, she was over there thanking Jesus about that chicken. So I'm like, baby, you got me wondering what the chicken tastes like because by the time you start thanking the Lord, it's something going on. Okay, it's something in the chicken, child. <laughs> Let me see. My friend Queen Joseph said, yes, put some stock in heavenly wings, child. Definitely need to put some money in them damn heavenly wings. My friend Rock just living with the... <laughs> With the face, because Queen Chelsea is funny as hell, said, put the stock in the heavenly wings. Let me see. My friend Bree Trinity said, they don't believe in water or cranberry no more. They, um, oh, I'm sorry. They don't believe in um, water or cranberry no more. No, they just smell like straight fish. Baby, look, because I'm like, with, with the white people telling us to drink the Dr. Pepper, they finna smell like all type of shit, okay? I don't know. I don't know why they would want us to do that. But baby, no. Uh, we can't do we can't do that. Summertime coming, it's gonna be hot outside. We ain't got the time. We ain't got the time. We're gonna be sweating out all kind of shit drinking that Dr. Pepper all damn day. Okay. Let me see. And that's from my friend Bree Trinity. My friend Mindby says, I need to taste them damn wings. Now look, that's what I said. Somebody came in the comments and said, um, having the wings ain't that good. They said it's other stuff. You can go to Wingstop, you can go to somewhere else that she named or something. But she said Heavenly Wings ain't even that good, child. So I don't know. But with the way she be talking about them Heavenly Wings and the way she be whooping on them damn animals when she get that chicken, that must be the best thing going, okay? Because I ain't seen no reaction like that off no chicken. But baby, when I tell you, I promise you, every time, every single vlog where she mentioned Heavenly Wings, them animals get ass whooping. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. But them animals, if, if they hear her mention Heavenly Wings, better go find somewhere to sit their ass down, okay? Because it's going to be some trouble in the water, child. Let me see. My friend Mindby says, y'all see Chelsea being nice to Dion? She makes me so proud. Um, Let me see. Are you talking about uh, Chelsea Janae? Let me know, Mindby, if you're talking about Chelsea Janae. Um, let me see. Let me see. My friend Bree Trinity with the crying laughing face. Uh, let's see. My friend Bree Trinity says, me too, to Mindby. My friend... Uh, uh, C. Lopez says, Brie Trinity with the crying laughing face. My friend Mindby says, Mountain Dew is an energy drink. Do y'all drink Mountain Dew? Because I haven't I haven't had Mountain Dew in so long. Baby, I didn't even remember that. I don't even I don't even be seeing Mountain Dew in the stores. That's how much I don't drink it. If they got it in there, my, my eyes just don't, my eyes just scan right past it. I ain't drank Mountain Dew probably since I was, since I was a teenager. If that, probably when I was a kid. But that's just something, it just, I just don't like the flavor of it. Let me see. Um, let me see. My friend Rogers Levin says, Do y'all um uh, do y'all get breakup vibes from Lee and B? Um, absolutely, because in these last few few blogs, she definitely mentioned um the one the last one when she was walking in the grocery store and she was saying she didn't want to go, she didn't want to go get the gas station chicken chow because she didn't feel like um talking to people. She didn't feel like people trying to talk to her when she got in there. And she was like, well, um, usually I have somebody with me. And then usually if they ask me if I got a person, I can say yes, but I don't even have a person. So I can't even say that or something. So that was the original reason that I thought that they might've broken up. And then in this very last vlog that I watched, I haven't even seen the rest of it. I watched half of it. But um, the very last vlog that I watched, she was talking about, she pretty much did mention them break up. So I'm feeling like they done, they done, because also somebody came and told me that um, they unfollowed each other as well. So I'm thinking that they they threw, they threw through, child. I don't know if they're going to get back together, but honestly, I feel like they should have been did that because I never really seen no chemistry between them like that. Now, yes, I think that she liked her in a certain manner, but I definitely don't think she loved her or she had any type of, like, any type of energy for her like her and... Um, like her and Grams did. Now, granted, I've never seen her and Grams together, but I can say, baby, you can tell when somebody loves somebody. And when I say she in love with that woman and she just don't want to face it and she don't want to deal with it because she don't want her audience all up in her ass for getting up. Now, first of all, now since I said that, somebody also came and said, Lily Booty is too big and it looked like you need to pry it open and it looked like it's thanked y'all. <laughs> I didn't say that. It's somebody else that said that, but... But baby, I don't know what that's what I'm saying. I don't know what I don't know what the hell. <laughs> but some of y'all be just as crazy as me because it's stuff that I don't even be I don't even be trying to say. But somebody in there said her booty too big and it looked like you need to pry it open because it looked like it stank child. And I'm not even playing with y'all, okay? <laughs> I'm not even finna go there. But I was like, lady, you don't lost your damn mind for saying that on this internet <laughs> about this woman, okay, child? I'm I'm gonna leave that there, and y'all let me know what y'all think about that, cause that was a hot damn mess, child. That was for my friend Rock just living said, do y'all think that her uh, her and B broke up? I definitely feel like they broke up, cause that's what she was 
that's kind of what I feel like she was uh, gearing towards, trying to say what I was saying. Baby, you know, she gets to that throat chakra, blo uh, her throat chakra is blocked and she can't say shit, okay? So by the time she said that throat chakra was blocked and she couldn't say what she wanted to say and said she didn't have a person and all that shit, I put two and two together and said, they ain't together no more. Let me see. My friend Queen Chelsea says, at Rock Just Living, they definitely broke up. Yeah, that's what I was, that's, that's what I'm feeling because the comments that she's been making lately has definitely been given, she's single again. And who damn knows, she said something about spinning the block again, too. So I'm like, I don't know if she's talking about spinning the block on grams or she's talking about spinning, spinning the block on B. But, baby, the block is closed, okay? Stop spinning the block and go go work on your damn self. Because at the end of the day, implementing other people in this shit is just making it more confusing for her. Because she, she don't have the type of, the type of, I'm not, I'm, I don't mean in that way, but I'm saying she don't have the type of brain that's going to allow her to be healing also. I mean, and also bringing somebody else in the mix too. So I think that she needs to choose one or the other and either be back with Grams if that's what make her happy or just be single and figure out where she's going in life. I honestly think being single for a minute would do her some just because baby, she need a break. She need a break from everything. She keep adding shit to her plate and I don't know why and I don't know what the hell she thinks she finna do it for. But baby, when I say that's why all this stuff be starting and then never get completed, I think that's half the problem. And she just be implementing stuff in her life just to have something going on to keep her brain busy. Because she has so many, so many different thoughts and she needs something to keep her mind going so she don't get flustered and ruffled again. Let me see. My friend Rock just me says, oh, wow. My friend Dana was says, at Rock, yes. So, yes, I feel like the same thing everybody else feel like is that they broke up because it's, it's definitely been getting sadder and sadder each damn blog, okay? And the last one was sitting in negative energy. I'm like, baby, if you don't find another bench to sit on, because negative energy ain't it, okay, child? We tired of sitting in negative energy and watching you talk to the therapist. If these bitches is giving you negative energy, then you need to bounce. You need to go find another bench. You need to go find a damn couch or something, a goddamn lawn chair to go sit on. But the negative energy got to go, child. And then if that's the case, and I'm not being, I'm not even being rude, but I'm saying if that's the case, pick up the camera during your happy moments. I understand she's a lifestyle blogger and she gives genuine content. And that's honestly part of what I do enjoy about Lily is that she gives real raw, genuine content. She going to come at you. However, she going to come at you with that black ring around that goddamn bonnet. She going to come at you with that nappy ass wig. She ain't combed in weeks. She going to come at you and give you every bit of her. And I truly, I truly enjoy her for that because she's a lot more genuine than the other lady. She don't really have a filter when it comes to how she coming. So that part I do enjoy about her, but I think that if she chooses her happier moments to put on camera, it might put her in a different mindset too. Because I think getting on camera like that all the time, she's gotten used to it and it's just starting to become her norm. And I think she's having a hard time pulling back from that because it's just so it's just her day to day. You know, it's just kind of it's just kind of what she's gotten used to doing. But I think she needs to just find her happy place, pick up that camera when she's feeling right. And then I mean, shit, sometimes these ladies be forcing themselves. They get up, throw on their makeup, put on an outfit just to get on camera. Now, you don't have to do nothing special, but spruce yourself up a little bit, make yourself feel a little better. Sometimes, you know, you when you look better, you feel better, you do better, okay? So I think that she needs to start working on that and stop working on so much other shit because she done threw 45 other things in the mix and two weeks from now, she finna say she she all fucked up again, okay? Let me see. And I don't mean, I don't, like I said, I don't say that to be rude, but I just feel like sometimes it's a mental thing. And she mentioned that on the last vlog too, saying that somebody was saying sometimes you just like to sit in negative energy, which I don't know. I don't think that lady said that to be rude. I think she was just letting her know that sometimes I feel like you get there and you stay there because you wallowing in it instead of getting your ass up out of there and saying, look, fuck all this. We finna make something shake and I'm gonna feel better about myself regardless of what's going on. Let me see. My friend Mindbite says, I thought we told Lily to throw them damn turbans in the trash receptacle. Chow, the, the damn turbans. The damn turban then turn black around the edges and pink in the middle, Chow. So I don't know what the hell she keep on leaving that specific turban on for, but if she don't throw that one in the trash receptacle, baby, I'm gonna go do it for her, okay? Because what she said last time, and uh, look, y'all already know my brain be bouncing from topic to topic. What she said the last time about the goddamn, uh, something about the lady trying on the drawers, and she said that was just, uh, what she said? It was trifling, then bent over and, and, and had a hole in the panties, child. Look, all this, all this just be a damn mess. Somebody said she said it wasn't a hole. It was a red spot. I don't know which one I don't like more because I don't like neither one of them problems. I don't like the hole in the panties and I don't like the red spot in the panties either, okay? Fuck both of them. You're going to have to stop. Well, I don't like neither one of them answers, child, okay? Let me see. And that's for my friend Mind Bites. My friend Rock Just Living says, 
Okay, so it's not me who noticed it. No, it definitely ain't you that noticed it because, baby, we all been trying to figure that out. I've been having a few people come over here and ask me what's going on with them. And then, like I said, somebody also told me they unfollowed each other. So, you know, by the time you get to the unfollowing, it'd be over pretty much. It's pretty much a done deal at that point. Let me see. My friend Rock Just Living also says, mine bites immediately. Baby, immediately. Throw all the damn turbies in the trash. Buy some extra wigs. Throw them in. Look, like I said, this be my problem because... She got, first of all, she got all these wigs, number one. Then number two, you done cut all your hair off. So all you have to do is go get some moisturizer and some gel or something and curl it up or do something to it. Child, it do not take that much effort. At the end of the day, it's going to take you more effort to put a damn wig and that turban on than it's going to take you to get up, wet your hair, and put some moisturizer in it and do something to it. Because like I said, she got the little haircut with the blonde and stuff, so... Why you just don't do something to that? Because that's literally going to be the easiest thing to do. Worrying about all these wigs and stuff is going to take you extra time, okay? Let me see. My friend Dana 100 says, no, ma'am. Let me see my friend Paige TV. Thank you, Paige TV, for being in here. It says, uh, D, I caught a live. I'm at work listening. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Paige. And my friend Paige TV also has um, a YouTube channel. So make sure you guys head over to her YouTube channel as well and show her some love and support. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and let her know that D sent you with some purple hearts, child. Um, and like I said, if you just got in here and you have a YouTube channel, leave some green hearts and let everybody know you got a YouTube channel so that everybody can come back and support and so that when I get off of here, I can go and I can support as well. Now, I'm not even being funny, but sometimes, I don't know who the hell these people be. Sometimes these people be coming in here telling me they got a channel and stuff and i'm like baby who is you i ain't never even seen you before okay the first comment you done left is you got a youtube channel and i ain't never even seen your ass before okay you this this your first the first comment ever and the last goddamn comment you gonna make at this point and i'm just i'm not saying that to be funny but i'm just saying like sometimes people be trying to take advantage of the moment i'm trying to support the people who be supporting me i don't need no damn strangers coming in here telling me they got a youtube channel trying to get clout off the situation okay because i ain't got the time for it if you're new here and you like the channel, you like the content, you've been interacting, I appreciate you. But if you just came in here and you just heard me say something about leave a green heart because you got a YouTube channel and you done dropped the green heart, I ain't never seen your ass before, I'm going to kick your ass through this damn computer screen, okay? <laughs> Let me see. But like I said, I support everybody who support me. So, you know, I'm just saying anything, child. But for real, sometimes I be seeing people like, I ain't, I ain't never seen a comment from you before. I ain't never seen you before. I ain't never, I ain't never heard of you before. And now here you go telling me to do some shit. Baby, no. <laughs> Let me see. My friend, um, so yes, make sure you go, um, make sure you go run it up over there on my friend Pagey TV's channel. My friend C Lopez with the crying laughing face. My friend Bruce Trinity says, I'm crying. Okay. My friend Mindby says, Hey, Paige, let me see. My friend Queen Chelsea says, Baby, <laughs> baby, the way that wig was matted under that damn turban, shell. Look, you can definitely see she going through some, yes, I going through some things. When she took that turban off and I seen that wig. I didn't even know what to say because I'm like, baby, that wig is looking like like Robbie, the damn cat. She'd be popping on that counter, child. I don't know why she still had that wig on her head when all it's going to take is a little spray of some water or a little bit of something to either take that shit off or comb it out. Baby, you know she's going through something because she ain't even take 30 seconds to make sure nothing was straight before she got her ass on that camera, okay? That's what I'm saying is sitting sitting in sadness ain't gonna cut it you're gonna have to figure it out at some point you're gonna have to try 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 something different because you cannot keep coming on this camera like that and then telling people that you're sitting in sadness and sitting in bad energy and all this stuff and then think that we want to sit in the damn bad energy with you child we got our own fucked up energy we got our own shit going on so we definitely don't want to get on the tv and watch somebody else be sad when we're going through shit too okay let me see and that was for my friend queen chelsea my friend C. Lopez says, I think Mountain Dew is too sweet and not my preference. Definitely too sweet. And it just has like a little taste to it that I just can't get with. It's just something about Mountain Dew that I do not enjoy at all. My friend Rock Just Living says, they had they had the Valentine's Day trip. Baby, they had the Valentine's Day trip and didn't do a damn thing. But fuck around in that elevator and end up going to Burger King. And as soon as I seen them go to Burger King, I was like, oh, hell no. She done got to be. B over here fucking around with the Burger King chicken fries too. So now we know there's some shit going on. I don't know why. And I don't know how the hell they ended up with a Burger King addiction. But when I seen B on the Burger King train too, I was like, see, now this is going too damn far, okay? B little cheeks done got thicker. B looked like she didn't gain a little bit of weight. I'm like, B, you better run for the goddamn hills. Because in a minute, you finna be chunky too, messing around with her and this goddamn Burger King. So, baby, 
head for the hills if you can, because she's gonna have your ass toe up off this damn Burger King. She gonna <laughs> she gonna be over there with the white people with the Burger King, the goddamn Dr. Pepper, like my friend Mind Bites said. Okay, let me see. My friend, and then look, yes, have the nerve to break up after the Valentine's Day trip. Like, baby, you knew you didn't want that girl before y'all went on that damn trip. I be feeling like she was just, like I said, I think she was just holding on to be to give her something to do to keep her mind busy because I've never really even seen them have any sort of interaction that that looked like it was couple worthy to me. And that was for my friend Rock Just Living. My friend C. Lopez says, I was wondering what happened to B and Lily. They definitely ain't together no more because we ain't seen B in a few blogs. And like I said, she keep mentioning that she ain't got nobody. And I feel like she, uh, like I said, I feel like she just, she is, she in love with grams and she don't know how to express it. That's why she keeps saying her throat chakra is blocked because she don't, she don't want to say it. She just don't want to say it. It's not that she can't say it. She don't want to say it because she don't want to be judged. But baby, at the end of the day, if you love somebody, you love somebody. You can't change that and you ain't going to be able to fight it forever. So you might as well go ahead and do what you got to do to make yourself happy. Let me see. My friend Mindby says, I'm excited to see who B will choose to bring on the on the channel. Now, look, if B brings somebody on that channel, I don't even think I, I that's when I think it's gonna go to hell because as much as I like I just said, I don't see them really having no sort of couple chemistry. I don't know how Lily would even act if she seen somebody over there at that lady house. Okay, she already done said street Lily. I said Burger King Lily, but at the end of the day, Burger King Lily might come out the goddamn woodworks if she sees somebody at that lady house. I don't know how she would behave if she seen her over there with another woman child. And she was over there hanging out with them, doing the hookah, drinking, eating, and all that stuff. I'm like, if B brings somebody else over there, and for some reason, I don't know why I felt like as soon as I seen B get that place, I was like, oh, it ain't going to last very long. It ain't going to last very long. And not that I felt like B was using her, but I just felt like when she got her mind right, she was going to start to see stuff for what it was and kind of be like, I don't even know if this is where I belong. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm over here doing what I got to do now. You over there doing what you got to do. And sometimes when, you, when you're not in the right space, you allow certain things or you don't see things for what it is. And then as soon as you get your shit together, you're like, baby, I don't lost my goddamn mind. I'm going to get up out of here because I don't even know what I was doing here in the first place. Okay. Let me see. That was for my friend Mind Bites. My friend Bree Trinity says, Lily and B are more like friends, to be honest. Definitely giving friends. They definitely give him besties and maybe that can work. You know, maybe that can work if they decided to just hang out and be friends, because that does seem like, honestly, that definitely seems like what it is. It seems like they have a good friendship, but no more than that. And that was from my friend Brie Trinity. My friend Mind Bites with a crying laughing face. My friend Rock Just Living says B hasn't posted since the trip. Right. Because I haven't seen anything from B. I've been seeing um, Tootie been uploading. I don't watch Tootie channel, but I have seen. OK, first of all, now that I said Tootie. I don't know which one of y'all came, came. I don't know which one of y'all came in my comments and said somebody said that Tootie looked like Trick Daddy, and now I can't unsee it. I said, now friend, I don't know what the hell you just told me that for because you just said it, and now I can't unsee it, baby. When I say Tootie looked just like goddamn Trick Daddy, <laughs> I'm like, I can't, I cannot. Okay, the, when I seen that comment, I lost my shit, and then. Tootie them chimed in. I done, she somehow seen the comment and brought her ass over there. And she was laughing at the shit too. So I'm like, look, don't even be mad at me. Because first of all, I didn't say it. And second of all, you know for damn sure you look like Trick Daddy. So I ain't even no need to be mad about it, okay? And I'm not even talking about old school Trick Daddy, baby. I'm talking about I'm talking about the new Trick Daddy, okay? That was the funniest shit I had seen in a minute too. When I say y'all be coming in here saying all type of shit, I'm like, I, I be trying to watch my mouth. And y'all don't be giving a damn. Y'all come here and say what y'all want to say. And I just be, I be trying to keep it respectful. But baby, I thought that was hilarious. And Tootie thought it was funny too. So I'm like, well, hell, if you thought it was funny, don't get mad at me for laughing, baby. Because I thought that was too funny, okay? Let me see. Uh, let's see. Yes, my friend Rock just living said B hasn't posted since the trip. No, I haven't seen B post, uh, post nothing either. So I don't know if she over there going through it too. Because on a little Q&A, &A, B was saying she now she she was sounding like Lily too. She was saying, "Well, I feel everybody's emotions. I was feeling her emotions, and I was feeling Graham's emotions. So now that uh, uh, Lily is over there sitting in uh, sitting in negative energy, like she said, she probably feeling that too. Because B so damn intuitive, she want to feel everybody's feelings. I'm like, baby, if you don't cut them feelings off and let them feel how the fuck they want to feel, you finna be over there all messed up eating the chicken fries and shit too. So you need to relax, okay? Let them be in whatever energy they want to be in and you go live your life, baby, because it ain't even that serious for you to be all fucked up dealing with these people because they don't want to let each other asses go, child. Let me see. And that was from my friend Rock Just Living. My friend Mindbite says, I have a major conspiracy theory about Lily and Grams. Give it to us, baby. Mindbite, let us know what you're thinking, friend. 
because you already know we're gonna talk about it. My friend C Lopez says, ill hot honey wings booty crack. <laughs> I am not playing with y'all. My friend C Lopez says, hot honey wings booty crack. I'm look, this is the, this is the problem. This is the problem. First of all, some of the shit y'all be saying, I, I don't even have a chance to read it in my brain before I read it out loud. And then I end up reading it out loud and be having to process how I'm finna take this and what I'm finna say about it. My friend caught her hot honey wings booty crack chow. I'm not playing with C. Lopez today because that's, <laughs> that is a damn mess. That is, look, the hot honey fit, the hot honey wings, the hot honey catfish, baby. My friend said they have, they look like she, they need to pry it open. When she said they look like they need to pry it open, I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? What would, what would you say that for? That's a mess, okay? That's where my friend C. Lopez, my friend uh, Mindby says, and I'm dropping it here first. Please drop it, friend. Like I said, you already know we're going to talk about it. I already love y'all. You already know I love your conspiracy theories and what you be thinking and how you be coming. So let's let's talk about it, friend. Let me see my friend. Rock Just Living says, yep, I caught that. Wonder if she hooked up with Grams again. I think she, I, see, on this last vlog, that's why I need to watch the rest of this last vlog because I feel like she's, I feel like she's saying, I feel like she's trying to say that without saying it. Like, I feel like she is, gearing towards the fact that she's been doing shit low-key without her actually saying it because she keeps making mention of little stuff like that and i feel like that's what she's trying to say like i said you know that throat chakra be blocked and she can't say what she want to say but she say some shit without saying some shit i feel like that's exactly what she was going with it so that's that's where my friend rock just living i i definitely feel like that's what's going on let me see my friend leo girl is in the building says hey friend with the purple heart thank you for making it in here i appreciate you leo girl let me see my friend C. Lopez says, Lily has too many animals, can't take B in too. Baby, look, if she bring one more thing in that house, it's going to be my friend. <laughs> I don't know, my friend introverted wifey ain't made it in here yet. But my friend introverted wifey says she need to get a bird. She need to get a bird so the bird can sit there and watch her fry up them wings. I said, baby, if she get a bird, she's going to be up there swinging on that bird and then she's going to end up frying that motherfucker too. So I don't know if she need no more animals in that house. She don't need no more animals, no more people. She need a break from every damn thing, okay? She need to go ahead. Spend a weekend by herself with nobody in the house without them damn pets. Go sit out on some grass somewhere. Take in the good positive energy from the sun and the earth and the air and let her brain be free for a minute because she's making her damn self crazy with half of the stuff that's going on, okay? And that's for my friend C. Lopez. My friend uh, Leo Girl says, yes, indeed. She needs to go heal first. Seems to me she wants the old thing back and she's always in a funk every other week. You can tell when um, when that ex com comes around, in my opinion. That's what I was saying. Is I feel like her energy shifts when she's been dibbling and dabbling back in that old situation because that's kind of where the original problem was when she first started saying she was having issues and all this stuff and then everybody found out she has spun the block with um with Grams. So like you said, I definitely think that when she starts getting there and she starts saying, oh, I just can't talk about it, I can't talk about it, I feel like definitely it'd be having something to do with her spinning the block and going back there with Grams, okay? And that's for my friend uh, Leo Girl. My friend Mind by says C Lopez with the crying laughing face. Cause look, my friend C Lopez then saying, then said with them hot honey wings. Okay, hot honey wings booty chow. And I am not playing with y'all. That was hilarious. Let me see. My friend Bree Trinity says, Lily definitely need to put the hot honey down and focus on herself mentally and physically. I'm tired of her and this fake healing journey she be doing every month, baby. Every I don't know how many times she need to do a healing journey, baby. If you work on one, get enough. You'll be you 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 gonna at least start the heal, baby. You are gonna at least start the healing. But if you don't if you don't get the get the doing the actual healing, you are gonna keep saying it, and we gonna get we gonna get tired of listening to it. Okay, like I said, I like the fact that she's transparent and that she keeps it honest on her channel. But it's the fact that you're not putting in the work. You can be honest and you can be yourself and you can give us every bit of you. But when we see that you're giving us every bit of you and you also ain't putting in no effort, that's when it makes it difficult. And I can't say she's not putting in no effort, but she ain't. Baby, we see what the hell she doing. She she ain't putting in no goddamn effort. Okay, I'm just going to say what it is. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be politically correct. If, if you gonna sit there with that damn bonnet and that damn wig on, looking like that, we know you ain't even got up and tried at that point. So. You can be you, but you also going to have to show us that you trying your best to actually start the healing journey and to be in the healing journey, not just talking about it because you talking about it and baby, you ain't even trying to do it. That's the problem. OK, and that's for my friend Bruce Trinity. Now, if y'all don't hear my damn dog back here, I'm going to sound like Lily cussing his ass out because he over here bothering me. Child. Every time I get on his computer talking to y'all, he want to come over here bothering me. Child. 
And he every every look, if y'all have been in these lives, then y'all already know he crazy, I'm crazy. And so we be we be over here going at it, trying to have a conversation with y'all, okay? Now I ain't as bad as her. I don't be popping him because his ass beat him, bit me for popping him, okay? He got an attitude, but at the end of the day, he sure do love to argue, child. And I be having to argue at him too, because he ain't got no damn sense. Okay. I be talking to him like he my kid. Cause baby, that's the only kid I got, child. Let me see. My friend Leo girl says, um, I'm sick of that turban. My head's starting to itch. Baby, the turban. And then if she don't got the pink one on, she got the other one on. If she ain't got the other one on, she got a beanie on. I'm like, baby, comb the wig, take it off, do something. But I'm I'm tired of seeing shit on your head at this point. If it ain't gonna be a wig that you done comb or look like it got some sense, baby, the wig look like. The wig look like it ain't got no damn sense in the first place. And for the fact that it's sitting on your head and you ain't got no damn sense, don't make it no better. She needs to take it off and she needs to do something to her natural hair. All she has to do, like I said, is put some oil, some moisturizer, some gel, some water, something in there. And her natural hair will be perfectly fine. She got the little short haircut. So it's, it take more effort to mess around with them wigs and them turbans than it do to just do her hair. I don't know what the problem. That's how I know her ass sitting in sadness because she ain't even trying to mess with the little bit of hair she got, child, okay? She done chose the short haircut and don't even give a damn about trying to wear it correctly, child. Let me see. My friend C. Lopez, and that was for my friend Leo Girl. My friend C. Lopez uh, gives a thumbs up to Mind Bites. My friend Leo Girl with the crying laughing face to C. Lopez. Let me see. <clears throat> C. Lopez, also with the crying laughing face, uh, Leo Girl. My friend C. Lopez says that blonde wig under the turban was hideous, okay? It was giving hot honey wig stretch. <laughs> it was giving hot honey wig, baby. The hot honey wig is a mess, child. Look, she we just finna call her hot honey Lily at this point. Baby, look, and we don't we're gonna get to Gina Winfrey in a second. So we're gonna get to that too. But we, we now now that we got hot honey honey wig, I don't know what the hell we finna I don't know what Lily name is. And like I said last time, y'all done came up with the damn Winslows. Now we got Gina Winfrey. And now we got the hot honey wig, child. It's a, it's a damn mess in these comments. When I say these people be leaving with all type of damn names that ain't their real names, that be the funny part. Because, first of all, I ain't called Nick and Carla Nick and Carla in four weeks since y'all done called these people the goddamn Winslows, okay? I've been calling. I didn't, I didn't even tell my damn husband they was the Winslows, child. So that's what I'm saying is this this uh, comment section, y'all be on some bullshit, okay? <laughs> y'all be on some straight bullshit because y'all be having me over here saying shit I ain't supposed to be saying about these people, okay? Let me see. And that was from my friend C. Lopez called her hot honey wig, baby. That's a mess. My friend Ashley Mark says, and laugh my ass off, I can't breathe. I'm going to get fired today. <laughs> Look, that's what I'm saying. I can't do this with y'all. I'll be trying to act like I got some sense and y'all be showing me that I ain't got none because I'm over here laughing at shit I shouldn't even be laughing at. I'm trying to be respectful. I'm trying to say shit and keep it like I'm trying to talk in circles or I ain't saying the wrong thing. And then here y'all go having me read some crazy ass shit, okay? <laughs> and I got to say it out loud because I'm trying to respond to what y'all saying, child. And that was from my friend, Naturally Marge, said, I'm finna get fired messing around with y'all in this damn chat, okay? Let me see. My friend Leo girl says, but that real hair is so brittle, baby, because she won't put nothing in it. She will not put nothing in that hair if her life depended on it. For what reason? I have no idea. She don't eat. You can see the hair under the wig. And baby, the brittleness is just it's, it's popping through the popping through the seams of the damn wig at this point because it's so dry. I don't know why she don't put something in her hair. If y'all sell hair products, somebody ship them to her. Find out her P.O. box and send her the goddamn hair products with the uh, with the directions of how to put it in and tell her every morning, every noon and every night. Put this shit in your head, baby. OK, because, Lord, look, my friend Ashley Marge got some beautiful moisturized hair. Baby, send her the information because. She don't know what to do with that. She don't know what to do with her hair, okay? I, I assumed when I saw her cut it off in the first place that she was going to keep it cute. She was going to make sure that she kept it looking right and she was going to keep it moisturized and she was going to go on her, you know, her hair journey too. No, she don't give a damn about no journey. Baby, she don't give a damn about a hair journey. She don't give a damn about a healing journey. She don't give a fuck about not one journey, okay? Unless it's a journey to go pick up some goddamn chicken wings, then baby, the journey can go out the window because she ain't on the journey to, to shit, okay? A journey to nowhere, okay? As much as I love me some Lily, she be lying to us, friends. She be lying to us, and we just be sitting here soaking it up and 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 keeping it going, okay? Now, I'm going to keep supporting her because, like I said, I love Lily, but baby, at this point, I'm going to just know you lying, and I'm going to keep watch the, watching the content, okay? Because that's all, that's all I can do. I can love you. Shit, like I said, my family crazy, and I still love them, so I can love her and, and still watch her, knowing her ass done lost her mind every five seconds, okay? Let me see my friend. That was for my friend uh, Leo Girl. 
say, baby, it's brittle. <laughs> my friend C. Lopez with the crying laughing face in the 100. My friend Shell 55 says, hey, girl, hey, thank you for making it in, Shell. I appreciate you, and thank you so much for the Purple Hearts, friends. Let me see. My friend Mind Bice says, block that hoe, okay? <laughs> said, block that hoe. Look. Y'all, I'm telling you, y'all, y'all be the ones. It do not be me. It be y'all, okay? Let me see. My friend Rock just living says, Leo, it's the bleach she uses for the blind. That hair is dead. I don't know what the hell, because when she got it done in the first place, it looked good. When she went to the shop and they put the blind in it, it looked nice and healthy. So I don't know if she been trying to diet herself or if she just ain't been doing a damn thing to it. But it's looking unkept and like she don't give a damn about that hair, okay? At this point, she don't give a damn about the hair. She don't give a damn about nothing, chow, okay? She, she, I don't know. That's what I said. Maybe her trying to re-bleach it on her own discouraged her and maybe she felt like she burnt it or something, but you ain't even got to keep bleaching it. Just, if you ain't going to go get it done at the shop, leave that shit alone, put something in it and go on from there, but definitely stop trying to do extra shit to it if you ain't going to take care of it, okay? Because at the end of the day, like I said, she be done started a project and don't give a damn about finishing it that go for the 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 um challenges she be doing that go for the baby i think the last 21 day challenge lasted five damn days okay it was supposed to be 21 days we got not even a week into the challenge before i stopped hearing about that whole goddamn challenge i'd be wondering what happens to the people that be paying for these challenges do they be hitting her up asking her for their money back or what's going on with these people Maybe these people just as crazy as she is if they keep joining all these challenges. Because I'm like, I'm going to need to see you finish one first before I sign up for the next one. Because if you ain't going to finish one, I for damn sure ain't going to sign up for two. Okay? I ain't going to sign up for two, three, or four. Because what the hell? And then she's talking about the assistant that ain't finished half of the stuff. I'm like, look here, baby. Either the assistant is the stalker or the assistant is your ass. And you just don't want to tell it. But ain't shit getting done because... Yo ass probably stopped paying the assistant, stopped talking to her or something, because at the end of the day, as soon as the soccer stopped coming around, the assistant stopped coming around. So that's what I'm saying. I'm like, who, who is the assistant for real, baby? This is the conspiracy theory right here. Well, my my, my friend mine by said he had a, had a conspiracy theory. That's my conspiracy theory is that that damn stalker was the assistant too, child, okay? And now the stalker done went to jail. That's why she, she ain't got no goddamn assistant no more, y'all, okay? So look, that's, <laughs> that's just me and my conspiracy theory, okay? Let me see. My friend Rock just living says, <clears throat> oh, yes, yeah, so, uh, that was my friend Mind Bites that said, uh, it's the bleach she uses, and now her hair is dead. I definitely agree with that. Let me see. My friend Brie Trinity says, I don't know. Lily looked like she smelled like a seafood boil. Baby, not a seafood boil. Not a seafood boil. Not the whole bag, okay? <laughs> my friend says she smells like a seafood boil. Baby, I don't know what it, I look, I don't know what it is. It's, it's the constant saying you sitting up in the bed for two or three weeks and you ain't done nothing to your hair and all that stuff is the first thing people going to say is your ass ain't got no shower neither, child. Okay. So like I said, I can't, <laughs> y'all not going to make me say crazy stuff, Brie. Okay? <laughs> My friend Brie is going to have me say something I ain't supposed to be saying. So I ain't even going to say it, child. But if you're going to lay up in that bed like that and not comb your hair and sit up there with that damn uh, robe and stuff on then yes, people going to start to feel like you ain't showering either, baby. And like I said, I don't know. I, I can't say this woman ain't got no shower. But baby, look, putting two and two together, the shower right there, your hair looking like that. You got this robe on. You've been sitting in that turban for weeks. I don't know if you hit the shower either, child, okay? But look, this I ain't going there. I'm not going there. I'm not even going to go there with y'all, okay? That was for my friend, Brie Trinity. My friend, Helen Hicks. Hey, Helen, uh, with the uh, crying laughing face in the 100. My friend, um, Shell 55 says she's slowly losing it. She's, I feel like she is too. I feel like she is too. It's something going on that she needs to either just come to grips with. And if it's the Grams thing, she needs to get with it. She needs to get back with Grams if that's what's going to make her happy. Because honestly, fuck the following. If your audience don't like it, they just don't like it. But if that's what makes you happy, you can't sit in sadness because you're trying to impress people. You cannot sit in sadness and make yourself crazy because... You don't want people to feel no type of way about what you're doing with your damn life. That's your life. If that's what makes you happy and that's what's going to keep you flourishing and keep God on, like God in your mind and God in your heart and soul, then you do that. Because us watching you in this space is definitely not good for you or us either. Like I said, people have their own stuff going on and don't want to come to YouTube to see the person that they get motivation from be sitting in sadness all the time. Now, you can do that when, you know, when, when it's necessary because it's life and life happens. But we ain't trying to click on the channel all the time and see you uh, see you feeling like that. And I did see somebody else 
um, on the last video that said, oh, don't let this channel um, change your mind about how you feel about these people. I'm not here to change nobody's mind about how they feel about these people. Because like I said, I love each and every one of them. As much as I say crazy shit about Gina, I really enjoy Gina too. I like her content. I think she's a, um, a nice lady. I don't think anything truly negative about Gina. I pinpoint the shit she be saying and doing because I think her ass is crazy. But that don't mean that I don't like her. I poke little jokes and stuff because it's easy and it's fun. And she be talking her shit too. So at the end of the day, it's it's for entertainment. It's not because I have any malice or hate in my heart for these women. I truly want the best for them and I hope they are happy. So I truly feel like if she were to do what she needed to do for herself, then that would bring a genuine audience to her that likes her for who she is and what she wants to do and not because she's making decisions based on how we feel. Now, if people don't like her with Grams, then you know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. But at the end of the day, I feel like it will make her happier, which will make her content better because she would be in a happier space. And that was from my friend, Shell55. My friend C. Lopez says, <clears throat> Lily, put that turban back on before your dog attacks you. <laughs> Look, that dog is gonna be like, somebody broke in here and they got me fucked up, okay? We gonna have to get him out of here, child. And that's from my friend C. Lopez. My friend Kelly Girls in the building says, I'm late, late. That's okay, boo, you made it. And I appreciate you for coming in here. Thank you for the Purple Hearts too. My friend Cali girl that made it through and I appreciate that. That's my boo. All y'all, every single one of y'all, like I said, everybody in here that's familiar, y'all already know I rock with y'all because y'all be in here all the time. Every time I have a live stream, I see all my friends in here and that definitely puts a smile on my face. And as soon as I see all my friends in here, I know I could talk my shit because it's a safe space to say what I want to say. Y'all be coming in here so comfortable and y'all be coming in here saying what y'all want to say. And y'all know I appreciate y'all for speaking y'all mind because y'all allow me to speak my mind too. And that's what makes it even more fun that we ain't got to be in a tizzy and watching our mouth and watching what we say because we hurting somebody's feelings. Because like I said before, we ain't here to hurt nobody's feelings. We just here to have a good time, okay? I'm sure that half of y'all in here love these ladies too and like their content. But baby, when I say shit be funny, it be funny. And we're going to talk about it. That's exactly what we finna do, child, okay? My friend C. Lopez with the crying laughing face to Bree. My friend Leo girl says, do you hear me? <laughs> At Rock Just Living. Let me see. My friend Mind Bite says, yes, B. Uh, yes, B about to be chunky. Baby got the chunky cheeks already, okay? I'm seeing them little arms get fluffy. Them little cheeks are starting to look like little chipmunk cheeks. I'm like, B, get the fuck up out of there. You better hurry up for you done been done th uh, added 38 pounds to your, uh, your life too for absolutely no goddamn reason, baby. Go. Hurry up and go and do whatever you was doing before, okay? Because ain't nobody got the time to see you blowing up too, child, okay? And that was where my friend Mind Bites. Um, and I had a, I had a, oh, Mind Bites, tell us your conspiracy theory because you already know I want to know it. Please, please, please drop your conspiracy theory so we can talk about it. My friend Bree Trinity uh, with the laughing face of C. Lopez. My friend Mind Bites says, Lily kept saying baby and babe, did it, um, but it wasn't connecting. That's what I'm saying. It just wasn't, it just, it was never, it was never given to me. It was never, um, it was never given like, this my, oh, this my baby. Oh, this my, you know what I'm saying? Like you already know when Tay talking about her boo or her baby or her zaddy or whatever, she gonna give it to you like she, she ready to roll. Okay. She gonna give it to you. It rolled off the tongue so slick. You already know she like these bitches. As soon as she gets saying baby and boo and daddy and all that stuff, I'm like, oh, she, she like her for real, for real. Okay. But when I hear Lily say it, it just ain't giving that. It's giving my little friend, okay? That's what it's giving is my little friend that I'm fucking with and that's pretty much it. And then I felt like she said before that they were never in a relationship. They were just, she didn't say they were just doing anything, but she said like, it's not a relationship. I'm not, I'm not officially with somebody or something like that. And that was a while back, but that was before they even went on the whole little uh, Valentine's Day thing. So shit, she be, she be here, there and everywhere with the shit she be saying about their little relationship. So I don't know. And if you knew here, then like I said before, I thought B was her cousin for so goddamn long because I thought it was either her cousin or her little sister because I just wasn't seeing no energy. And then finally one time I heard her say baby or boo or something. I'm like, she got the goddamn nerve to be dating this lady. <laughs> she got the goddamn nerve to be dating her cousin because that's exactly who I thought it was. So that's that. Look, I'll be all over the place with who the hell these people are until they get a title. I'll be that said this your granny, your cousin, your auntie, some other shit before you tell me who it actually is. OK. And that's where my friend Mind Bites. Oh, and tell me what y'all think about this whole little situation. Because now, to, and th this off the subject, but we're going we, to keep reading the comments and we're going to stay on that subject until y'all chime in on this one. But how y'all feel about uh, Tay and this new girlfriend, but still having Maya name tatted on her arm, okay? Now, look, we're going to watch the conversation because you know <laughs> you know Tay got pissed off the last time I was talking about her and these girlfriends. But, <laughs> but look, Tay, we love you, okay? But this is a conversation, okay? Um. 
Yes, how y'all how y'all feel about Tay with this new girlfriend, but she still got Maya name tattooed on her arm. Now the Maya uh, tattoo was supposed to be gone, okay? It was supposed to be one of them little ethereal tattoos that disappear after a while, but baby, that shit is still there. That tattoo ain't went nowhere. And I seen a little clip on the news that said ain't none of them goddamn tattoos going nowhere. They permanent. So I don't know how the hell they done trick these people into getting some fake ass tattoos that ended up being some real ass tattoos, but baby. Maya stuck on that arm until she get a cover up or until she go get that shit lasered off. I don't know what she finna do with it, but it's there, child. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Her and the new boo, I like them together. I like their personalities because I feel like the new boo has, has her energy. You know what I'm saying? She hyper rep. She have a cool little energy and I like them together so far. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that because I think the other girl is much younger than her too. So they, they seem to have a good energy, but... From what she was saying, people been talking shit because they said that girl too young for her. But I'm going to get back to these comments and we'll get into that once y'all start chiming in about that. If y'all care to chime in. Now, child, if you don't give a fuck, you don't got to chime in about it, okay? If y'all don't give a damn to talk about that, keep on talking about whatever y'all want to talk about, child, because I'm going to talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. Sometimes I'll be saying shit and I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like, let me know what y'all think about that. And y'all don't think shit about it because y'all won't say not a goddamn thing about what I was saying. But that, that is okay. Like I said, whatever y'all want to talk about is what I want to talk about. And on top of that, look, I'm sorry. I done told y'all my brain jumped from topic to topic. But somebody came on my goddamn uh, comments one time and said, I'm down to watch the live streams if they ain't always going to be about Gina, Lily, uh, Portia, Glamazonte. And I'm like, well, I don't know what else the live stream's supposed to be about, baby. You want the live streams to be about me, goddamn it? Because we ain't finna talk about me. You want us to talk about you? Because I don't know what the hell else you want to talk about, okay? This is what the damn channel is about, is the YouTubers. So I don't know if you want to talk about fucking chicken, the weather, your fucking granny, or whatever you want to talk about. But at the end of the day, if you don't want to talk about these bitches, then let's go somewhere else and talk about some other shit, okay? Because I don't know what else to talk about over here. It's called Real T with D, and we talk about the same shit over and over. And you've been here all this time seeing the same shit and want to talk about something else. Baby, what you want to talk about? I don't care what you want to talk about, because honestly, like I said... You can come in here and bring up whatever topic you want to bring up and we'll talk about it. But if you're going to come in here and just tell me what you don't want to talk about, then I don't know what the hell to tell you, child. OK, talk about something else then, because like I said, if you bring up another topic, I'll talk about that, too. But I'm talking about what everybody else is talking about and I'm talking about what my chat is talking about. So if you don't enjoy that, then damn it, it's another channel somewhere else talking about some whole other bitches. OK, now, look, I'm not calling these women bitches, but honey. You already know real TD would D get the going when I get the going. So I was just like, who she want to talk about is what I'm asking. I'm trying to figure out who the hell else she want to talk about when she get in here. When you get in here, drop the topic and let us know what you want to talk about. And if the chat cares to talk about it, then we'll get on it. But like I said, even sometimes I'll come in here and start saying shit that y'all don't care about. And once I realize y'all don't care about it, baby, I'm moving on because I'm like, they don't give a fuck about that. They do not want to talk about that. And once I realize y'all don't want to talk about it, I'm moving on because I'm here for y'all, okay? If y'all don't want to talk about what I'm talking about, then we're going to talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. That's what I'm here for is y'all. So if I'm not if I'm not on the right subject, then look, I'm on to the next subject. I'm on whatever subject y'all on, okay? And that's just, that's just how it works over here. I try to respect everybody for what they choose to talk about and the subject they choose to be on. But I can't help every damn body. If you don't like the damn subject, it's a billion other channels on here on YouTube talking about some shit you probably want to talk about, okay? And that's just that, okay? Let me get off my tangent and read these damn comments because I'll be done talking about her ass forever. And baby, we still got to get on her rap face tat, okay? Because her ass, if you know anything about her rap face tat, we're going to talk about that in a whole nother second, child, because the other lady... The other lady was respectful enough to come back and say, you know what? I don't even want to do this with you. It wasn't even that serious. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I'm done with it. I said, well, you know what? I'm done with it, too. I respect you for even saying that. So at the end of the day, you already know. If you come over here fucking with me, baby, I'm fucking with you, okay? And that's exactly how that lady got her name, Hood Rat Face Tat. It's fucking with me for no reason, okay? But we'll get on that in a second. If y'all want to talk about that, y'all let me know, too. And that was for my friend, uh, Mind Bites. I'm sorry. Look, y'all probably done forgot what the hell Mind Bites said. Mind Bites said... Uh, Lily keeps saying baby and babe when she's talking to me, but it wasn't connecting. Y'all probably like, what the fuck were we talking about? It was that. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> That's my friend Mind Bites. My friend B, uh, C. Lopez says B was a real meal ticket. I mean, B was a meal ticket for Lily. Definitely just, Jeff definitely wasn't giving baby or boo. It was giving my homegirl. My friend Pagey TV says, B is really nice. I went to high school with her. When I saw her dating Lily, I said that's not a good uh, that's not a good move. Oh, that's interesting. B was uh, how was B in high school? Was B more feminine in high school? Was she just like she is now? Uh, she seems like she's a really cool person. So that's interesting to know that you went to school with her. Um, 
Look, baby, I was about to say what school you go to. You probably like, lady, stay out of my business. I ain't trying to tell you all that. I was just trying to give you some information. And that's where my friend Paigey TV, my friend Callie Girl says, C. Lopez, right. My friend Callie Girl with the crying laughing face says, 2D and B. Baby, 2D and B are funny, okay? Let me see. My friend Leo Girl says, uh, don't do Tootie like that. I like Tootie. Look, baby, uh, I, I wasn't the one. That, <laughs> I wasn't the one that did it. It was somebody else that called Tootie Trick Daddy. Baby, I said, now if you don't get, get the fuck out of here calling this woman Trick Daddy, I thought that was the funniest shit because as soon as she said it, I'm like, well, damn, man, I can't even unsee it now. You done told me this shit, and now all I see is Trick Daddy when I look at this woman, <laughs> and I thought that was too funny. But like I said, she thought it was funny too, so it ain't my fault. It is not my fault. Uh, uh, baby, look, I was finna say Trick Daddy thought it was funny too. Tootie thought it was funny too. Now y'all finna fuck around and have me calling this lady Trick Daddy on accident. <laughs> uh, Tootie thought it was funny too. Uh, let me get my brain together because I'm finna be calling these people all type of bullshit, okay? Not Trick Daddy. I'm talking about Tootie Chow, okay? Tootie thought it was funny too. And that was from my friend Leo Girl. My friend Queen Chelsea says, Lily used me to get back that... Uh, get back that's all she was trying to make grams upset and i definitely <clears throat> work oh and it definitely worked at this point her and grams need to get back together that's what i'm saying friend my friend queen chelsea hit it right on the head i think that it was just definitely a get back and somebody to hold her over until she got her shit back right with grams and i think that's half the problem is now she's on a tug of war because she probably don't want to hurt b feelings by messing around with grams and she probably don't want to feel crazy with what her audience is gonna have to say if she starts messing around with grams again. So that's how, that's exactly, I feel how you feel. And that's for my, for my friend, Queen Chelsea. I definitely agree with that. Let me see my friend, Brianna Spears in the building. Thank you for making it through. And I appreciate you for leaving a comment. It says, B don't think she was a rebound. So she going to believe anything Lily tell her. It definitely seemed like B just kind of go for it. I think, I don't know how old B is, but she seems a little younger than Lily. It seems like she kind of is like, is kind of like going for whatever Lily is going for. If Lily is, is going this way, she going this way. If Lily going that way, she going that way. Because like I said, the last time when she said, oh, I could tell when she started messing around with Grams again because I could feel both of their emotions and all this. I'm like, oh, baby, you, you feeling anything this woman is feeling, and that's dangerous, okay? You need to get up out of there before you, you make your damn self crazy too, feeling all her feelings, okay? That was for my friend Brianna Spears. I definitely think that's, um, that's the case as well. My friend Queen Chelsea says, I can't do Tootie and that dang noise she make that look. The last time I was trying to figure out what the noise was and y'all said it was that ski yeet. And then as soon as I seen her blog, baby, she did it. And I was like, that's that bullshit my friends was talking about right there. That damn ski yeet. <laughs> that's my friend Queen Chelsea said. I cannot stand that damn noise, okay? My friend Leo Girl says, um, I can't ever say that. Let me see. My friend Brie Trinity says, Tootie do look like the new trick daddy. I'm screaming baby the new one, not the old one, because I'm sorry. When I'm telling you, I seen that damn picture of her and have to go Google a picture of trick daddy. I'm like, y'all got me fucked up. I don't even know why she came in here and said that. But I'm like, see, this all your damn fault that I'm going to be accidentally calling this woman trick daddy on fucking accident. Okay? <laughs> I'm not even, I wasn't even thinking none of that. And, and I'm not even being funny, but every time I seen Tootie, I'm like, damn, Tootie looked like somebody. Tootie looked like somebody, and I could not put my finger on it. Baby, as soon as she said Trick Daddy, I'm like, see, this some bullshit. It's Trick Daddy. That's who she remind me of. That's a mess, okay? Like I said, I don't be coming up with half of this stuff. This be y'all. I'm just, I, I just be going with the flow. I just be going with the flow, friend. That's it, okay? And that was from my friend, Brie Trinity. My friend, C. Lopez says, I was trying to place the face in the um, I was trying to place the face and she does look like Trick Daddy. That's what I'm saying. I was trying to figure out who she looked like because she kept reminding me of somebody I've been seeing for a long. You know how you see somebody and you be like, damn, is it somebody I know? Like she reminded me of somebody so familiar. Baby, it's because I've been watching Trick Daddy for the past 35 years. That's exactly why the fuck she looks so familiar because I've been I've been looking at Trick Daddy face forever, and now there it go. That's exactly why I feel like her face looks so familiar, child. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That was from my friend C. Lopez. My friend Queen Chelsea says, now young Trick Daddy was kind of cute, like an ugly cute, but she is not, but oh, but he has not aged well. Young Trick Daddy did have a little look to him. I ain't mad at you either because you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it'd be the little hood cute, the little, you know, the little gangster cute. It ain't like a, oh damn, he look good, you know what I'm saying? Or nothing like that. But he definitely had a little look to him. It definitely fit fit the bill. It, it depends on your, your your preference, but I agree with my friend Queen Chelsea. Like I said, it just depends on who you, like, you know, shit. If you ain't from the hood, you probably like, oh, hell no, nah, y'all. But at the end of the day, if you grew up in the hood, then you know what she's talking about. It's kind of like the little ugly cute where, you know, he got the personality and all the little swag and stuff. So it goes hand in hand. But now the new trick daddy, baby, no. 
we're going to leave him right where he at, okay? That's for my friend, Queen Chelsea. My friend, Life of Deshanta. Thank you for being in here, Life of Deshanta. Shante, I appreciate you for making it here. It says, chicken fries and lies. <laughs> chicken fries and lies. If B don't go on somewhere and be happy and free, baby, chicken fries and lies. She she got B eating the chicken fries now, too, so she done got her ass caught in the tizzy with the goddamn chicken fries. Now, B probably wrapped up in this shit, too, and can't go nowhere. As soon as I seen B eating them chicken fries, I'm like, oh, hell no. She too deep in, and now she can't get out. This like that's like the movie Get Out. As soon as I seen her eating them damn chicken fries, I'm like, oh, B is in the sunken place. She done got her. And that's how that's how Lily be uh, hypnotizing people. She take their ass straight to Burger King. As soon as she find out they like her, she like, baby, we going to Burger King to get them chicken fries. And now look, I got this bitch forever. I got her under my wing, and now she'll never leave. If I if I make her eat the chicken fries, she ain't going nowhere, child. Okay. And that's for my friend Life of Deshante. Let me see my friend Leo girl with the crying laughing face. My friend Helen Hicks said uh chicken fries and hot honey fish baby <laughs> run b exactly that's why i'm like baby stop eating the burger king it's the burger king that's keeping you there it's the burger king that's keeping your brain messed up the burger king gonna keep you with lily forever child okay fuck around with them chicken fries your ass ain't going nowhere no time soon okay and that's for my friend helen hicks my friend dana 100 said did anyone else hear lily say she used to baby yes Said she used to sell coochie. Absolutely. We definitely heard that. And that's what I was getting. I, I was going to get on that subject too, child. I don't know why she thought that was appropriate to say. Now, beforehand, she definitely did mention she was a dancer and she used to be promiscuous and she was fast. I thought that was all that was to it. When I heard that, I was like, well, hell, baby, I'm not even worried about that. At the end of the day, a lot of people used to be a dancer. A lot of people used to, a lot of the YouTubers that we watch used to be dancers. They've all, they, a lot of them have, um, have made the transition from dancing to being content creators because I guess it's, you know, it's, it's good money in both child. But at the end of the day, when she said she was promiscuous, that shit, that's as far as I thought into it. And now on this new one, when she said she used to sell coochie, baby, look, go and get the Dr. Pepper, like my friend mine by said, and sell that too. Cause at the end of the day, I don't know why she thought that was okay to say, but honey, it's this, it's just, you, sometimes you don't got to give us all the information. Sometimes you don't got to tell us everything because now all them people who was and somebody did. Uh, who was it? Somebody. I can't even think of who it was. I think it was my I want to say it was my friend Lego Bricks. Somebody came to um, came and told me to go check it out and was saying that go check out that blog because she was saying stuff like that on the blog and was saying that the comment section was was snapping at her for making that comment. But by the time. I went to the comment section, baby. She had deleted all them goddamn comments. I don't know what them people were saying to her, but when I say I ain't see not a damn comment about her selling a Gucci in them damn comments, I didn't see not one. So I'm like, she. I suppose she must have ran over there and deleted everybody who has some smart shit to say about what she said. Okay, <laughs> because I'm like, I suppose you have to delete them because I know everybody didn't just let you go with that and didn't have nothing to say. Okay, and that was for my friend Dana 100. I definitely heard that. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, too, because I thought that was interesting. Okay, my friend Kelly girl says Lily is going to therapy now. Graham told Lily we needed therapy <clears throat> last year this time in March. Well, baby, look, definitely is over there with the therapist with Graham's. Okay, that's what it's giving because she damn sure was on the phone with that therapist the other day. And if her and um. If Grams was telling her they needed to go to therapy and she keeps talking about her um her going through stuff and all this stuff and she just can't talk about it, then that definitely fits the bill that that's who she's going to therapy with. Now, I can't say in that specific video that she was on there with Grams or anything like that, but that would make sense. Like you said, that if Grams said they needed to go to therapy and then every time she kind of fall off and she says she can't talk about some shit and now she's going to therapy, it's looking like three plus three is equal to 75, child, at this point, okay? And that's for my friend, Cali Girl. My friend, Mind Bite, says conspiracy theory. There we go. I needed that. I wanted to hear this conspiracy theory. He says, I believe Nick and Carlos party, I mean, it's partly responsible for the demise of Lily and Grams. Their influence uh, caused a wave of hate for, uh, for Grams. I definitely feel like they feel some type of way about Grams. And that's what I'm saying. And some people will come over here and swear that I hate... Um, that I hate Gina and that I hate Lily and that I hate all these people because I'm talking about them. I'm not talking about these people in a way that I hate them. I'm making jokes and I'm saying stuff that's laughable. I try not to, if you're new here, like I say all the time, I don't touch on topics that are too personal or too too close to these people's lives because I don't ever want to come off as being disrespectful or rude or really hateful towards these people because I have no hate or no malice in my heart towards these women. I love each and every one of them, which is why I'm so familiar and I'm able to make all the jokes that I make because I'm watching all that damn content because I truly enjoy them. But when I do say the Winslows, 
Now look, baby the Winslows, because y'all done named these people that said that's where we finna go. And now my friend is in here. You can love me or hate me, because that's where we that's where we got this from. Because she done caught this lady, Carl Winslow. Thank you for being in here, friend. I'll see you. I'm finna get to that in just a second. But my friend, you can love me or hate me, caught these people the Winslows, caught her Carl Winslow, okay? But I think that, like you said, I feel like they have a different sort of disdain when it comes to Grams because they be on her ass, child. They be on her ass. And now I haven't seen any of their commentary because I, I just started kind of watching them not too long ago. So I haven't seen anything as far as them, um, as far as them with Lily and Grams together. But I did notice that once it came to uh, Grams messing around with Lily looking like and all that stuff, they was all up in it, child. And so it definitely seems like they have some sort of some sort of thing going on for grams and i don't know what it is i have no idea what it is but i definitely feel you on that and that's for my friend mind bites let's see my friend you can love me or hate me says i'm here what did i miss baby we've been these people you done let me tell you let me see let me let me first of all what you did miss is 2d is trick daddy you also missed that they got a privately booty open and it's hot honey catfish and it's 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 some hot honey catfish booty okay <laughs> It's, you don't miss you don't miss a few things friend but that's okay because we finna catch you all the way up okay let me see and that's for my friend you can love me or hate me thank you for making it in here i appreciate you for making it in and thank you for the purple hearts <laughs> let me see and that's like, like i said that's that i believe if don't now correct me if i'm wrong but that's where we got the name carl winslow from y'all so if you ever hear me calling these people <laughs> carl winslow and the winslows baby my friends be telling me this stuff and now i can't i can't unsay it unsee it and undo it maybe it is what it is now okay let me see and that's where my friend you can love me or hate me my friend callie girl says girl lily tells us everything in her blogs baby everything everything that she don't need to be saying she be telling us okay let me see my friend Bruce Trinity says dana uh yep i said with the big eyes like yes honey we heard you say you were selling the cat and we don't know why you said it but now that you said it we all know it child and like I said, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't even looking at her no different. Cause at the end of the day, half of these people that be um on YouTube either used to do the same thing or used to be dancers. Half of these bitches that be rapping. Look, now I ain't calling these people bitches. It's just real tea with DBT. When I start talking, I start talking. Okay, but I don't mean no disrespect. Um, half of these women that be rapping and making this music are rapping about the same thing and or used to do the same thing. So at the end of the day. I guess we just gonna have to pick and choose who we gonna support because it seemed like just about all of them used to do the same damn thing. We ain't got not one regular woman who used to do a regular job as an influencer or a rapper or nothing else. It seemed like everybody that's in some sort of position used to do some crazy ass shit. Now, Gina, on the other hand, I know Gina used to be um, a nurse or something like that. So her past isn't as now. We know Gina is a freak, but she did used to have a regular job. Okay, we know Gina done said and done some interesting ass shit. But she did used to have a regular job. So I can give her credit for saying that she used to have a regular job and she wasn't a dancer or nothing like that. But a lot of the ladies that are, you know, in position definitely have had the same type of past. So I tried not to um I tried not to be too judgmental when she said that. Now, was I surprised? Hell yeah, I was surprised. But at the end of the day, like I said, I tried not to be too judgy because like I said, I, I also don't want to uh, be disrespectful to her by having too much of an opinion on that. But I also just like I said, it's just like, well, hell, she ain't the first one. That's for damn sure, because I probably watched two, three, four other ones that was doing the same thing before I got to her, and she said that. But it definitely was surprising to hear her say that so comfortably on that damn blog. And then went to go get some chicken like she ain't saying, like, no, no, no. Get back on that subject and elaborate on that, okay? Talk about that. We'll get to the chicken later, but keep talking about what you just said, because you ain't going to say that and then move on to the next topic like we didn't just hear what you said, okay? Let me see. My friend, and then, like I said, when she said that, and then she said the man in the damn chicken place was like, why you look so familiar? What you do or something like that? I'm like, see, now this all, this all starting to sound crazy. And like I said, when I start hearing crazy stuff, my brain start taking me to a thousand different places. So I'd be like, did this man know you from something else for real? Because you didn't already tell us what you were doing, child. Okay, let me see. That's from my friend, Brie Trinity. My friend, Leo girl says, yep, she said it without saying it on her last vlog. Basically keep going through the same cycles over and over she just go through the same thing over and over. And she just said this time she tired of going through shit and not learning her lesson. So that's why I said I felt like her and the Grams thing is definitely relevant again because saying I'm tired of going through the same stuff and not learning the same lesson. Now, I know with the food, that can be one thing. She can be talking about that as well. But it seems like it's more than just the eating and the weight gain. And it seems like the food and the eating and the weight gain is coming from her dealing with something else. So it seems like the food and all that stuff and grams it seems like that's all part of a cycle that she can't seem to get out of because she definitely says she's tired of making the same mistakes and going through the same stuff over and over so 
baby is giving is giving she ain't she ain't tired enough because she's gonna keep doing it until she can't do it no more let me see and like i said if that's what she want to do she needs to just do it so it's not making her crazy that she could just be comfortable sitting in whatever she wants to do because like i said it ain't it ain't us she gotta impress she gotta impress her damn self she the one that gotta live that life so if she gonna sit there and she gonna do whatever she wants to do she needs to be happy about it and just do it because there's an audience for that too now it might not be the audience that have been watching her the audience that have been watching her might not want to see her back with grams but there will be an audience that will enjoy that there will be a group of people who want to see that so then just just do it do it for those people you know do it for the people who will enjoy who you gen genuinely are and not who you are pretending to be or who you're being for the audience because we seeing through it i mean hell if you got a brain and you an adult then you see what's going on and you see that it's more to it than just just the food and all that stuff okay so that's just what it is let me see and that's for my friend leo girl my friend dana 100 says brie my mother's still on the floor okay definitely <laughs> look she said my, oh shoot sorry she said my uh, my mouth is still on the floor she corrected and it said mouth my mouth is still on the floor baby it was definitely some tea when she said that my friend michelle m is in the building hey d hey she says hello everyone thank you so much for making it in the building michelle m i appreciate you for making it in here that is my boo okay like I said, I love each and every one of y'all for making it in here and for everybody that comes in here and drops a comment and who's interacting. I totally appreciate every single one of y'all for that because y'all keep me talking. And anybody who's in here just watching, you don't got to chit chat and you don't got to chime in. If you're not comfortable, I appreciate y'all for being in here as well. If you're in here today, please make sure you hit the like button. Go ahead and smack that like button. And if you're new here, and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And if you've been here and you still haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button so you can stay with the content and we can keep chit-chatting, okay? Um, and also, if you just came in here and you haven't been in here, I told everybody with a YouTube channel, drop green hearts so that we know you have a YouTube channel and we can spin the block and make sure that we go support your content as well. My friend Mindbite says, conspiracy theory continued. I hate that group from Nick and Carla's channel, uh, grew and cultivated other channels to do the same. So... That's my main thing is that um, it's kind of like trying to sway the audience to feel how you feel is, is something that I don't agree with. So at the end of the day, um, that's what I said. I feel like they have a different sort of energy when it comes to them. And when it came to that OGY situation, it seemed like they have a different sort of energy when they're coming at these people. Now, like I said, hood rap face tag came in here fucking with me. And so I had a different energy coming with her. But I'm only coming at you like that if you coming at me like that. So at the end of the day, and still with me. If you coming at me a certain way, it depends on how you're coming. But even if you come in, if you come in too much and coming too hard, I'm still going to I'm still going to keep it in a respectful space. Now, will I make a video about your ass? Absolutely. But I'm still not going to be calling you out your name. I'm still not going to. It's certain it's certain lines I'm not going to cross regardless because. I could get there, but it's just not, it's, it's, it's no point. I don't know these people personally. So at the end of the day, them coming on here saying what they want to say to me, it doesn't get me to a point where I feel like I need to go that hard on them because it's just, it just, like I said, it ain't that serious. And I'm not trying to sway anybody's opinion to treat somebody a certain way or to feel some type of way about somebody. And when it comes to the YouTubers and the content that I make, I definitely am not trying to sway anybody's opinion to make them not want to watch their channel or not like the ladies anymore. Everybody has their own choice. And at the end of the day, it wouldn't make no sense for me to tell y'all not to like them or to try to uh, get you guys not to like them because I'm going to be watching the damn channels too. So what I'm going to tell everybody else not to like them for or try to make people not like them for if I myself am going to go over there and support them as well right after I didn't say what I said about them. So like I, um, like my friend Mindbites just said, it seems like they kind of, uh, it seems like the Winslows, baby. <laughs> it seems like the Winslows kind of do be in a space where they, um, they try to they try to sway their audience's opinion to get them to gear their opinion in a certain in a certain way so that they don't um support these people or not all of them but it seems like they try to get them to not support grams or whoever OGYs or whatever who they might be talking about at the moment because of how they feel and like i said regardless of how i feel everybody can do as they please like i said in these chats Y'all can come in here and agree with me or disagree with me. I really don't care if you agree or disagree. We are here to have a conversation. So I've had people come in here and say, well, no, I don't think that or I don't agree with that, which is fine. I, that's it's part of a conversation and it keeps the conversation going. But I don't I don't ever want to be on here saying like, y'all need to stop watching a channel. Don't watch them no more because of this or that. Or look, don't support them because she said this or she said that or she doing this or doing that. Because baby, like I said. I'm going to go watch it anyway, regardless of what they do. And I'm going to go watch it and I'm going to have an opinion about it. And I'm going to come over here and talk about it. But I don't, I don't, I don't try to stop anybody from supporting anybody because that's not what it's about. But <clears throat> I definitely agree with my friend Mindbites about the Winslows. Now, if you're confused about me saying the Winslows, 
I didn't give these people this name. It's Nick and Carla, okay, child? But that's I, I don't want nobody just coming in here and being like, who the fuck are the Winslows? Nick and Carla is the Winslows, okay? Let me see. Um, my friend uh, Chelsea55 says, that strap be strapping, baby. At the end of the day, I think that's why she actually held on to her for so long because she must have been doing something to her, okay? She must have been doing something to her. She was strapping her down and shoving chicken fries down her goddamn throat at the same time, okay? <laughs> that's where my friend, <laughs> Shell 55, look, see, I be saying, I, this be, this ain't, this don't be my fault. This be y'all fault. I'm saying, I be reading stuff. And then as soon as I read it, I got something to say that I shouldn't have damn said, y'all. <laughs> Let me see. That's from my friend, Bruce Trinity says, um, at Dana Chow, she tells everything. I just shook my head like, Lily, come on now. You could have kept that to yourself. Definitely could have kept it to herself. She's so damn transparent. I think she come on that camera half the time and don't even be remembering that she said some shit. I'm like, did you did you rewatch it when you edited it? Because look, after that in the panty situation, I'm like, do you be rewatching this stuff when you editing it or are you just throwing it on right after you film it? Because it's some shit that you could look at and kind of be like, nah, let me not put the hole in the panties on there. Nah, let me not go ahead and put the coochie part in there. Let me keep some of this stuff to myself because I know these people going to have something to say. But baby, she don't give a damn. She don't give a damn. Like I said, our friend Lily is so damn transparent. She going to tell it like it is and she do not give one damn. Okay, let me see. My friend Michelle M says, Something is on Lily. I guess we'll get a confession about it when she's ready. Definitely. She keeps saying she's going to talk about it. And hopefully one day she'll get to the point where she can talk about it. Like I said, I think as soon as she gets comfortable enough to tell people that she's been dibbling and dabbling back on the other side and they get back right and get back in their proper space, that's when she's going to open up and say what she got to say. Otherwise, we're going to get drugged through the mud and her throat chakra is going to be blocked to the end of damn time. <laughs> okay. And that's where my friend Michelle M. My friend, uh, sometimes gray. Hey, I appreciate you for being in here and thank you for chiming in the chat. Says Lily and Grams love each other. Unfortunately, they went through a cycle and going public cost them supporters at Mind Bites. That's what I was saying. I feel like it's the supporters that she's worried about. I feel like it's the audience that she's more concerned about than her own damn self. And I feel like, like I said, outside of the supporters, yes, some people might not support that, but you got to worry about your true happiness. And if that's where you're going to be happy at and that's what makes you truly happy. You got to do that because, yeah, you might lose some supporters, but you also are going to gain support from the people who enjoy that and who like to see you happy and who don't care who you with. They just like you and what you do regardless. So I think that's that's half of that. That's half of it, because, baby, at the end of the day, we done been watching um, Jenna Winfrey with Tarzan for the past two months. And we still watching her ass regardless, okay? So whether we like uh, goddamn Tarzan or not, we ain't decided to stop watching. So at the end of the day, you just got to do what makes you happy and allow the audience to do what they want to do because people are going to do what they want to do and feel how they want to feel regardless of whatever the hell you got going on. Hell, we felt some type of way when she said she was selling coochie. But at the end of the day, that didn't stop nobody from watching the content. So she got to just do whatever makes her happy and let the audience do whatever they're going to do because some people might stop watching, but I, I feel like, I feel like some people, I feel like most people will still support. Now, I could be wrong, but that's just my opinion. I feel like most people, if they truly do like her for who she is and not for who she's dating, then I think it still might be effective. Um, now, I don't know. I've, I've never seen her and Grams on camera together. So I don't know what the dynamic of them together is like. I couldn't tell you if they were good together or bad together. But like I said, if that's what makes her happy, then she'll get the audience that enjoys seeing her happy. And that's just that's just how I feel about it. And I was for my friend sometimes great. Thank you for chiming in. I appreciate that. My friend Dana 100 says at Brie True, I was waiting for her to say just kidding, but it never happened. Shaking my head. That's what I was thinking. I was definitely waiting for it. I'm just joking or something like that. And baby, when I say we never got it, when I say we never got it, I was like, oh, well, damn, she just going to move on to the next damn topic. That's what I'm saying. My friend Dana hit that right on the head because I was like, oh, she just went ahead and started talking about something else. So she must not have been joking about that. Okay. That's for my friend Dana 100. My friend Michelle M says, I don't like that thing either. At least turn it around. It, um, at least her edges ain't gone. Yes, exactly. Like the first time she did it. That's what I was talking about too. Is like just do something else with it. Take it, just do something else with your hair, okay? Because you can definitely take the turban off, do a little wash and go or something, and get up out of there. You don't have to be um a hundred percent gorgeous every time you get on camera. Because at the end of the day, whatever you look like up under that wig is for damn sure gonna look better than that wig and that turban because we tired of seeing that. So you can do something else to it and put some little makeup and some lashes and some earrings and stuff on with your natural hair and be perfectly beautiful just like that. You don't have to come on here with a wig on and looking 10 out of 10 all the time because at the end of the day, like I said, that robe and that bonnet definitely is a two out of 10. So we don't want to see that. 
So if we don't want to see that, then baby, you and your natural hair is going to be 20 times better than any shit you've been showing us for the past three weeks, okay? And that's from our friend Michelle M. My friend, um, my friend Mindbite says, respectfully, as sometimes grace, so what? Oh, okay, I think you were saying about people, um, when my friend, um, well, my friend sometimes Grace said that might cost her some supporters. And my friend Mindbice is saying, yes, like it might cost her some subscribers, but at the end of the day, so what? Because like I said, whoever's gonna support her and her happiness, then that's who's gonna support her. Because at the end of the day, if we wanna see our favorite YouTubers actually be in their good mental space and give us good content, then fuck how people feel. And that just is what it is. No disrespect to whoever doesn't like them together. Because like I said, I respect everybody and what they wanna see in their opinion, but if it comes to a point where she feels like she's gonna lose supporters because of the uh of the of of her making the decision that's best for her mentally, then it it just it just is what it is. She's gonna have to realize that she cannot worry about her audience more than she worries about herself. So I think, yeah, like my friend Mind Bites was saying, she meant no disrespect. She's just saying, who cares if she loses supporters? And she shouldn't care if she loses supporters. So I understand what you meant by saying respectfully. Um um, yes. So like I said, I understand what you mean by saying uh, respectfully. So what? Because that is that is kind of what I was saying is like, even if she does lose supporters, then that just means those aren't the people who are supporting her. That just means those are people who are supporting you because they like you in a certain space. And then it's like, hell, you can't you can't make everybody happy. But as long as you're making yourself happy, that's all that counts. Um, and like I said, I do know a lot of people say they don't like them together or they wouldn't watch them together. But like I said, at the end of the day, she got to be happy. She has to be happy regardless. And if that that's what makes her happy, then that's what the Lord want her to do is be happy. He, he definitely don't want her wallowing around in sadness like this. I know y'all probably like, baby, you can leave the Lord out of this, okay? <laughs> but I'm just saying, that's what that's what he will want for everybody is to walk around his earth happy and not, not wallowing in sadness trying to impress other people because that ain't what this is about. Let me see. And that was from my friend Mind Bites. My friend Queen Chelsea says, I personally like Grams and Lily together. I hate that they have to sneak. I wish they could just post it because I'm nosy. <laughs> Look, she said, I'm nosy child. Look, we all are. And I've never, like I said, I've never gotten a chance to see them together. So seeing them together would give me a better perspective on um, um, on how they are together and why people feel the way that they feel, either good or bad. Now, look, Queen Chelsea, I was just going to say something about you because, baby, I need a sip of water. So before I start choking, let me drink some of this water and I'm going to get right back to these comments. Y'all give me one second. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Look, the, thank you to my friend Queen Chelsea because she always makes sure I got some water on hand because she already know I'll be in this thing choking and asking y'all to call the damn ambulance for me. Okay, child, that's for my friend Queen Chelsea. Let me see my friend. Sometimes Grace says, "At my advice, respectfully, I'm agreeing with you." Yes. Yeah, so thank you for thank you for understanding and not taking that the wrong way because, like I said, we all in here having a conversation, and I don't ever want nobody being here uh, thinking that we got to argue in order to agree or disagree. But definitely. Definitely, my friend sometimes Gray says I'm definitely agreeing with that perspective for sure. And we had we definitely agree with what you were saying. That's where we that's where we were coming. Uh, that's where we were coming from. Um, let me see. My friend Queen Chelsea says, Baby, now why y'all called him folks the Winslow's question? Who is Carl and who is the mom? Forget her name. Baby, look. Now look, I'm I'm gonna answer the question, but this is not my fault. Okay, I did not say this. I did I this was I did not come up with this, okay? So my friend Queen Chelsea says. First of all, why do y'all call them the Winslows? Because last time, my friend, you can love me or hate me, was in here and said something. She don't like Carl. She don't like Nick and Carl. And I said, okay, did you call her Carl on accident because she didn't put the A at the end? So I'm like, did you call her Carl on accident or did you say Carl on purpose? And she said, baby, no. I said Carl because she reminds me of fucking Carl Winslow, okay? <laughs> that's where the name that's where that's where it all started okay that's where it all started because my friend love me or hate me said because she remind me of carl winslow number one number two carl is carla so nick gotta be the gotta be the damn uh gotta be the mother okay nick gotta be um harriet okay so harriet harriet is nick and carl is carla chow now like i said don't 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 come in here mad at me y'all because i'm not the one that said this okay I, like i said <laughs> i just be reading stuff and going off of what y'all saying okay 
But yes, child. Yes, that's where that's where it came from, friend. She said that Car Carla remind her of damn Carl Winslow. And after that, they'd have been the Winslows ever since, child. Okay, so that's why I said if you just now coming in here, you weren't in that last uh that last live stream and you didn't get a chance to figure out or hear any of that, baby. That's where the Winslows came from. So if you ever hear me saying the Winslows, that's exactly who we talking about. That's why I be having to clarify because I'm I'm like, who they probably like, who the hell is the Winslows? Okay. It's them. It's them too, child. Okay. But I like I said, I I'm coming how y'all coming, okay? Some of this shit, I be like I said, I be trying to watch my mouth. But baby, when I say y'all be coming in here saying stuff that I just have to chime back in on, that's what be happening. And I be having to say crazy shit because y'all be saying crazy shit, okay? And that was from my friend Queen Chelsea said, who the fuck is the Winslows? Why do y'all call them that, okay? That's hilarious. My friend Rock Just Living says, she needs a flat turban, that unicorn turban, ain't, ain't it? She definitely needs a flat because I'm tired of seeing that little knot at the top too, okay? The knot at the top, the black ring around the damn turban, it's all just a damn mess, okay? All of it. It's just, I'm tired of seeing every bit of it. My friend Queen Chelsea says, she also picks at her hair when she's stressed. I definitely remember her saying she picks at her uh, her edges, and then she said she was picking at her lashes too, which is definitely just unhealthy. So that's why I'm saying she needs to find her happy place and sit in that, and wherever it is, go there and be there. Because at the end of the day, picking your own damn hair out and picking your eyelashes out is not a healthy damn journey, and you're gonna be bald lashes and bald headed if you don't stop fucking around and letting these people stress you out. So definitely, the picking at everything when she's stressed out is just not giving. It's not a good look. So she gotta literally find where she's happy at and be there and stop worrying about how other people feel because she gonna mess herself all the way up okay between all these damn burger king chicken fries and picking her hair out and being uh, fucking bald lashes baby she is not gonna be no type of attractive to have no girlfriend hell grams ain't even gonna want her after that so she might as well stop all this bullshit and get back in alignment with herself and do what's best for her before she mess around and ruin her life for real child okay and that's for my friend queen chelsea my friend Sherry M is in the building. Thank you, Sherry, for chiming in. Says, and all these bootleg weight loss journeys. Baby, bootleg weight loss journeys, and then with to go buy some cake, some chicken, a burrito, and all type of shit, child. All type of shit she done paid for. Then was trying to figure out the name of the weight loss medication and kept trying to, she kept trying to think of the name of the weight loss medication and said, promethazine and Percocet. I'm like, look, baby, are you fucking with the promethazine and the Percocet or not? Because at the end of the day, I don't know how the hell you came up with those two things and you talking about some weight loss medication, but if you if you uh if you taking the promethazine and Percocet, that's that's why your damn life is falling apart and in shambles too, child. Okay, but I'm like, how your brain take you there when you talking about some weight loss medication? Now I know what promethazine and Percocet is, but I don't give a damn what I'm thinking about. Them two things ain't gonna come to my mind on accident. That's for damn sure, unless I've been dibbling and dabbling with them, baby. Okay, and that's just me. That's just what I think, but. Look, don't get me to lie. And that's where my friend Michelle M. I mean, not Michelle M. My friend Sherry M. My friend Michelle M. says, at Rock Just Living, yes. My friend Shell 55 says, um, the mom's name is Harriet. Yes. So we did, at this point, Nick is Harriet and Carla is Carl, Shell. <laughs> Carla is Carl and Nick is Harriet, Shell. That's hilarious. Let me see. My friend, the writer who arises in the building says, I'm, um, I'm late, but I'm here. Thank you. I appreciate you. Whenever you chime in and whatever you fall through, it says, hello, everyone. I appreciate you for making it through. The, and that's my, for my friend, the brighter view arise. Let me see. My friend Mindbite says, Queen Chelsea, um, that's exactly my point. Nick and Carla, Nick and Carla, the spawn baby channels are waiting to pounce. Definitely, it seems like whenever they get a little moment and they get nasty too, baby, okay? They get down and dirty. When they start feeling some type of way about somebody, they will try to eat you alive, child. That's what I said. I didn't even know. I had heard about OG Wise before, but I had never seen her or, you know, gotten any, you know, any further information about her than kind of the stuff that you guys have chimed in and said about her. But baby, when I say they was having a little spat with OG Wise, they was getting down and dirty, honey. They done went and look. And now last time I said they done went and found her old pictures of her when she was more feminine with her family and stuff. And baby, somebody said that woman said, that's not me. That's my twin sister. Baby, that took me out. I thought that was hilarious that that woman said that was her twin sister. Okay. Now that's the only thing that I thought was pretty damn funny. But other than that, I'm like, oh yes. Uh, the Winslows was trying to eat her ass a live child. And I was just like, oh, they getting mean, mean. Okay. They getting real nasty when it comes to these people. They ain't playing no games now. OG Wise, I guess, was getting at them too. And she was leaving them comments and saying what she wanted to say. But baby, when I say they was trying to eat her alive, honey, they was not letting up, okay? And that's when I was like, oh, they get they get nasty when they want to, child. It ain't even that damn serious, okay? Now, 
unless you're trying to actually fight me in the street or something. Baby, I'm not going there with you. I am not going there with you. You can say whatever the hell you want to say, and I might make a little video about you or something, but baby, I'm keeping it so surface. I ain't got the time to be digging up pictures of your mama and your granny and your children and your husband and all this old shit. They asses was crazy for that, okay? And that was from my friend Mind Bites. My friend uh, Rock Just Living which says, Michelle with the crying laughing face. Let me see my friend Queen Chelsea says, okay, Harriet, that's funny. She says, I forgot, that's funny. <laughs> that's hilarious. Because I was trying to figure out the wife name too and somebody for damn sure came in last time and told me Harriet for sure. They was like, oh no, we ain't gonna let you leave without clarifying, that's Harriet, okay? Let me see, that was my friend Queen Chelsea. My friend, Naturally March says, I'm gonna have to DM her with some tips on moisturizing. Please do, because like I said, my friend Naturally March has some beautiful hair, okay? So she know exactly what to do with it. So at any point, if you got questions about hair care, Hit up Naturally Marge channel because she know what to do with it. And like I said, Naturally Marge, definitely DM our friend Lily and tell her what she need to do for them natural, uh, for them natural locks because baby, she don't, she don't know what to do with it. She don't know what to do with her hair. Okay, so she need whatever tips that you got that you be putting in your hair and doing your twist outs and stuff. Please send it over there to her because she is in desperate need. Okay, and that's where my friend Naturally Marge, my friend Melissa online is in a building. I appreciate you for making it through. Says who are we dragging? Baby, everybody. Every damn body from the Winslows, which is Nick and Carla, to we trying not to drag. We trying, we we trying, we ain't dragging Lily. We just having a conversation about Lily. We haven't gotten to Gina Winfrey yet, but we finna get on Gina Winfrey ass in just a second. Cause she gonna get it too for this bullshit she was saying the other day. But definitely we done talked about pretty much damn everybody but Gina so far. But we're gonna get there, like I said, in a second. That's from my friend Melissa online. Thank you for making it in. I appreciate you. Let's see, my friend Michelle M says, and I'm gonna try to get through these comments because baby, I know I'm so far up. Y'all probably like, baby, I said that so damn long ago. I don't know where you at in the comments. So let me let me speed through some of these so I can make it all the way down to the bottom, child. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. My friend Michelle M says, yeah, but after that first time, her edges was gone. Then they started growing back. They seem to be holding on now. <laughs> they seem to be holding on now. Look, child, they gonna be gone in a minute if she don't take them damn turbans off. She finna rub their asses right off. That black ring around the edges is about to poison her damn edges again if she don't hurry up and take that damn turban off, okay? That's some damn, I don't know, some, what do you what do you call that? What is that? Um, Whatever material her bonnet is made out of and the color is starting to come off, that damn color gonna seep into her skin and she ain't gonna have no edges again, child, okay? And that's for my friend Michelle M. My friend D Cosmic is in the building. Thank you for coming in and chiming in in the chat. Says, uh, bleaching fucks your hair up. Definitely seems like she is not even caring about what her natural hair look like at this point. So she gonna bleach it and throw a turban on and not give a damn what it actually look like for real when she take the turban off, okay? And that's for my friend D Cosmic. My friend Queen Chelsea says, man, forget, um, forget Nick and Carla. Well, I'll do respect because we want true content from Lily. I think she will feel better if they can really be authentic. Absolutely. I definitely feel like she'd be better off if she could be her true authentic self. And like I said, I mean, like you said, it just comes to the point where she's worried about people's reactions and what people are going to say. But at the end of the day, it don't matter because it's about who she is and what she want to do. So that is definitely um, agreeable. And that's for my friend Queen Chelsea. My friend Sherry M says, they should stop. They should stop falling for her lies. My friend Sherry M, I think you are referring to Lily's lies because at the end of the day, it seemed like it seemed like whatever she said, they're gonna go for it. And maybe I'm I might be talking about the wrong topic, but if you're talking about that, it definitely seemed like whatever she say, they're gonna do. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna try to speed through some of these comments because I know I'm so far behind. Y'all probably like, um, baby, I'm trying to say something to you, and your ass is all the way up in the damn 45 minutes ago. Okay, let me see. Let me see, let me see. My friend Callie Girl with the crying laughing face. My friend Queen Chelsea says, yes, I be wondering the same thing. She never posts people from these weight loss challenges. It's giving robots or AI. Baby <laughs> said robots or AI. Definitely never seen nobody with no results. That's why I said, do people be hitting her up asking her for their money back? Because I ain't really seen nobody said lost 10 pounds from the weight loss challenge or even said I'm part of the weight loss challenge. So I don't know what the hell be going on. I know she be having the Zoom meetings and stuff, but when I say we ain't produced no results and seen nobody on her Instagram that seemed like they done lost some weight, I ain't seen not a damn person, okay? And that's from my friend Queen Chelsea. My friend Mindbite says, message to Lily and Grams. There's an audience that will support the return of you two. F them people and come through. We love y'all. Definitely giving... Forget the people who don't want to see it and do what y'all are going to do that makes you happy for sure because it's definitely given that's your happy space and you need to be happy regardless. That's for my friend Mind Bites. My friend Michelle M says, damn, LOL. My friend Callie Girl says, Mind Bites 100. Let me see. My friend Michelle M also says, me too. Something is definitely going on with her. And also says, she probably needs to take a break from YouTube, but she can't afford it. She definitely 
either needs to take a break from YouTube or put the camera down when she's feeling some type of way and pick it up when she's in a happy space because that's what's going on too. Like I said, when you look better, you feel better and you do better. But I feel like she tends to pick up the camera to talk about her sadness and that's what keeps her in a certain space sometimes too. That's where my friend Michelle and my friend Brie Trinity says, Lily be scamming people. I would never sign up for anything she's doing. She never goes through with it. She definitely don't seem like she go through and not a damn thing that she be doing because I haven't seen any type of results from any challenge or anything that she's done. And now not that, not that, not that it's not happening. She just might not be showing it, but that's why I'm saying at this point, who the hell is signing up for him? Because with the fact that they done saying you not have results 55 times already, I don't know who the hell is throwing money your way to see what's going to happen. Cause baby ain't nothing happening. If they looking at you, they see ain't a goddamn result in sight. Okay. And that's where my friend Bruce Trinity, my friend D Cosmic says, I think the majority of, um, of their following would actually be happy that they're back together. I definitely feel like people would support that. I, like I said, I know some people probably would be against it, but there's an audience of people who would love it and who would like to see a her back happy and be them back together. So at the end of the day, who knows what the problem is or why she won't just do it, but it definitely would be a different, a different, um, a different energy on her channel if she decided to just go back where she was happy at. And let me see, my friend Shadea Moore says, Lily just needs to stop dieting, doing fake weight loss challenges and eat. What, what was the point of getting surgery only to gain three times the weight back? Definitely, because I was going to mention that too, that she was talking about how much weight she lost when she went and got her surgery and that she used to be in the gym all the time. I think that the motivation of going to the gym and stuff after they get the surgery is just the excitement of them getting surgery. I think they get the surgery, jump off the table and be like, oh, girl, I look good. So let me keep my body right. And then after a few years and after a while of them having that surgery, they get right back to where they came from and they start doing their old things and doing what they were doing again. And then they lose the motivation and end up being like either A, I'm going to jump back on the table or B, I'm going to start taking some weight loss medication. But for damn sure, we seen half of these ladies go to the gym and then they'll stop. They be having a little gym journey, a little gym membership and all that. And then right after that, you don't see not a damn gym no more. Okay. Jeannie used to go to the gym literally every vlog when I first started watching her. And then all of a sudden she started talking about the goddamn semaglutide. So at the end of the day, I guess it just get the motivation of getting the surgery changes. And then they start feeling like, well, hell, I look like this now. So ain't nothing going to change. And then when they start eating and getting back in their regular routine, they see that weight start picking back up and then they start rushing to figure out what they're going to do. Because Gina did mention a few blogs ago that she was planning on going to get another tummy tuck and a breast reduction. So we know Gina Ash just going, she she don't give a damn about the gym. She just going to do what she got to do at every point in time. Okay. Let me see. And that's for my friend, Sade Amore. My friend Life of Deshante says, yeah, I think she can't afford to take a break from YouTube. And it's always some type of half-baked sin. Oh, I'm sorry, send me money now challenge scheme she's up to. Definitely, I'm not sure. I don't I don't know what what her personal life is like outside of YouTube as far as her finances or what she has going on. Like I said, I know her and her dad have some sort of trucking company. So I'm sure that there's some sort of money in that. It might not be the amount of money that she's making on YouTube, but I know with the revenue that she's making on YouTube, that's probably that's probably um the majority of what's keeping her in the financial position that she's in. So taking a break from YouTube might might put a dent in her pockets. I can't say, like I said, I can't say it will or it won't, but that might be um, why she's so adamant about just picking up the camera at any time because YouTube is her main source of, of like major income. So at the end of the day, taking a break from YouTube might not be an option for her because she doesn't want to take a break from her her main source of revenue because I'm she's she's making a good amount of money off of YouTube. A lot of these, a lot of these ladies is making a lot of good money off of YouTube. So I know putting the camera down and taking a break might not be an option for her, especially if she wants to maintain the type of lifestyle that she's living. And that's for my friend, uh, Life of Deshante. But I definitely think taking a break at least for a week and getting her mind right would be, would be good for her because she needs a mental break. She she just needs a mental break for sure. Let me see. My friend um, Shadea Moore says, Lily also needs to take care of her mental health and wellness. Something is definitely going on. She definitely needs to take a break and take care of herself for sure. I agree with that. My friend Shoe Lover is in the building and says, I made it with the Purple Hearts. Thank you for making it. I appreciate you for coming through and I appreciate you bringing the Purple Hearts to the chat, friend. I appreciate you. Let me see. My friend Queen Chelsea says, when she had to pay for that tire, she was like she had... Um, she was happy her card went through. Baby, not happy the card went through. <laughs> That's not it. I'm not even laughing at that. She said she was happy the card went through. Well, damn, 
I don't know. I don't see, but see with the, with the level of irresponsibility that she has for everything else, I could imagine that she's probably irresponsible with her finances too. So that, that could be a thing because I mean, seemingly she don't, she don't really keep things in order all the time and she don't really uh, go through with a lot of stuff. And when she makes plans for stuff, she don't really make sure it happens or happens correctly. So I could imagine that her finances might be a little confusing too, child. Okay. Look, that bank account might be here, there and everywhere. Next week, she's going to get a check and the next week is going to be gone, child. At the end of the day, she better start selling that coochie again and make sure it is, <laughs> make sure that is, uh, make sure that money is, make sure that money is going to stay on point. Now, baby, don't, don't, don't take me seriously. <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay. She don't need to do that, but I'm just saying at the end of the day, don't let it get that tricky, baby. Cause we do not want to see you back outside like that. Child, okay. And that's where my friend queen Chelsea, see y'all be having me fucking up over here. I'm not, I'm not playing with y'all. Let me see my friend Shadea Moore says, now I can't stop laughing. Sorry, y'all. My friend Shadea Moore says, ask for Gina. She could keep them. Um, she could keep on with the fake semaglutide diet. I ain't. It ain't giving weight loss, baby. We'll take the damn semaglutide, and then we seen her last time in New York eating everything under the damn sun. It was like, oh, I'm not hungry, but baby had a chicken skewer, had some ice cream, had two ice creams, had some whole other shit. Went to another place. They had the little uh, ice creams and the donuts and all that. So I'm like, look. Either you're going to do the damn semaglutide or you're going to eat what you want to eat. But you can't do both and think we finna watch it all and not have nothing to say, okay? My friend Chai T says, oh, dear, with the crying laughing face. My friend Michelle M says, B is starting to look like one of the chipmunks. Child, them little, like I said, them, them little cheeks, baby. Her little cheeks is getting chunky, okay? I seen them little cheeks getting chunky and them little arms starting to gain a little weight, too. I'm like, B, you better run for the hills, baby. You better run as fast as you can before you end up looking like a goddamn chicken fry yourself, baby. You're going to look like the Burger King, the Burger King man, okay? The damn Burger King, um, what is it? The, the Burger King um, mascot, baby, the man with the, little, with the little crown on and stuff, okay? So I'm like, B, get the hell up out of there before she kill you, okay? My friend Bruce Trinity with the crying laughing face. Let me see. My friend Lego Bricks says, uh, phew, finally made it. Hey, y'all. Hey, thank you, Lego Bricks, for making it through. And make sure y'all head over to Lego Bricks channel because Lego Bricks has been dropping content and is definitely, definitely, first of all, it's consistent, baby. When I say Lego Bricks is consistent with the content, definitely come with the consistent content and be having me laughing. I'll be over there in the comments chiming in on Lego Bricks as well, okay? Definitely have some fun, interesting content when it comes to... Um, come to the building and has commentary too. The commentary be getting me because the commentary be funny and I enjoy watching all the building and I enjoy just watching you be um be consistent with your content because like I said, that's, that's what it takes. If you're going to come over here and you're going to try to be uh, doing YouTube, you can't be dropping once a month and all that stuff. You definitely have to be consistent. And when I say my friend Leg Up Bricks is consistent, baby, consistent, okay? And my friend is in the building. I appreciate you for making it through. Says, hey, y'all, hey. My friend D Cosmic says, um, all that drinking got be getting big. Okay, yes, I, I agree with you. It definitely could be the liquor too, because I know Dre like a Dre, uh, be like a drink for sure. Okay, Dre, uh, look, I, I don't know why I keep saying Dre. B enjoys a drink for sure. My friend C Lopez says Queen Chelsea and Sade are more with the crying laughing face. Um, my friend D Cosmic says beer makes you gain weight. Definitely, beer is a weight gainer for sure. Beer and then all that liquor with that sugar and stuff will definitely have you a little fluffy, baby. Okay. And now look, I can't talk. I'm I'm a little fluffy myself, but I'm 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 not I'm not doing the stuff they doing. I'm just not consistent. Look, I done told somebody it's a gym in my damn building. And baby, when I say I will walk my ass right past that gym, <laughs> I will walk my ass right past that gym and look at that damn treadmill and say hi and walk my ass on. Okay. At the end of the day, as long as the as long as the treadmill get a hello, then I'm on the right track. Okay. At least I saw it and I said hi. And baby, that's that's <laughs> that's a start. Okay. That's a start to my weight loss journey, baby. But I ain't that fluffy. Okay. I'm just a little thick. Baby, I ain't fluffy like that. Let me see my friend. And that is shit. At the end of the day, ain't nothing wrong with being fluffy as long as you ain't going to keep telling people that you're trying to lose weight and then take them on a goddamn journey with you. Let me see. My friend D Cosmic says, oh, I'm sorry. My friend D Cosmic said, beer makes you gain weight. Let me see. Not my friend C Lopez says, big back B. She definitely about to be big back B if she don't stop fucking around with Lily, but look like she done cut ties with her now. So she might, she might lose a little bit of weight, but now she addicted to them goddamn Burger King chicken fries too. So ain't no telling. We're going to be watching B channel and we're going to see her with them goddamn chicken fries and I'm going to be pissed off. Okay, child. Let me see. My friend Mindbite says, 
I don't watch Tay like that. It seems like Tay haven't been really uploading like she used to either. Um, I don't know if the transition of her moving to Atlanta and maybe finding a new lifestyle has kind of um, made her not really be uploading the way that she was. But her content definitely shifted from the time that she was in L.A. to the time that she moved to Atlanta. Her content has definitely shifted from like party girl mode to more of a... Um, more of a, I say right now, she's trying to be in like, uh, what you call it, the soft girl era. So it seems like now she's more in like the soft girl era mode and she's not really doing the Tay that she was usually doing, which is fine. I mean, at the end of the day, the content is still interesting, but it's definitely different. But my friend Mind Bite says, I don't watch Tay like that. She um, she definitely has some interesting, she has some interesting content, but like I said, it's different. If you watched her in the past, um, if you went to her channel now, just don't expect the same the same person that you were seeing when she was in LA because it's different. So if you ever have caught her channel back when she was in LA, now while she's in Atlanta, the 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 vlogs are going to be slightly different. She's still Tay, you know, she still got her personality and stuff, but at the end of the day, she um she definitely has kind of shifted her image into more I think I think she's geared more towards like the adult style and the clothing and stuff like that. She not party girl with the booty out all the time and stuff like that like she used to be chow and now if y'all know anything about uh tay me and tay baby at the end of the day now she didn't obviously she didn't turn the new leaf and she ain't mad at me no more because she came and chimed in on one of the other videos and she was just uh she was kind of laughing at what i said but baby that first video i made about tay and her girlfriends when i say she was ready to come over here and whoop my ass about that <laughs> about that uh about that video she did not think that shit was funny okay and for me that was probably one of the one of my favorite videos i've ever made that's probably Probably to me, one of the funniest videos I ever made. But maybe if you missed it, you missed it because that video has been taken down. Tay did not give a fuck about what I was talking about. She was like, bitch, if you don't get this fucking video out of here talking about me and all these bitches, I'm going to kill you. But honey, after that, like I said, she wasn't mad no more. She came back after that and she talked to me about other videos that I made about her and stuff like that. Not talk to me like that, but I'm saying, you know, she's commented on other videos under the videos and stuff that I've made about her after that. So I know after that, she wasn't too mad. But baby, she wasn't playing about that video with them girlfriends. She was hot. <laughs> she was hot. But like I said, that was one of my favorite videos. And if you didn't get if you didn't catch it, baby, it was some tea. OK, but let me see. My friend Lega Brick says. Oh, and that was for my friend Mind Bites. My friend Lega Brick says for me, as long as Tay is happy, I'm happy. As for the tattoo, it um. Uh, it is what it is. Yes, that's what I'm saying is that tattoo is stuck. And I love Tay. I think Tay is really fun and she has a great personality as well. Um, I think the tattoo was something that she was in the moment. In the, but in the moment, she was really feeling that situation. And that's what made her go ahead and get it. And it was supposed to disappear after a while. So she didn't want it to be anything that was permanent either. So at the end of the day, hopefully somehow they'll get it to go away or if not she'll just get a cover up and move on because baby she wouldn't be the first one i got a cover up so i can't even be mad at her if she got to cover it up do that just don't put nobody else's name on your body so you ain't stuck with it and that's for my friend leg up bricks my friend d cosmic says tay seems to really fuck with old girl because of who she is so who is the girl who i, I don't i don't necessarily know who the girl is i, I want to say now, this was my question, because in the last vlog, I feel like she mentioned something like, oh, that's the girl from Chicago. Now, I don't know if she means Chicago to state or Chicago to show or shy, the shy. So I don't know if she meant the shy to state like Chicago or if she meant the shy of the show. So let me know who the girl is, because I've never really seen her before outside of being on Tay's channel. But hey, you be quiet. Don't even start. OK, but. I'm not talking to you, D Cosmic. I'm talking to my dog right here, okay? Let me see. But um, yeah, so tell me who the girl is. Is she somebody? Is she famous? Is she somebody uh popular or YouTuber or what? Because I was definitely wondering if she has a name for herself or if she's just somebody that she came across and enjoyed her energy. Let me see. And that was from my friend D Cosmic. My friend Michelle M says, Don't watch Tay like I used to. Her chair, like I said, her her content has definitely shifted from when she was in LA to where she is now. The content is definitely not the same. So, like I said, if you've ever watched her while she was in LA. You are not going to get the same vibe from L.A. Tay to the Atlanta Tay that she has going on now. And it's it's I wouldn't say it's the content is bad. It's just not the same. It's just not the um, it's just not the same energy of content. Like I said, she's older now. She's more mature. So, you know, life changes and life shifts as you grow and you learn and stuff like that. But she she ain't the same party girl and the same turned up Tay like she used to be. But she definitely still is fun. And she definitely still gives interesting content. It just kind of, it's just a, it's just a shift in the energy at this point. But um, that's what I was saying too beforehand. I'm like, I don't think that her and Lily would be a fit right now anyway, especially because the way that their lives have changed. Tay, Tay went from party girl to more 
of the soft lifestyle girl and Lily done went from party girl to sitting in bad energy. So baby, them, them energies wasn't going to connect regardless of what the hell is going on at this point. They friendship was going to be done, done no matter what. <laughs> That's where my friend Michelle M. My friend Lega Brick says, agree to D Cosmic. My friend D Cosmic says, I know, I know she have her own money, but she, um, but she likes for her women to have clout. So that's what I was wondering is who is her girlfriend? Is her girlfriend somebody that's famous or is her girlfriend, um, is her girlfriend somebody that has money? Does she have a name for herself or who is her? I mean, who is she? Because I don't really know very much about her girlfriend. Let me see. My friend Lega Brick says they do vibe well. My friend Queen Chelsea says, I like Tay's new boo. My friend, look, I'm so damn late. I'm an hour behind on these comments, so I'm going to speed through them. I'm going to still respond, but I'm going to speed through them so I can catch up to where y'all at because I know y'all like, girl, we over here talking for nothing because your ass is not down here with us, okay? Let me see. My friend Paige TV says, that's why you shouldn't get people's names tattooed on you unless they're family, baby, because them names be stuck on your ass. And I feel like as soon as you get a tattoo, then that's when it should be hitting the fan, okay? They like, oh. I know you didn't think we was taking it that serious, baby. Get my name up off your ass. Is you crazy? <laughs> Let me see. And that's my friend Paige TV. My friend Shell 55 says, yes, they do with the purple heart. Let me see. My friend Shade Moore says, yes, to Michelle M. And also says, uh, shit, I don't like even to get family tatted on me. Look, because baby done got on your damn nerves too, child, okay? My friend Mindby says, I need a new queen now because Platinum D... Platinum D got a nigga. Not my friend say I need a new queen now because Platinum D got a nigga with the road eyes, baby. <laughs> my friend rolled her eyes at that. Said, "Look, I don't, I don't got time for this shit no more. She done found a whole new man, and I ain't got, I ain't got the time for it. Okay, baby, you was supposed to be mine, and now you also you full of shit. Okay, that's hilarious. Now I saw because my friend Mind Bites last time did tell me to um to watch Platinum D. I did get a chance to go over there and watch Platinum D, and I enjoyed her energy. I really did. And baby, when I say I really enjoyed her energy for the fact that she popped them teeth out and she ate that food because she was like, hold on, let me take my veneers out, baby. I was like, oh, she a real one. She don't give a damn what nobody thinks. That's what I said. I be liking the girls that's rough around the edges and who gonna come just like they are. You don't gotta come and impress me on camera all the time, baby. Do you. The more you do you and the more you show me you rough around the edges, baby, the more I'm gonna watch, okay? Because you already know real T with D is a little rough around the edges and I be I be needing I be needing the realness on camera, child. That's as, as soon as I seen her do that, I was like, oh, Baby, she ain't come to play. She gonna do her regardless. And baby, she did find a man. So, mind bites. Either go whoop his ass and get your spot back and get your baby back, <laughs> or just go ahead and find find another boo. Because at the end of the day, it looked like our friend our friend uh Platinum D done found a man, baby. Okay. So at the end of the day, we gonna have to either go ahead go on ahead and over there and uh, go over there and jump him so we could get him on up out the paint, or we just gonna have to find you a new boo. But at the end of the day. He might not last long either. Hell, it seems like these people with these boyfriends and girlfriends on YouTube don't be lasting no time. So shit, we might just wait, wait for him to slide on out the damn, slide on out the way, okay? And that's where my friend mind bites. My friend Bruce Trinity says, no, for real, because Gina, oh, to Sade more, no, for real, because Gina now, damn, will, will she be in, oh, will she be all in that fridge and pantry eating everything? Yes, when that camera off. Baby, she be in the pantry and stuff eating, eating when the camera on, like she done forgot she told us about the damn semaglutide. And then the other day happened there to be eating Pickles and cheeses for breakfast, honey. That ain't gonna help either. Talking about some y'all know I don't eat like that no more. Well, baby, hell, you eating pickles and cheeses ain't helping, okay? Let me see. My friend Cali Girl says, This is the season to get a sugar baby. To get a sugar baby, look, come on, find you a sugar baby, a sugar daddy, a sugar something. Because at the end of the day, it seemed like now that's what it seemed like people were saying about the taste situation is that little girl is too young for her and that she thinks she's getting her money but I, that's what i'm trying to figure out is do the girl got the money or do she not okay my friend lega brick says not granny baby granny yes <laughs> my friend um mind by says not chicken yes chicken chow and that's what i'm saying like half the time i be only saying crazy stuff because y'all saying crazy stuff so don't be blaming me for half the stuff because it be y'all that's making me say it blame y'all damn selves okay <laughs> blame y'all damn selves and then spin the block and blame me because i only be saying crazy shit because y'all be saying crazy shit let me see my friend d cosmic says i'm glad someone else see what i see too talking to leg up bricks my friend shade amore says at michelle m these people swear up and down they're working out but stuff their faces off offline and definitely shows that they be eating offline because you ain't gonna have to keep on going on no damn weight loss journey if you're doing what you're telling us you're doing on camera. If you was as consistent as you'd be talking on camera, then at the end of the day, we wouldn't keep having to see you on these damn weight loss journeys and all this other shit. Let me see my friend. Um, my friend Chai T says, right, this is your platform. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because like I said, some of these people be coming over here trying to tell me what to do and say. And I'm like, look, look here, damn it. 
I'm coming over here talking about what I want to talk about and what my friends are talking about. I'm not going to switch up the conversation and the content because your ass want to talk about something different, okay? Ain't nobody got the damn time. <laughs> my friend, and that's what my friend tried to see, my friend C. Lopez with the crying laughing face. My friend Mindby says, who said that shit? Now, look, I don't even know who that lady was. It was actually somebody who left a comment before, and sometimes people will come here and leave comments and don't think that I can, because if you leave a comment on my channel, if I click your icon, it'll show me all the comments that you've ever made on the channel. So sometimes people be forgetting that they were saying some bullshit to me before, and then they'll come and try to clean it up and be cool five, six, seven, eight videos later. And when I click that icon, I'll be like, oh, hell no, because you was the same bitch that was on here the last time trying to cuss me out about Gina. And then now you got the nerve to be telling me this video funny. If you don't get the fuck out of here and figure out if it was funny six months ago when you was just telling me I'm a hater and all this other shit, I'm going to come over here and cuss your ass out for real, okay? But as long as you change your mind and you come with respect, then baby, I don't even care, okay? By the time you figured out that I'm not serious and you start enjoying the content, I don't even really be caring. But that lady, that lady had left... 75 comments saying how funny the content was and how much fun she'd be having all to spin the block and have the nerve to say some shit like, well, I'll watch the lives as long as it ain't about these people. Honey, what the fuck you been talking to me about for six months? You've been talking to me about these people for six months all for you to say you don't want to talk about these people is fucking nuts, okay? But look, see, I be trying not to even say cuss words, but these people be making me crazy. So I be having to throw them out there and then take them back, okay? But yes, I be like, y'all done lost y'all damn mind. Her that, first of all, You've been enjoying the content the whole time. Offer you to come back and tell me to pretty much shut my ass up and stop talking about these people. Then somebody else had the nerve to say, can you stop talking so much? But then their next comment was like, I love this video. I love this channel. You so funny. I'm like, look here, bipolar baby. I need you to figure out which one it is. Either I'm talking too damn much or you enjoying the way I'm talking, baby. I don't know which one it is, but I need you to figure it out and stick with one. Either love it or hate it or stay on both. Either one side of the fence, okay? But you can't keep teetering and tottering over both because one day I done cussed your ass out and the next day I'm telling you thank you so much. So I don't know what the hell to do with you either, child. Okay, look, I'm trying to stay I'm trying to stay nice and cordial all to remember you was the same motherfucker I was cussing out six months ago, okay? That's what happened with the other lady on the video with her rap face tat. And she was talking shit to me six months ago about another video, then came to the new video and said something else smart. Then when I had to get on get on her or get into it with her about the whole little situation she was trying to come at me with, then she was like, look, we don't even got to do this. Respectfully, it was just me commenting and me saying how I felt, but I don't want to have argument back and forth with you. And I'm like, look, I don't either. It was just the way you was coming at me, calling me bitches and all that. So at the end of the day, once you start calling me out my name for Gina and then baby, we going at it, okay? Now, like I said, I don't give a damn how people feel about what I'm saying because you don't have to agree with what I'm saying. And you can damn sure come on here and say, I don't agree or, you know, I don't think um, I don't think <clears throat> what you said was right or whatever. But as soon as you start calling me bitches, is as soon as I'm going to get up your ass and as soon as you're going to end up on my channel gathering the girls for a whole goddamn video about you because I don't have time for that. And if you're new here and you don't know nothing about gathering the girls, I only gather the girls who come over here talking to me like they lost their damn mind. So don't worry if you come over here disagreeing with me. I'm not going to put you on a video. But if you come over here calling me out my name for Gina and them, baby, your ass is finna get it, okay? And that's what happened with both of them because Hood Rat Face Tab was on a whole damn tangent. Hood Rat Face Tab done told me I was sucking my daddy's dick and all kind of stuff. So that's why that's why I have to give it to her because I'm like, look here, baby. I don't know if Gina is your sister, your mother, your auntie, your cousin, your girlfriend or what. But for the fact that you coming over here that mad, talking to me the way that you talking to me, calling me out of my name and saying all this extra shit is exactly why I'm going to put your ass on this damn camera. Then she said, well, go ahead. You can make a video about me because I'm beautiful, baby. And as soon as I made that video, the next damn comment she made was, I'm going to report your channel for putting my video up. I mean, for putting my picture up. I'm like, look here, which one you want? Do you want to be on camera or you don't? Because you just told me you was beautiful and you didn't give a damn all for you to see that I put this video up, for, up of you for real. And then now you mad. So look, that's what be that's what be the problem. And some of these people be a little too damn disrespectful trying to have Gina back, not realizing that. If you got your damn picture up and you talking to me crazy and you talking to me out the side of your damn neck and calling me out my name and stuff for these damn YouTubers, that's your ass, baby, okay? That's your ass because I ain't got the time for it. But like I said, I try to be respectful to everybody. And with the stuff she was saying to me, I still wasn't disrespectful to her. I put her up. I made a few little jokes about her, but... I still didn't call her out her name. I still wasn't saying half of the type of stuff she was trying to say to me. I wasn't going, I wasn't going nowhere near where she was going with me out of respect. Just because, like I said, I ain't even I ain't even going there and I ain't got the time and I ain't got the reason to even do all that just because these people mad. But baby, I will throw your face up on this damn camera in a matter of two seconds. You come over here talking to me too damn crazy, child. 
And that's what my friend Mind Bite said. Who said that? Okay. My friend Lega Brick says, D Cosmic, Tay gave her boundaries from the gate. So if you don't have the coins, you don't have no Tay Day. Chow, look, said, if you ain't got no money, then you ain't finna be up in my face. So I, anybody who can clarify who that girl is or what she does for a living, please let me know. Cause I was trying to figure out who she is for sure. She's a cute girl, though. She has a, um, she seems like she has a great personality. She has a beautiful voice. I heard her singing and stuff like that. So they seem like a good fit. But baby, I'm still trying to figure out who she is for sure. Let me see my friend. Shade Amore says, yes, at Brie Trinity. LOL. My friend D Cosmic says, it's deeper than money though. There's plenty of people get into the bag, but it seems like she likes women who also are known to. You can have money, but not be known. So my friend um, D Cosmic is saying, she, you, you can have money, but... To mess with her, it seemed like you have to have a little bit of a status too. Um, so yeah, I wonder, I wonder who she is or what she does, or if she's or if she's just somebody popular on the internet. Let me see. My friend Brutrinity says, I like a bricks. Yep, Tay, Tay all about the coin, honey. Let me see. My friend D Cosmic says, WNBA women don't earn that much, but she was hella proud to date Courtney because she was well known. Her and Courtney had a good fun dynamic as well. And Courtney was on that video that I made about her and her girlfriends too. And baby, like I said, when and she didn't like the fact that I was saying nothing about none of them, okay? But at the end of the day, I did enjoy her and Courtney together. They had a really good uh, dynamic and a really good, um, a really good connection with each other, as far as I could see on camera. Let me see. My friend Michelle M says, "I should add more for show." And YouTube be the only income stream, so they got to be on here, even though YouTube may be part of what's causing the issue. Definitely, it seems like YouTube be causing issues and. It seems like at the end of the day, they still will put whatever they need to put on YouTube because that's that's like I said, that's a whole lot of money to miss. That's a whole lot of money to miss. But it's it's to each. I mean, you they have control to put whatever they want to on their channel. So sometimes I'll be wondering why they share so much if they get upset when people chime in about it, because they know as much as they put on camera, people are going to have an opinion about it. So they get upset, but they they the ones constantly putting some of this questionable shit on camera. So it ain't our fault. We just watching it and having something to say about it. But they be wanting you to be tight lipped, baby, and not say a damn thing about what they done said or did on these damn uh, YouTube channels, okay? And that was from my friend Michelle M. She also said somebody else said that about it before that she was cool. <clears throat> Let me see my free Bree Trinity says, saying her new bae is just for the moment. I don't care. I like her and DJ Dimples together. I enjoyed her and DJ Dimples together, too. It seemed like her and DJ Dimples had a good... Um, a good energy together and it seemed like they had fun together and it seemed like to me she liked the fact that dj dimples was like a uh, a provider she was like a a study that was gonna take care of her and make sure the money was straight and she was gonna buy her flowers and all that stuff too so i wonder what happened with that situation because it seemed like they had a cute little chemistry too my friend ground and opinion that is in the building and says hey d with the purple hearts hey friend i'm glad that you made it thank you so much and thank you for chiming in the chat i appreciate you and baby i'm an hour behind so i know you probably like Girl, I said that so goddamn long ago. <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. I'm late, but I'm catching up. I'm, I'm about to speed through the rest of these so we can catch up, okay? Let me see. Um, let me see my friend. But hey, hey, friend, I appreciate you, and I thank you for making it through, too, for sure. My friend D Cosmic says, LMAO, um, Toot does look like Trick Daddy. Baby, Tootie does look like Trick Daddy. Absolutely, absolutely, okay? When I said I've seen it and I can't unsee it, that's just the damn truth. My friend Lego Brick says, oh, no, I agree at D Cosmic. But for you to even be in the eyesight, you have to uh, you have to have coins. Now, Tay don't want no lame person that has no name. Name and money, she likes to be seen as she should. Definitely, it seems like she likes she likes a person with a status and she likes, she likes somebody she could be out in public with. You know what I'm saying? Like, she likes to be in the in the who's who and what's what of the world. So at the end of the day, if you're going to be somebody next to her, you're going to have to, you're going to have to provide some sort of look, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to provide some sort of, so they can have a status together. She don't want to be the most known or the most famous person or the, you know, like the, the one in the relationship that's getting all the attention. She wants it to be a, a duo type thing, you know, and I'm, I'm not mad at it. She got to, she got to do what's right for her. And at the end of the day, when you work that hard and you accumulate all the stuff that she's accumulated, I'm going to assume that you're going to want somebody on your side that's doing the same thing. And that's kind of what um what Peyton Marie Charles was referring to the other day with, with the video that I posted. That little segment, she was saying that beforehand she wasn't really worried about somebody being on her level. But now that she's accumulated so much in life and she is who she is, she wants somebody that is on her level and somebody who can, you know, be be in the places that she's able to be in and stuff like that so that she's not the only one carrying the weight of the relationship. So like I said, when these women are working as hard, I understand that they want somebody who's working just as hard as well. And like I said, I don't know who her girlfriend is or what she does, but it definitely seems like she's, she's some, she must be somebody because like I said, she, um, 
she's doing her performances and stuff like that. And then, like I said, she mentioned, oh, that's that's the girl from the shy or something. So I was still wondering if she just meant Chicago or if she meant the show the shy. I, I'm still I'm still trying to figure that one out. My friend LaShawn Terry's in the building. I appreciate you for making it through. Says, yo, my girl D, I appreciate you, friend. Thank you so much for making it. I truly, truly appreciate you for being here. And thank you for chiming in in the chat, friend. My friend Will May Beauty, hopefully I said that right, is in the building. Says, wait, Lily and I will be no more. Baby, no, they done, they done broke up. Now, look, I could be I could be uh, making some shit up, okay? I really don't know. But at the end of the day, they stopped following each other, and she keeps saying shit about being single, so I doubt that them two are together no more. My friend Lego Brick says, not ski yeet. <laughs> My friend Lego Brick says, not ski yeet. <laughs> that's hilarious. You know, that's exactly what my friend was talking about when she said she's tired of hearing her making that noise. That's funny as hell. <laughs> my friend Lego Bricks is funny for that. My friend Lego Bricks also says, love me some tootie. She dipped off the rest. In, I mean, she dipped off of the rest and is really putting in some work. She definitely been consistent too. Tootie has definitely been uploading. I've been seeing that she's been posting now. I haven't, I don't really watch Tootie's content like that. I've only seen the one video that somebody has sent me about what happened with the stalker, but I haven't really caught up on Tootie's, um, Tootie's um, content like that. But Tootie is pretty damn funny, actually. When I did see that, um, the vlog that I did catch of her, she definitely did have me laughing with the type of stuff she was saying and just her little accent, her little, I think she's from Tennessee, but baby, when I say that accent and they kept on saying the bathroom and she tore the bathroom up, baby, I couldn't get over it. <laughs> That was tearing me apart, okay? So that definitely, her personality is one for me. I like her energy and I like how she coming on her on her channel for sure. And that's for my friend Lega Bricks. My friend D. Cosmic says, yes, Lega, money and definitely a name. I think the name, um, the name way more than the money because Tay got her own. Definitely she has, she got her own money. So at the end of the day, I don't know if she's looking for somebody to take care of her with money, but I know she wants you to have some sort of money so that at least you can be, you can you can live a certain lifestyle. She don't want you to just be no regular degular walking around with nothing to offer. So I don't think you got to woo her with your coins, but you definitely can't be no broke bitch walking around with her for sure. That's for my friend D Cosmic. My friend D Cosmic also says the money is a plus. My friend Sade Amore says, I definitely agree. Now hold on y'all because I got to drink some water now. My friend Queen Chelsea always remind me to drink my water and I got to take a sip y'all. Hold on, give me one second. Okay, so my friend Shade Moore says, I definitely agree. My friend Lega Bricks says, oh, snap, could be at D Cosmic. My friend Bree Trinity says, I agree with both of y'all at Lega Bricks and at D Cosmic. My friend Grown and Opinionated says, why is B rocking the Norbit look, baby? <laughs> Not the Norbit look. Now I got to go see what you're talking about. My friend Grown and Opinion say, Grown and Opinionated said, why is B rocking the Norbit look? Now I got to go figure out what you mean because that's funny as hell. My, look, baby, now we finna be calling B, uh, B Norbit. Child, it be y'all giving these people these names. I only came up with Gina and, uh, and uh, Gina Winfrey and Tarzan. Y'all be the reason I'm calling these people other stuff. It's because y'all be saying stuff, and now I, when y'all say it and I see it, I can't unsee it, child. Let me see. My friend Michelle M says, Lily should take a break and get herself together and rebrand, whether it's with grams or not, but she probably can't afford it. Just take a long break from YouTube. Yep, that's what we were saying. It's kind of like taking that little break might put a dent in her pocket because with the way she be hit and miss with her lifestyle, them coins might be hit and miss too. So if she don't keep up with the content, her money might be funny too. So hopefully that's not the case because I know, like I said, she does do the truck and stuff with her dad, but that money ain't going to be the same money as this YouTube money. So I don't know if she takes a break, she'll be able to maintain because her her finances might be just as confusing as them damn challenges, child. The child the, that might be the main damn challenge in her life is keeping the damn finances in order. Okay, that's a whole nother journey she on. Let me see. Where did I put? Sorry, y'all. I'm. Oh, here we go. I'm losing stuff, trying to have a conversation, all type of stuff. Let me see. My friend Ben is in the building. I appreciate you for making it through, and thank you for following in the chat. Says, "B got saved one to these new video." Oh, okay. So B went and got. Ooh, B needed the Lord after she didn't mess around with uh with uh our our dear friend Lily. Okay, she didn't she didn't say Jesus. We need to talk. Okay, at the end of the day, I'm not sure what's going on, but if she went and got saved, then thank you for her. I mean, thank you uh thank you for that because everybody need a little bit of Jesus in their life, and after all that drama she was going through, she definitely might need some saving. Okay, and that's for my friend Ben. My friend Helen Hicks says, "Not trick daddy, baby, trick daddy." <laughs> like I said, the new trick daddy, not the old one, child. My friend D Cosmic says, I seen from the start, B wasn't the one for Lily. 
B probably does have a good heart, but I seen Shorty is an alcoholic with a badass temper, okay? That shit ain't cute. I do remember one time on one of them blogs, they said they got into it and the police have to come and she was locked in the... I, I, I think they said she was locked in the closet or some shit. I, look, don't get me wrong. I don't know what the hell they were saying, but I feel like they said she was locked in the closet or something, or she locked her in the closet or some shit. I don't know, but the police have to come and all type of shit. So that liquor will definitely have you tripping, child. And that's not even everybody. Some people just can't handle that liquor and hopefully she ain't one of them, but baby... If that temper get the going because she drinking and she got to put the alcohol down, child. My friend grown the peanut that said, Tootie look like Trick Daddy and B look like Lil Zane. <laughs> Baby, not Lil Zane. Honey, first of all, I haven't even seen Lil Zane in 45 centuries. But for you to <laughs> for you to say that woman look like Lil Zane, I am totally, <laughs> I am totally done. That's hilarious. Okay, see, now y'all, this is what I'm saying. It be y'all. It don't be me because now... I see it and I can't unsee it because why the fuck she do look like Lil Zane? <laughs> why she do look like Lil Zane grown the peanut is crazy for that. Okay, see, y'all be full of shit. <laughs> y'all be full of shit. That's hilarious. Okay, Trick Daddy and Lil Zane is a fucking key key to me. That's my friend grown the peanut, y'all. I did not say that. I did not say that. My friend Ben said, B also joined Tootie Church as well. Something must be going on. That's a good thing. I'm glad that she out there trying to get her life together and getting right with the Lord, okay? So hopefully, like I said, whatever she was going through over there might have had her in a tizzy because she wasn't worried about going to get saved when she was with Lily. Honestly, I don't know. I don't really ever hear Lily talk about church or anything like that. So I don't know what she, you know, not, I mean, you can believe in what you want to believe in, but at the end of the day, I'm not really, I've never really heard her talk about anything like outside of a spiritual journey and chakras and, you know what I'm saying? Like meditation and stuff like that. But I never really hear her mention church or the Lord or anything like that. So it's interesting that B will go to church and start seeking the Lord after after dealing with that situation now baby look don't give me the line because we just heard lily talk about jesus when she bit that damn chicken so at the end of the day that's probably the first time i ever heard her mention jesus okay is when she bit that chicken but outside of that i don't really be hearing her mentioning very much about the lord let me see my friend live love okay thank you for being in the building i appreciate you my friend live love okay says trick daddy slash extra roll child <laughs> i'm not playing with y'all that's hilarious. My friend P. Hope is in the building with the green heart. So I think my friend P. Hope has a YouTube channel. So go check her out. Hit the uh, subscribe button. Send her some purple hearts and let her know that Realty with D sent you over for sure. Let me see my friend D. Cosmic says, I do hope she gets some help because that alcohol addiction is no joke. That shit literally kills you. The vaping ain't good either. She be out so, yo, she be so out of breath. Yes, the vaping plus the alcohol is definitely not a good combination. I heard vaping is pretty bad for you. And we already know that liquor will get you, okay? It's going to get you in different ways. It'll get you tripping, number one. It'll get you health-wise. It'll get you weight-wise. It'll get you in all types of different, from all types of different angles. So that's nothing to play with. And that's for my friend D. Cosmic. I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to speed through some of these comments, y'all, because I'm a whole hour behind on the comments, but I'm trying to catch up. My friend, um, Shell 55 says, Wesley Snipes fine, okay? Let me see. My friend Rock Just Living says, live love with the crying laughing face. My friend C. Lopez says, live love rolling oh oh hell no nah, that's hilarious okay let me see my friend lega brick says b and tootie have always seemed like a spiritual person so i can dig it we all need a uh we all need a, we all need a little jesus from time to time yes i think that's amazing i think that's a really good thing and i think that's pretty awesome that they went and they got their lives right with the lord because um if you got a friend that's gonna keep you keep keep your mind right in that way and take you to church and all that then that's a good friend to have so i really really and i thought that um one thing that i noticed about tootie the number one thing that I noticed about Tootie after doing that video um, with the soccer and stuff, the one thing that I noticed about her, and my, I, I believe it was my friend Lega Bricks that mentioned that as well. In that video, she made sure to say after they caught the police on her, she made sure to tell the police that that woman had, um, she was going through a mental situation. So I thought that that was really, really respectful to make sure that they didn't just call the police on her and let the police do what they wanted to do with her, but to make sure that she said this person does have a mental issue I thought that was very, I thought that was something to A, be respectful of her for, number one, and to commend her on is to make sure that she had enough respect for her and her life to let the police know that she wasn't just out there tripping, but that she does have a mental issue because everybody ain't like that. Some people will let the police come and whoop your ass and let you leave because you just getting on their nerves. But for her to actually mention that the woman had a mental thing going on, I thought that was very commendable that she made sure to look out for her. So that's when I felt like, um, 
Tootie has a heart and she must be a good person because, you know, most people wouldn't do that. But like I said, for her to be a good enough friend to be to take her to church and and, and be get saved at her church and all that stuff is definitely commendable as well. So I, I like I like Tootie for that because I see that she's a real one and she got a heart on her. So that's that's really good to see. And I really like that. My friend, uh, hey, my friend Gerard White is in the building saying, not Trick Daddy and his low vibrational plates. Baby, look, <laughs> not Trick Daddy and low vibrational plates. Definitely, that's what's wrong with our friend. And she's been over there fucking around with Trick Daddy and that food. So that's half the reason she can't get her life right. And that's my friend, Introverted Wifey. Baby, if you don't know nothing about Introverted Wifey, she gonna, she gonna start some shit in this conversation, okay? Let me see. My friend, we trust, he says, yeah, B definitely has some demons to deal with. Baby, she trying to shake them off. She done went to the Lord. She like, look here, Jesus. I need some help. And I need you to get me the hell up out of these people's face because they've been over here driving me crazy, okay? And that's where my friend, Queen Chelsea, my friend Lego Brick says, yeah, her drinking concerns me. My friend Michelle M says, uh, I was like TMI when she said she sold coochie. Baby, definitely tell us you're doing something else, but you don't got to tell us you're selling coochie down there. You do not have to tell us you're doing all that. You done told us about 45 fucking challenges, and now you're going to tell us you were selling coochie too. Because <laughs> ain't nobody, I'm not, I'm not saying it like that. But we don't want to buy that, so I don't even know what the hell you needed to tell us that for. You could have kept that to yourself and kept talking to us about the shit we was going to pay for. Because, baby, too much information. Way too much information, okay? And that's for my friend Michelle M. My friend D. Cosmic says that's true. Tay used to be a dancer, too. She, yeah, she definitely used to be a dancer. That's why I'm saying a lot of these people... A lot of these people used to have a past, so I'm not judging nobody for what they used to do. Like I said, I try to be respectful enough to just understand that they all got a past, and at the end of the day, at least they grew out of it and they moved on to something else. Now, hell, if you a stripper, I'm not even saying that's a bad thing because shit, we got you got to do what you got to do to pay your bills and take care of your family. But at the end of the day, it's just cool that at least they found a different um, a different avenue to to explore so that they can make. Um, they can make good money without without having to do all the stuff that they were doing before. Like I said, I'm not judging any of them or anybody who does that currently. But at the end of the day, it's, it just is what it is. A lot of the people who we choose to support on on YouTube and a lot of the people who, whose music that we choose to support were either dancers or were selling, were selling coochie too, child. OK, and that just is what it is. Now, I don't know how it ends up working out that way, but for some reason, it seems just like a lot of the women who are in position used to have a past on them, baby. And that's that's just is what it is. Let me see. My friend Lega Brick says, wait, really? Yep. Yeah, she definitely did used to be a dancer. She mentions that from time to time, too. Um, and I think she used to be a dancer even before she got her body done. So, yeah, she definitely used to dance, but she she turned a new leaf and now she on to something else. My friend D Cosmic says, yes. My friend Lega Brick says, oh, wow, I didn't even know. Yes, definitely used to dance. And now she uh, she has moved on with her life and is in her soft girl era. My friend Shell 55 says the drinking is covering the hurt. Definitely could be covering the hurt for sure. She definitely could be covering up that pain with the alcohol and stuff. And to just chime in on that really quick, somebody else, when I was calling that lady that I said was talking to me crazy, hood rat face tat, somebody was saying that some people get tattoos and all that stuff because they're covering up pain. And then some people said tattoos and stuff aren't that bad. I wasn't saying, I wasn't calling that lady hood rat face tat because she had a face tat. That was just part of the process because I didn't know her name. But I was calling her hood rat face tat because of the way she was talking to me. So the hood rat wasn't because of the face tat. The hood rat was because of the shit she was saying and how far she was trying to go for Gina. So that's why I was calling her a hood rat. So I don't want anybody coming in here thinking that I just got an opinion about people with face tats and people with tattoos and stuff like that. Because I got tattoos myself. And I actually have a tattoo not on the side of my face, but it's near my sideburn. So maybe technically that's still my face. So at the end of the day, I would be hood rat face tattoo if that's the uh, if that's the you know the the gist of what I was saying. But that's not what I meant by calling her hood rat. I wasn't calling her hood rat because of the face tat. I was calling her hood rat because of the shit she was saying. But the face tat was just part of the name because I didn't know her damn name and I wasn't finna call her the name that she had on her damn uh, thing because I wasn't finna give her that much respect. So I hope <clears throat> nobody felt disrespected by me saying that because I definitely wasn't. Um, I definitely wasn't calling her that because of the face tattoo. That's for sure. So if, if anybody took that the wrong way, then please understand that's not where I was going with it. Like I said, I got tattoos and I got one damn near on my face too. So that's not that's not where I was going with it. Her ass is a hood rat because she didn't know how to fucking talk. And she was misspelling shit, talking crazy and saying all type of unnecessary shit about sucking daddy's dicks and all kind of shit like that. And talking about, baby, she told me I wanted to eat Gina Coochie and all type of stuff. <laughs> Child, it was a hot damn mess. So that's why I called her hood rat. So just to kind of clarify that, I wanted to make sure I threw that in here so that y'all knew too. Because I know some of y'all was like, honey, 
what that got to do with anything? Why she got to be a hood rat because she got a face tap? But no, nope, that ain't it. It was because of the way she was talking, child. Let me see. My friend Shell 55 says, uh, yes, the drinking is to cover it and hurt. Let me see. My friend Queen Chelsea says, running into old clients while trying to get a fish sandwich is crazy as fuck. <laughs> Look, that's what I said. Baby done went to go see one of the old clients on accident and didn't understand where he knew her from. I'm like, baby, he's talking about something else, okay? He's asking you a whole nother question for a whole nother reason. You forgot you just told us she was in that car selling coochie. So at the end of the day, he want to know if you want a fish sandwich and some dick, okay? <laughs> he like, because I'll give you the dick on the side of the fish sandwich if you want me to, baby. We can hop right back here and here on this kitchen on the side of this fish while it's frying and get this thing cracking real quick. And then you can have that fish sandwich for free, child, okay? And that's for my friend Gwen Chelsea. I'm done, y'all. I'm not saying shit else crazy because I done went too far. Right then and there, I'm done. I'm not saying no more bullshit. But at the end of the day, that's exactly what I was saying when I'm saying like, what, what, what the hell he asking you about this money for? It's hilarious. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm I'm not saying nothing else bad. That's it. That was that was as bad as it's gonna get today. Okay. That's for my friend Queen Chelsea. My friend D Cosmic says, <clears throat> Yeah, go watch Tay old videos. She openly talked about it. My friend Michelle M said, but Tay was a full-time college student too. She definitely went to college. So that's what I'm saying. Is this you know, business and making money on the side. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. My friend is just Tay's in the building. Thank you for making it through. Says, hey, friend with the purple hearts. Thank you so much for making it through. That's my boo. If y'all don't know nothing about it's just Tay, head over to her YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, send us some purple hearts and let her know real tea would be sent you. When you go to these people's channels, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you send them some purple hearts so they know where the support is coming from because I want to support all my friends and I want all of my friends to make it successful on YouTube and get their coins, child. I truly, truly like everybody and I'll be watching y'all content. So please keep dropping because I enjoy watching y'all just as much as y'all be coming over here talking to me too. My friend Lega Brick says, no, at Queen Chelsea with the crying laughing face. My friend D Cosmic says, <clears throat> Yes, she most definitely was a student too. My friendly her, she kisses in the building. Thank you for making it through. I appreciate you. She says, I'm late, but I'm here now. That's okay, baby. As long as you come on in and you enjoy yourself, it don't matter when you fall through. Even if you was part of the replay gang, I appreciate you, friend. I truly, truly do. And I thank you for making it through. And thank you for sending the purple hearts and chiming in in the chat, friend. My friend Lego Brick says, yeah, I have to go back, back. Yeah, it's like you, you kind of have to, you kind of have to go far enough back where she was, like I said, now she's more so, um, <clears throat> Now she's more so, you know, in her soft girl era. So her content is a little different, but she doesn't, I don't, I don't, I, she wasn't doing that at any point on her YouTube channel. I don't think, but, um, but she definitely has mentioned it before. So I don't, I don't know. Cause I haven't been watching her since all the way since she started her channel, but I don't know if she ever shared that type of content while she was on YouTube. Now, baby, it's a, it's a few content creators on here that be having a whole little stripper journey. They got a whole a uh, day in the locker room, come with me to the stripper, uh, my strip club locker room and all that. So it'd be our type of content on YouTube where people do actually show their journey of them being a dancer and stuff. But I don't know if she ever shared that part of her life on YouTube as far as um, showing it, but she definitely has talked about it before. My friend D Cosmic says she also graduated as well too. Tay been doing her thing, but she did used to dance. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> Yeah, she definitely she definitely graduated from school. She's successful as hell in YouTube. She's definitely consistent with everything that she's doing. She was one of the first people I saw doing the little group trips and stuff. So she's definitely on her shit. She um I don't know how long she danced for, but yeah, it definitely was part of her past for sure. My friend Bree Trinity says definitely diabolical at Queen Chelsea with the crying laughing face. My friend Queen Chelsea with the crying laughing face. Uh, my friend D Cosmic says yeah, go to her page. She has millions of followers and set the video order. From oldest to newest, it's still up. <clears throat> My friend Lego Brick says, um, I get what you're saying. Tay did what she needed and ended up showing the Paris fashion show. Definitely, yeah. That's what I'm saying. She she's she's a uh she's a hustler. So she gonna she gonna do what she gotta do to get where she gotta go. So that's why I said I think she, you know, she might have used that little journey of her dancing and use that money to do something else with it and flipping and do something else with it. But she's definitely serious about whatever she starts. If she says she's going to school, she's gonna do that. If she says she's going to fashion Paris week, I mean Paris Fashion Week, she's gonna do that. So she is definitely one to keep her word. Let me see, says Lego Brick says, I'm gonna tell you. Plus, she's from the DMV. She's basically a cousin. Okay, so definitely says I'm from, I mean, she's from around the way, so I'm feeling her. She definitely has a good energy about her. And it seems like, it seems like, um, you know, whoever, whoever kind of goes over there and watches her content tends to stay because they like her, they like her energy and like her personality. My friend Michelle M says, at the Cosmic, no doubt, I guess I was giving her a pass because she was a student. Let me see. My friend Ben says, Tay did say she used to dance. 
My friend Queen Chelsea says, baby, not a student. That's funny. <laughs> My friend D Cosmic says, maybe she do what she needed. Maybe she did what she needed to do. Uh, maybe she did do what she needed. But let's keep in mind, Tay is attractive and she knows it. She likes attention. All college students don't have a strip to get, uh, don't have to get, don't have to strip to get a bag. Definitely. She used, uh, she uses her, she uses her, um, her attractiveness to get what she wants for sure. She is not afraid to, she is not afraid to, to do that. Okay. She is not afraid to use herself to get what she wants. Um, my friend D Cosmic also says Tay loves displaying her sex appeal, which is okay. She definitely does. Like I said, she, she got it and she going to flaunt it. She went and got her body done as well. So that's part of, that's part of, you know what I'm saying? You pay for it and you're going to show it off. I suppose you're going to pay all that money to get all that ass. You're going to want somebody to see it instead of covering it up. Cause otherwise, hell, you, what you pay for it for at that point. But at the end of the day, definitely she, she definitely uses her, um, she definitely uses herself and her sex appeal to get what she wants out of, uh, out of life. My friend Michelle M says for show, my friend Lega Brick says, no doubt her sex appeal is insane. My friend Bree Trinity says, Tay definitely been doing her thing and still is. She got it. She got in and got out. Love that for her. Yeah, she definitely used that as a stepping stone and moved on forward to do what she wanted to do and and, and is doing it well. So like I said, she's, she is very consistent when it comes to when she sets her mind to something, she is going to stick to it and she's going to do it. So consistency is key with her. And it seems like if you just aren't a consistent person, even as a friend, you're not going to stick around as a mate. If you ain't consistent, she ain't messing with you. And if you a friend and you ain't consistent and she see you ain't going to do what you're supposed to do, she ain't going to keep you around either. Let me see. My friend D Cosmic says, yes, Tay is on her shit. Got much love for her. My friend Leg Up Brick says, wait, the short with the face card and uh, for face card had me in tears. Baby, yes. At the end of the day, her ass was the one I was talking about. The lady on the short. Yes, that was that was her red face set. That's the lady I was mentioning. So my, that's my friend Leg Up Bricks. My friend Mind Bites with the crying laughing face. My friend Queen Chelsea says, Gina can't even twerk, let alone dance. Maybe be having a hard time with both, okay? And she looks like she got a trash cat. This is why she can't keep a man. I'm trying to figure out what the hell, I don't know, with as much with as much of these sex stories and story times that she be having about different men she been having sex with, I'm like, honey, why they not, what, what's going on? Why, I mean, if, if, you, if you passing out cat like that at this point, you might as well be selling it like Lily said if they're not gonna stick around at least get some money out these niggas because I'm not you just you just passing out the cap for nothing now shit <laughs> at the end of the day I don't know what be going on and now like I said I don't know who she be dibbling and dabbling with or what man she been with for a long time or had long term relationships with but as many damn story times as I heard about her messing with these men and doing all this sexual stuff with these men I'm like child look if if, the, if if it was if it was if it was popping like it was supposed to be. I suppose it wouldn't have to be all these men jumping in and out of it. But baby, that's just, look, I'm, I'm, I am ain't saying too much now, friend. <laughs> that's for my friend Queen Chelsea Chow. My friend Michelle M said, Tay has elevated 100% since, uh, since I first started watching her. She gets nothing but respect from me. Now, sorry, just to go back to my friend Queen Chelsea, I definitely feel like whatever what's going on with this situation, this white man, Tarzan, first of all, I don't even know how long he's been messing with black women, but at the end of the day, he's been sticking around for a few months now. So I'm so curious to see how long this situation is going to go because it's just, it's, it's carrying on. So we we trying to see where it's going. So the cat must be decent to him, child, okay? The cat must be catting for that for him, okay? Let me see. She got the wild cat. He, she got the, the wild cat like he used to see in the jungle. She got that Tarzan type kitty, like the ones he used to be seeing when he be in the jungle for real, child. That's why he's so familiar with it. <laughs> Let me see. My friend Michelle said, um, my friend Michelle M says, Tay is elevated since I first started watching her. She gets nothing but respect for me. She definitely has elevated. That's what I said. That transition from LA to Atlanta, she's definitely changed from party girl Tay to more responsible and giving you soft girl Tay and, and being about her business Tay. She was always about her business, but she's definitely just about her business now and ain't got time to play with nothing or nobody, child. And that's for my friend Michelle M. My friend Mindbite says, although I watch Tay, I will agree that she has elevated. I mean, I, although I don't watch Tay, I agree that she has elevated. My friend Passion Princess is in the building and says, hey, friend, what I miss, baby? Uh, we didn't we didn't say it wasn't look I, I won't even say we they didn't say all type of shit today okay they didn't say all type of stuff about these people okay like i said we don't went from lily smell like a hot honey fish sandwich her booty smell like a hot honey fish hot honey uh hot honey wings baby to tootie is uh damn tootie is trick daddy the new trick daddy not the old trick daddy baby it been all type of shit going on in this chat today okay and that's for my friend passion princess llc if y'all don't know nothing about passion princess llc make sure you head over to her channel hit the subscribe button send her some purple hearts and let her know real tea would be sent you she does have content and it's always good content so make sure you go over there and support her as well my friend leg up brick says with you michelle m 
my friend Lashana Monique, thank you for being in here and thank you for chiming in the chat. Says, yeah, now LOL, Tay was a bird too. Baby, no. <laughs> my friend Lashana said, Tay was a bird too. Baby, that is hilarious. And that's for my friend Lashana Monique. My friend Bree Kennedy says, Michelle M. Fats. My friend uh, Lega Brick says, she's only going up from here. Those trips were insane. And I can't wait to see her pop on the next one. Yes, because I think she does have a new one too. Let me see. Um, yeah, she, she has a new trip coming up too. I can't remember where they're going. Baby, now look, that would be some tea if they ended up in Costa Rica with Lily and them, child. But I don't know where she going. I don't know where she going this time. But that would be interesting. My friend Lego Bricks says a bird with a question mark at Lashana Monique. Oh, I think you trying to ask uh, Lashana what a bird is. Let me see. Um, let me see. D Cosmic. Um, um, Lashana, where are you from? Lashana Monique, are you from California? Because that's definitely some shit we be saying in California. Um, my friend Lego Bricks, uh, a bird is like uh, it's like a, it's like. Not a not a hood rat, but just like just like a girl from around the way. You know what I'm saying? Just like a, a girl that be doing too much and she she on the block and she be burnt out too. So that's kind of that's that's the best way I can explain a bird. So I'm sure different places have different names for what they call people, but it's just like a, a girl that you see that just be popping her shit all the time. So I think that's what my friend Lashana was uh, was saying when she said that. My friend D Cosmic says, Yeah, she most definitely has elevated. Love that Tay shares her blueprint as well, too. She isn't stingy with the info and freely gives it away. She definitely ain't a gatekeeper. A lot of these women be gatekeeping, but she is definitely good at um at telling you what it is and what you need to know in order to elevate as well. So I definitely think that's commendable as well. My friend, you can love me or hate me, says we all know who have the brains in Tay and Lily friendship because Lily wouldn't, with, Lily wouldn't have ever seen and heard or heard that she wanted to take a group trip. Now, why did she think, yes, why did she think of that before? That's what I was thinking. It's kind of like, where did that even come from? I never heard her talk about a group trip or anything before. So I thought that was interesting that all of a sudden she was saying something about a group trip. Now she was saying um, that those people emailed her a year ago and she had never seen an email, but baby, at the end of the day, her ass might just be saying something, okay? So I don't know what, what that was, if that was true or if it wasn't that the people had sent her an email, but that damn group trip sure did come out of nowhere. But hell, it seemed like it might just be another reason for her to get some money. So baby, I don't know, but it did seem like it came out of nowhere for sure to me too. And that's for my friend, you can love me or hate me. Um, let me see, my friend, Lachey Monique, sorry, y'all, I'm still trying to speed through these because my alarm is going off because I'm supposed to be doing something. So I'm going to speed through these so we can get, so I can catch up to y'all. And then I'm going to try to uh, wrap it up. Baby, we've been in here two hours and 35 minutes. Y'all know I'll be supposed to be doing an hour and they'll never make an hour because y'all be in here having me laughing. So I'm behind on doing the shit I'm supposed to be doing and all type of shit because I'm in here laughing at y'all. But I'm going to catch up and then we're going to get on out of here. My friend Lachey Monique, I mean, Lachey Monique says yes, meaning she was the same way as the rest of the ladies you're talking about. So, yeah, that's kind of what I was saying. And she was kind of like the around the way girl and the regular chick that you see in the streets and stuff like not in the streets, like physically, like selling coochie, like Lily said, but like, you know, just like the regular girl. So that's what I was saying when I said Lachey Monique was calling her a bird. Um, My friend Stacey Lene is in a building with the green heart. So I'm assuming uh, my friend Stacey Lene, uh, Stacey Lene has a YouTube channel. So make sure you head over there and subscribe to her channel. Send us some purple hearts. Um, let me see. And everybody who's leaving green hearts, I will be spinning the block and subscribing to your channels as well. So if you see me over there in your chat and you don't want me talking to you, child, just tell me because I'll be over there getting on y'all fucking nerves, leaving y'all comments and stuff on y'all videos. Y'all probably be like, lady, if you don't get the fuck up out of here and stop talking to me, I just wanted you to subscribe. I didn't want you all up in my comments now. Okay. Let me see. My friend D Cosmic says, yes, hey, graduated with a business degree. Plus she's naturally, she has a naturally hustling mindset. You can tell she's definitely a hustler and that comes natural for her. Cause she do it like what she do it. Like she can do it with her eyes closed, child. My friend, it's Miss Cece with the green heart. So that means my friend is Miss Cece has a YouTube channel. Go check her out and hit the subscribe button. My friend Lega Brick says, I was going to purchase Tay's course on growing and Lily's and review them both. But Tay, Tay does have the business degree. Yes, I definitely, if I'm, if shit, if you're going to go do any of them now, I'm not telling you not to support our friend, but we're going to say who's consistent and we know who's getting results. You already know where to go, child. But at the end of the day, support both of them and see which one has a good one. Because I think Lily might have a good course too. She just isn't consistent. But that doesn't mean that she doesn't know what she's doing. Not knowing what you're doing and not being consistent are two totally different things. So we know she she knows what she's doing because she's successful at what she does. So at the end of the day, I would definitely say that's a good idea to purchase both and see, you know, see what you see, see, see how you feel about both for sure. To support both women and just see how it goes. Because like I said, just because Lily isn't consistent in her own life doesn't mean that she don't know how to be successful and doesn't mean that she don't know how to get a coin because we see that she know how to do that too. My friend, you can love me or hate me, says I wouldn't have gave her ass not a thing because the way she have them people money for her party. 
oh, look, and wouldn't trust her at all. Maybe she had them people money waiting for them to go to that party and never made the party, but they did get their money back eventually, baby. It took about three weeks, but they got their money back at some point, but did not have that party, child, and then didn't even really talk about the shit either, okay? And that's for my friend, you can love me or hate me. My friend, um, my friend Mindby says, Tay is an AKA too. Yes, she is an AKA. So yeah, she was in college doing the thing. She was in college really, really doing the college lifestyle. She wasn't just in there full of shit. My friend Michelle M says, yes, I hate that her and Lily fell out, though, at Lego Bricks. I love Tay and Lily together. They had good energy, good chemistry, and I thought they were funny as hell together. Now, I like Lily and Portia's dynamic, but her and Tay definitely had a good friendship, too. I love them together, and they are they were fun together, and they definitely used to have a good time, for sure. So I hated that they, they fell out as well, and that's for my friend Michelle M. My friend D. Cosmic says, yeah, Tay has... Tay has two books you can buy. She definitely, um, I'm not exactly sure what the books are. I can't think of them right offhand, but she definitely has books as well that you can go purchase. I, I believe there's, I want to say there's something about, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say the wrong thing. So I'm not even, I don't, I don't even want to throw anything out there about what the books might be about. But I, I do, I do remember her saying something about having, um, having a book or two. So definitely go over there and check that out too, because she's, she's on her grind, baby. She's always doing something. My friend, it's Miss Cece says, why Tay and Lily fall out? We still trying to figure that out. We got so many ideas of what we think, but nobody's really sure about exactly what happened. So that's that's something that we've been questioning for a few months now. Let me see. My friend D Cosmic said, I knew they was going to, though. You can tell it was a competition between them on the down low. They were doing the little sh pain to champagne and all that stuff. And then, like I said, whatever the little situation happened, happened in Miami and Lily said they was about to tussle, that's when I felt like shit hit the fan. They still didn't talk about what they were about to tussle about or why they got into it. My my idea was that it might have been something about B being on the trip. And then somebody else said something about it might be because um, Lily has something to do about uh, Lily has something to do with the fight um, that happened with uh, Courtney and them. But I'm, I, I can't put my finger on none of it. That's just all the stuff that we've been thinking. My friend Queen Chelsea says Tay seems more organized and business savvy. Lily seems Lily just seems like she's doing stuff to see what will stick. Definitely seems like she kind of sees stuff from other people and gives it a try to see if it's going to work for her too. Now, nothing wrong with that because a lot of ladies do that, but she doesn't ever seem like she's the one who's coming up with this stuff. She just kind of following suit and seeing if it get cracking for her too, okay? Let me see. My friend Lega Brick says, yeah, Michelle M, that was the worst, but I feel that separation needed to happen for growth. Definitely because like I said, I don't think that at this point in life, I don't think they would have been friends anyway just because they are going in two totally different directions. Like I said, Lily is more of in a mental in a mental funk right now and Tay is kind of just <clears throat> moving and moving and moving forward. So I don't think that they would have been connecting right now just because their lives are too drastically different. My friend Queen Chelsea says at CC after the pain and champagne event, they fell out and never really said what happened, but uh something went down for sure. Yeah, I it might have been something about some money or just the responsibilities that weren't being taken care of because we know Lily will take on some responsibilities and then not take care of some shit too. So at the end of the day, it could have had something to do with with all of that, because I still, like I said, we still haven't figured out exactly what it is, but it definitely was after that pain to champagne event. But what I did notice is on her Instagram page, she uploaded, well, she, she, you can archive stuff and then put it back on your page on Instagram. So she had archived all the pictures from pain to champagne for a long time. And then I just, when I seen it the other day, she had put all those pictures back on there. So she has pictures of her and Tay on her page again. So I don't know if that's a good sign. I don't know if she's just promoting or showing the pain to champagne because she's doing all these other events. So she wants to show other successful events that she's done too. So I don't know, but just for the fact that she put pictures of them back up on her page, I felt like, okay, well, hopefully maybe it's some hope there and maybe they've been speaking or, you know, at least maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe there's something there. But to put pictures of her back on her page, I felt like was a start. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about that, too. My friend Mindbite says, unfortunately, Lily, um, Lily was not a proper influence to be with Tay. She definitely, I don't know. It just seemed like I said, they they were both doing, they were both doing, you know, doing their party stuff for a minute. And then all of a sudden, it just seemed like after that event, they, they just, they separated and they started growing in two different directions. So like I said, I don't, I don't know if they would be, if they would be the type of friends that they were today as they were then because they're not living the same lifestyle anymore. Let me free, see my friend D Cosmic says, pay close attention. Any other friends they have around do not have the same amount of uh, clout as her. Now, look, I can't lie about that one now, friend. That's, look, that, that's, that's sounding like it's what it is, okay? My friend Lego Brick says, I don't know why, but it did seem like during their trip when Lily brought B, 
Yeah, because that's when she said they was they was gonna tussle, and that's when it started kind of getting a little a little shaky. But I feel like the painted champagne thing. I don't know if it was before or after that, but it seemed like right after that when she said they had a situation and they was finna tussle. I'm like, oh, for her to even mention that on camera, and she said it and looked up at Tay, and then her face dropped as if Tay was looking at her like, well, bitch, yeah, I still low key want to tussle. So I don't know what the hell, I don't know what happened, but like I said, it seemed like whatever situation they had, it had got to the point where they they was probably in each other's face. And on some whole other shit. So I don't know. But I, I don't know, friend. I don't know. My friend Michelle M says, yep, she used to rep them more than she does now at Mind Bites. My friend Brie Trinity says, at Queen Chelsea, exactly. And we see who's staying in the same position and who don't. Yes. I mean, that's just that's just is what it is. It definitely you can see it. You can see it in the content. Who's going where and who's who's sitting in negative energy, child. OK. And that's I don't mean Lily's not going anywhere, but we see that she um. She's just kind of she's sitting in one space and Tay ain't gonna sit in one space for too long, especially not if it's some bullshit space. Okay. Let me see my friend Shade Moore says, I agree with you, D. It's not personal, it's entertainment. Definitely, because ain't nobody in here trying to be, you know, ain't nobody in here trying to make no personal digs or or you know, have nobody feeling no type of way. It's just all fun and entertainment because that's what we in here doing, is having a good time, and that's all it's for. And that's for my friend Shade and Moore. My friend D Cosmic says, um, Tay doesn't want someone with her as much clout. Oh, sorry, Tay doesn't want someone with as much clout as her around just pay attention let me see my friend d cosmic also says i agree it was something that went down on that trip between tay and b i might have i might have scrolled up hold on y'all exactly oh my friend michelle m says exactly what i said at leg up bricks my friend d cosmic said i remember b had her dog and tay was like give me my damn dog that is that's one thing that i noticed too her and b were kind of going back and forth and i know it looked like they were kind of joking around but then after that it seemed like she might have started kind of getting irritated because i don't think b was supposed to be on that trip with them i don't think b was supposed to be in there with them it was supposed to be more of a girl's thing so i think b being there kind of irritated her and that kind of that started kind of creating a little strange rift too and that might have caused a little a little back and forth between her and lily too because that's the exact same vlog where she was saying we were about to tussle. So that's that was something that I mentioned before too. So thank you for chiming in on that. My friend uh, Lega Brick says, yep. And also says, Bay, I mean, but uh, but Tay was classy with it and just um and just exited stage left. I fuck with her. Definitely exited stage left without a mention of nothing. Okay. She didn't give a damn to talk about it. Baby just bounced and that was it. And that's how you supposed to, I mean, just you ain't gotta drag stuff on and be on here talking crazy about people and all that. Just get up out their way and do what you got to do. And baby, when I say she did that, she got up out her way and kept on hustling. And, and now she is where she is. So I can't even be mad at it. Baby been working ever since. Okay. My friend D Cosmic says they was damn near fighting over denim. Baby was going back and forth about to break denim in half, trying to get the damn dog. And I don't know what the hell that was about. Anyway, I'm like, B, if you don't let her goddamn dog go, girl, you done lost your mind. Shit. <laughs> I don't know, child. My friend, Miss Benita is in the building. Thank you for being in here. I appreciate you. Says, hey, first live for me. I appreciate you so much for being in here. Thank you so much. And thank you for chiming in in the chat. I truly appreciate that. My friend, Mind by says, if something went down between Tay and B, I hope B hit, uh, I hope, Lee, uh, I hope B hit that. Now, look, <laughs> I don't know if you mean hit her, like physically hit her, or if she mean, if you mean hit her, like hit her with the strap. Because, baby, if you mean hit her with the strap, that's funny as hell, okay? <laughs> if you mean hit her with the strap, I'm done with you, Mind Bites, because that's hilarious. But you let me know what you mean by that, because that's funny. My friend, you can love me or hate me, said Tay doesn't need to, uh, Tay don't need no clout from no one, because she is, she is, she is the clout, I'm just saying. Tay definitely is a vibe for sure. I definitely agree with my friend. You can love me or hate me on that. My friend Lega Brick says, I will fight for Denim. That dog is family. D D Denim is definitely uh, Denim is definitely her own little vibe. She be having her own little stuff going on, and she be coming over there getting in the camera and stuff, too. I think she funny. I, I, I like pets. I'm a pet person. Y'all did hear my dog back here growling. He over here. That's why he be growling and acting crazy, because he's so damn spoiled. Let me see. My friend D Cosmic says, Tay Classy in, on camera. And she has a ratchet side. She definitely has a, a good amount of both. And that's why I said I like watching her. I like watching any other ladies that that's rough around the edges. You can definitely be classy, but I'm going to need you to have a little a little oomph to you too, okay? If you get too damn classy and bougie, my ass get bored and I'll be having to go do something else. So I like the girls who be having some little extra going on, child, because that's just me. <clears throat> Let me see. My friend Michelle M said, I thought maybe Say said something about it and they got, they got into it. Um, at Lega Bricks, my friend Queen Chelsea says at Brie, exactly. My friend Lega Bricks um, says at Cosmic, um, at D Cosmic, don't we all? My friend D Cosmic says, let's not forget all the fights she got in 
was the reason Courtney got kicked off her team. Baby got kicked off the team because of all them fights. I do remember that little scuffle they had in that parking lot, child. My friend D. Cosme said it's levels to it. My friend Lego Brick says it's possible, but I thought it was the trip for the girls. It seemed like it's a little. it was a little bit of everything. It, it might have been an accumulation of things that created a whole problem, and they just have to call it quits. My friend Mindbite says Courtney didn't get kicked off the team. Um, my friend Bree Trinity says Tay Knee Cloud from who? With the question mark, chow with the road eyes. My friend Miss uh, Benita says new YouTube content creator here. So Miss Benita, make sure you leave some purple hearts in the comments so that uh, when I double back and that other people look at it, they can see who, uh, I mean, not purple hearts, green hearts. If you have a YouTube channel, leave green hearts so that I can come back and see who has a YouTube channel so that I can go over there and subscribe and um, and support your content as well. My friend D Cosmic says, yes, she did. And uh, for anybody else that has a YouTube channel, like I said, leave green hearts so we know to come over there and uh, subscribe to your channel as well. And if you're new here or if you haven't been here and you have been here and you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And please, 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 if you're in here, make sure you hit the like button so that we can keep on doing this and that um, so that I know that y'all enjoying yourselves in here. OK, so please, please, please hit the like button and make sure that you subscribe as well. My friend Queen Chelsea says um, if they would not have posted the fight, I wonder if Courtney wouldn't have. I mean, I wonder if Courtney would have lost her job. My friend D Cosmic says she was released from the team in Atlanta because videos of that fight. That fight, that fight was interesting. Okay. When I say they was out there getting with it, baby, I don't even think Tay had a wig on. She was out there like, come, come for my bitch if you want to, and I'm coming for your ass. Okay. My friend Michelle M says, I thought it was weird that she would bring B when I watched that Miami vlog. That's what I was wondering is what B was even doing there. And I, that's what I said. I feel like that kind of irritated Tay too. Cause you know, she don't like no extra people around. We supposed to be having fun. We supposed to be having fun. Okay. I don't know what the hell you brought this girl with you for, but her ass was not part of the group. The group. Let me see my friend Lega Brick says, Hey, Miss Benita. <clears throat> I'll follow in a second. Yes, definitely. Thank you for going to support, um, going to support each other. I like when y'all go support each other too, because sometimes I'll go to y'all channels and I'll see that some of y'all are in there in the comments supporting too. So that's definitely a vibe that we can all come in here and connect and support each other. I truly love that because that's what I like this channel for is that we all come in here and we support each other. We talk to each other. And if you got something going on, we're going to support you too. That's literally my favorite. One of my favorite things about being here with y'all is that everybody is in here willing to support each other because it ain't about just being in here talking to me and it ain't just about me being in here talking to y'all i want to support y'all just as much as y'all support me so definitely please make sure that you leave me your information so that we can go over here and uh, chime in on your uh, your content too my friend d cosmic says <clears throat> she may be back now but oh but that girl got dropped because of it Tay even removed it off of her page yeah she definitely took it down there was something else that she mentioned too there was another it was i think it was a fight with I think it was, I want to say it was a fight with, no, no, actually it was her and Courtney talking about the fight, I believe, that she took down off of her page too. They had a whole video of them talking about it and then they removed it from the channel. Let me see, my friend Mindbite says, um, but Courtney's fight was was on ESPN, baby, damn, I didn't know that. They didn't got the whole fight on ESPN, it's crazy as hell, okay? They done put the fight on TV, TV is funny as fuck. <laughs> damn, Courtney, that's deep, that's funny, man, okay? So that's what my friend Mindbot said, they done put the fight on ESPN, child. My friend, you can love me or hate me, says we all have a little ratchet in us sometimes, baby, and that's the fun part. And like I said, you get too bougie for me, I got to go, okay? I need a little... I need a little clatching in my life, okay? If you ain't got enough, if you ain't got enough rough around your edges, baby, I gotta go because it ain't no fun for me. I gotta have something to laugh at. I gotta have something to see that I'm familiar with. Otherwise, I ain't I ain't keen to the luxury shit, okay? I don't have I don't have no connection with nobody that's over there with them white couches and that damn tan carpet and these white goddamn drapes and all that shit. I'd be like, girl, this shit is boring already when I look at your living room, okay? My friend Tony Blogs Adventure says, girl, kiss pee. I don't know. Uh, Tony Vlogs Adventure, clear it to clear that up because I'm not sure where you're going with it. Okay, I don't know if you want me to cuss you out or if you want me to, uh, or if you want me to chime in on what you said. But but clear it up, baby, so we could so we could either tussle or we could have a conversation about it. I don't know what you mean by kiss P. Let me see. My friend Lega Brick says, um, that was on Courtney. I fucked with her too, but she had um she has feet and I know how to dip when things don't look right. Definitely, she could have got up out of there, especially knowing she is who she is and she. You know, she's a public figure. Probably would have been the best idea to get up out of there if she could have. Now, I don't know if she could have got out of there in time for that to not happen. But, baby, when you see stuff start getting crazy, you got to bounce if you can. Unless you just so rough around the edges that you don't give a damn, then you're going to end up on ESPN like our friend Courtney did, y'all. My friend D, uh, D Cosmic says she got into a fight defending Tay ass. Tay really be popping off. Oh, I didn't know the fight was defending Tay. I wasn't sure what the fight, how the fight started or what happened. But 
If it was defending Tay, that's interesting too. My friend, you can love me or hate me says, and Lily was fighting too. I was wondering, was Lily there? Because I keep on hearing that Lily was there, but I don't know if I was familiar enough with Lily at that point to even see or know who she was if she was part of that little scuffle. My friend D Cosmic says, um, so if you're her woman, so if you're her woman arguing with some randoms, she's gonna jump in, uh, she's gonna jump in and defend her. My friend Lega Brick says it was just a damn cat fight. Um, yeah, it was about. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm burping. It was like it was about. It looked like it was about a good 10, 15, 20 people out there scuffling. So I was wondering what the hell is actually going on in these streets because these people was out there losing their damn minds, child. My friend D Cosmic says, and baby, it looked like it was a food truck or something right there. So I know them people was like, close the fucking windows and get this fucking truck up out of here before they try to rob us, child. Get the truck up out of here, close the food, turn the fryer off, and let's go. Let me see. My friend D Cosmic said, if she didn't, then people would talk shit saying she didn't defend her woman. I feel that too, because sometimes, you know, if you, shit, if you don't get out there and you don't scuffle with her, people are going to be like, oh, look at her. She ain't even trying to help her boo. My friend, Life of Deshante with the Green Heart. So you have a YouTube channel. My friend, Deshante, make sure everybody go over there and support her channel. Hit the subscribe button, send her some purple hearts, and hit the like button. Let her know Realty would be sent you over. My friend, Lega Brick says, if her woman is arguing with some randoms, she needs a new girlfriend. That's, I mean, sometimes you got to watch who you're dealing with, watch who you're dating, and see how their personality is. Because people will drag you into their shit. And if you don't watch their personality and see how they behaving, then your ass is going to be right there with them misbehaving, okay? And that's from my friend Lego Bricks. Also says, I'm not <clears throat> I'm not staying with anyone that can't control their emotions. That's that's definitely something you got to look out for is who you with. Now, if you don't give a damn and you finna get out in these streets and get with it and go and get the scuffling with people, then go ahead and get you a wild one. But if you don't like doing all the extras and you don't like being out there fighting, you definitely going to have to be with somebody who know how to watch their mouth. Otherwise, they're going to have you in some shit every time. My friend, you can love me or hate me, says, actually, Tay got the fighting for her old girlfriend, Courtney. Oh, okay, so, uh, see, that's what I'm trying to figure out is who's who and what's what, because I don't know who started the fight. I just seen the actual fight, but I don't know I don't know exactly how it started or what created the issue. My friend, D Cosmetics, says, exactly, Tay ass was arguing with people. I keep telling y'all Tay can, uh, can get up there, but she hides it well. She definitely got a little mouth on her, because on the last little vlog, she was saying somebody had accidentally poured some water down her back or something like that, and she turned around, and the girl was giggling, and at first, she wasn't going to say nothing, and then baby said she turned around and was like, what the fuck are you laughing at or something? <laughs> so I'm like, baby, I thought you said she poured the water on you on accident, but now you finna cuss her ass out and beat her up in the club. I don't know. So like I said, I know she got a little temper on her, too, so I know she a wild one, and she could get out there, and she could get with the best of them, but being that she's of the status that she is, she, she you know, hey, sometimes you got to know that people going to mess with you too just because you are who you are and they want some energy up out your ass. So don't let people take advantage of you just because they know you're going to pop off too. My friend Lego Brick says, if someone popped off at my girl, then let's throw these paws. Look, said, look, baby, if you start popping off at my boo, we getting with it, okay? That's from my friend Lego Bricks. My friend Brittany Monroe is in a building. I appreciate you for making it through, friend. Says, who broke up? I'm late. Um, B and Lily, B and Lily are the ones that broke up. That's uh, I, if, if that's who you're talking about, that's who we were saying broke up. Baby, I'm so late. You probably like, girl, that was so long ago. I'm sorry, friend. That's my friend Brittany Monroe. Tony Vlogs Adventure keep on saying girl kiss P. I don't know what you mean, friend. You're gonna have to clarify. You're gonna have to say more than girl kiss P because this your second time saying that, and I'm still not sure what the hell you're talking about. Okay, I'm not even trying to be rude, but please, please let me know what you mean because I, I don't know what kiss P mean. Okay. Um, let me see. My friend D Cosmic says Lily and Graham need to just go back to get back together. You can see the difference in her views <clears throat> from now, from when they were together. I mean, from when they were together to now. Yes, I think her views will be get, get back in a better place because she will be in a better space mentally. So I think that would be a good idea too. Like I said, it it might not satisfy everybody, but it definitely would be satisfying to her, and it probably would be satisfying to others who are waiting to see that and waiting to see her happier too. My friend Brittany Monroe says. They back messing around. I think her and Grams is back messing around, if you ask me. Now, I can't guarantee it. Now, you know, I just be saying what I'm saying. But it seems like she might be dibbling and dabbling back with Grams, and that's why she having a hard time with all this shit she got going on. My friend Bree Trinity says, at B Monroe, Lee and B, I mean, Lily and B, my friend Brittany Monroe says, OMG, no, what happened, y'all? Definitely, they done broke up, and we still trying to figure out what they done broke up for, but baby, they, they done got sick of each other's shit, okay? My friend D Cosmic says they needed to break up. That shit was toxic as fuck. My friend Leg Up Bricks says, at Miss Vanita, just subscribe. I'll come over after the live. Thank you, Leg Up Bricks, for going over there and showing her some love and support. Um, and make sure, like I said, y'all go over there and, and head over to Leg Up Bricks, too, because definitely Leg Up Bricks is a supporter and definitely will come over there and show you some love and support. So make sure you go over there and show love to Leg Up Bricks as well, because 
Leg Up Bricks is definitely consistent, like I said before. So go over there and show Leg Up Bricks some love, y'all. My friend D Cosmic says, and I'm sorry, and, and uh, Miss Benita as well, because that's what my friend Leg Up Bricks was just saying. My friend D Cosmic says, people just wanted them together because they look, to, uh, they look good together, but I could see the issues below the surface. Um, let me see. Tony Adventure Vlogs, I'm from Tony Vlogs Adventure. If you say this shit one more time, I'm just going to keep skipping your comments because girl kiss P, I don't know what that mean, okay? Anyway, my friend Leg Up Brick says, I want Lily to move on. That relationship was toxic, toxic as fuck on both sides. My friend Brittany Monroe says, Lily is the problem. Definitely, it seemed like she, look, that's why we said B had to go get saved because Lily done threw her ass for a loop and now she need Jesus, child. Let me see. Let me see, let me see. My friend Leg Up Brick says, they both the problem. My friend Brittany Monroe says, I don't be hearing nothing about B. Um, from one of our friends, Miss Page TV just said, um, just said that that B was cool. She went to high school with B and that B was cool and had a good personality. So it seemed like B, you know, it seems like B is, is pretty, it's pretty mellow, but with the drinking and stuff, you know, that can definitely change your personality. So I don't know her personally and I couldn't tell you how she'd be behaving off camera. On camera, she seems cool, but I know that liquor will get to you, child. It'll have you acting like a whole nother monster. My friend Queen Chelsea says matters of the heart are difficult. I'm sure some of you can relate to having that one person we just have oh we just can't get rid of <clears throat> definitely definitely you already know when it comes to these situations with love and loving somebody that shit can get real crazy and have you looking real crazy so at the end of the day i understand what she's going through because it can be a back and forth and have you all messed up in the brain so that's why i said i wish the best for her and i wish that she can just be open enough to go back where she's really happy at because like i said it's not about the viewers and what we like and what we think it's about her true happiness so if that's where her heart lies, then I think she needs to go ahead and follow her heart so she can be happy. My friend Introverted Wifey says, now that y'all set the winds low, I can't unsee it. So Grams and, uh, and Steven, uh, Grams, oh, Grams the Stephen and Lily show. If, oh, oh, so who's Urkel? Okay, if so, who's Urkel? That's funny as hell, okay? Just asking for a friend. Okay, so now we're going to have to figure out, we're we going to have to figure out the damn, uh, we're going to have to figure out the rest of the characters because she said, is, is Graham Stefan and is Lily uh, on Lily's show? And if so, who's Urkel? That's funny as hell. So we're going to have to figure out the rest of the characters and who fits the bill for which one. She said, just ask it for a friend. And that's my friend, Jabretta Wifey. My friend, Brittany Monroe says, Lily's still stuck on Graham's. Definitely giving still stuck in that old, in that old thing, baby. Definitely giving still stuck on that old thing. My friend, D Cosmic says, yes, we definitely can, Chelsea. My friend, Lega Brick says, you think so, Brittany? Let me see. My friend, D Cosmic says, they both have issues. Michelle and my friend Michelle M says, I agree the relationship is toxic on both sides. Definitely toxic on both sides. Let me see. My friend Lega Brick says, most definitely. My friend D Cosmic says, if Lily was fully over grams and if B wasn't drinking so much, they probably could work. Definitely if she wasn't still mentally fucked up about grams and if B wasn't drinking so much, they would probably both be in a better mental space, which will make them probably be able to connect better than they have been before. Let me see. <clears throat> My friend Brittany Monroe says, yes. My friend Lega Brick says, I need a drink. Baby, look, that's hilarious. I'm over here trying to drink this water and trying to talk to y'all. I done almost ran out of water, so I'm finna start choking in a minute, y'all. My friend Lega Bricks with the crying laughing face. My friend D Cosmic says, LOL, no, Bricks, don't do it. That's funny. He's like, no, don't do it. Please don't. You're going to be over there acting like Big B, okay? My friend Brittany Monroe says, facts. My friend Lega Brick says, I can't. It's a Monday and I have some building to do. Look, say I can't get the drinking, okay? Because at the end of the day, I'm going to be all fucked up over here trying to do what I'm supposed to do, child. My friend Lega Brick says, also, uh, OG Wise is a nutcase. That's what I was trying to figure out is why uh, why the Winslows was up OG Wise ass like that because they was giving OG Wise the blues, baby. I'm saying they did not give a damn about how she felt about what they were saying. <laughs> Let me see. My friend D Cosmic says, girl, not OG Wise lying ass. That's hilarious. My friend D Cosmic says, yeah, that bitch is crazy as hell. That's hilarious, y'all, because I don't know very much about OG Wise besides the Winslows and what they were saying. So I've never seen her content or anything like that. But at the end of the day, based upon what they were saying, she crazy, okay? And after I heard her say that was her twin sister, after I heard y'all say that her that, that she said that was her twin sister, I was like, okay, she funny as hell for that. So she she must be she must be tripping, okay? My friend Michelle M said OG Wise was tripping real bad. My friend Lego Brick says OG Wise had like 20 pages, maybe 20, <laughs> 20 pages. Her, her twin sister and the rest of them damn twins she got, okay? She got 45 twin sisters and made a page for everybody. My friend uh, Mike Bice says, no, OG Wise was the first to realize Nick and Carla were having a real life influence on Lily. Okay, so is that where that came from? Is that why they kind of started getting into it with her is because of the Lily situation? Because I wasn't sure why they started getting on her orgrams, to be perfectly honest. 
My friend Leg Up Brick says they got nasty because OG Wise and Graham started doing the most. And also says anyone that watched both will see that, but OG Wise was extra as fuck and started uh, started a long time ago. And also says face car, face car. I was wondering what that what where that whole thing started from because at the end of the day, I that came out the blue to me because I didn't I wasn't familiar with OG Wise, so I just seen him all of a sudden tripping on her and was wondering what the hell was going on. My friend Michelle M says, "Yep, that, they stopped ignoring her, and she effed around and found out. Baby effed around and found out because they was on her ass." Okay, my friend Mindby says, "Grams and OG Wise <clears throat> started doing the most because they had to protect themselves from the internet bullies." So that's okay because I, I didn't even really see the retaliation from Grams or OG Wise. I only seen Nick and Carla going in on them, so I was wondering, like, then are they gonna say something? But you know, sometimes the best thing to do is let somebody do and say what they're gonna do and say and ignore them because. I mean, sometimes going back and forth with people don't work either. But I, I didn't really see any response from OG Wise or Grams out of that whole situation. Maybe it just didn't come across my timeline, but I didn't really see very much. Let me see. My friend Mindby says, not too much on OG with the <laughs> with the boxing fist. My friend Mindby is like, hold on now. Y'all going in on my friend and I ain't got the time for it, okay? My friend Lego Brick says, Grams was lying and OG Wise was Grams' puppet. Protect themselves from what? Reaction? That was for my friend Lega Bricks and also says, oh, I can go all day on OG on the real real. That's funny. Look, y'all finna be in here going back and forth about OG Wise and uh and um and the Winslows, baby. And they finna be into it again. As soon as they hear all this, they're gonna be like, oh hell no, because I got some some more to say about her. Okay. Let me see. My friend Mind Bite says, I understand that OG Wise method. Um, OG Wise methods may have come off a little challenged, but her heart was in the right place. And I still don't um don't negate the fact that she was the first one to realize the negative influence Nick and Carla had on Lily. So it sounds like what my friend Mindbikes is saying is that maybe OG Wise was calling calling Nick and Carla out for the stuff that she was saying. I mean, the stuff that they were saying about Nick, uh, not Nick and Carla, about Lily and Grams. Um, my friend Ben says OG Wise was talking, I mean, was stalking Nick and Carla. My friend Lega Brick says she needs to use her head and not her heart. She may be she may be an awesome person, but she's easily influenced her. She's easily influenced herself. She didn't know Grams was basically setting her up and telling her all her telling all her business. Lega Bricks, my friend Lega Bricks says, OG, I don't know if OG goes by pronouns. So no disrespect in that way. That's that's why sometimes if I if I say if I mention you guys, I try not to say he or she until I know for sure. Or you guys let me know what you like to be called because I don't want to be throwing stuff out there and y'all don't want to be called that. So I try to be respectful of that and try to address everybody the way that they want to be addressed. Now, OG wise, I'm not sure how, how that person would like to be addressed. So I just, I just say, say the name because I'm not sure exactly, you know, what, how they want to be addressed. So I just choose to say OG wise and not he or she, because I'm not sure who, who likes to, who likes what until I ask you and you clarify for me so I can be respectful, respectful of what everybody wants to be called. My friend Ben says, Yes, she was a puppet for Grams. My friend Mindby says she was not a puppet for Grams. She was in uh she was in support, and so am I. Let me see. And yeah, sometimes people feel certain types of ways. If you if you say stuff or if you don't say stuff, or if you have an opinion or don't have an opinion, they might feel like you a hater or you you uh too far up this person's ass. But for me, I choose to, you know, I choose to let everybody say how they feel. And at the end of the day, people call me a hater all the time because I'll be talking about these people, but at the end of the day, I support them regardless of what I say. So sometimes people have an opinion, but that don't mean that they don't like them and stuff like that. So, but like I said, everybody to each his own, everybody have an opinion. So I just choose, you know, I choose to try to be respectful and make my jokes, but still also support them as well. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Where am I at? My friend Lega Brick says, oh, table to cry and laughing face. My friend Ben says, it's a difference between support and crazy. My, my friend Mindby says, I agree, Ben. Um, let's see. Let's see. Sorry. My computer is not scrolling down y'all. Okay. So let's see my friend. Hold on y'all one second. Okay. I'm trying to scroll and make sure I'm catching up with the comments and my computer is stuck. I don't know why it's not scrolling down. Okay, here we go. Oh shit, now I don't know where I'm at. Hold on y'all. Okay, so I don't know why it's not scrolling. Okay, here we go. Um, yes, my friend Mike Bite says, I agree then. My friend Michelle M says, with a crying laughing face, at Lego Bricks, 
My friend Leg Up Brick says, yeah, heavy hung crazy. My friend Mind Bites the crying laughing face. My friend Mind Bites says, Colin, Colin Graham's a narcissist's crazy behavior as well. My friend Mind Bites says, ain't nobody no doctors. My friend Leg Up Brick says, yeah, I'm no shrink. So I don't call anyone anything, but at the end of the day, if you lie like Graham's did, there's something, there's something wrong for sure. Let me see. My friend Queen Chelsea says, I just think OG Wise was was not ready for the internet trolls and researchers, LOL. But I do think uh, initially she had a good, she had good intentions. My friend Mind Bite says, I agree with my friend LaShawn. I mean, my friend, sorry, my friend, you can love me or hate me with the crying laughing face. My friend Leg Up Brick says, this turned into Trump 2024 conversation. I'm done. That's hilarious. My friend Mind Bites with the crying laughing face and Michelle in with the crying laughing face. That's pretty damn funny. My friend, Mind Bite says, hit the like button. Please make sure you hit the like button. Please, please, please make sure you hit the like button. If you're in here and you're enjoying the conversation, please make sure you hit the like button. And hell, if you're in here and you ain't enjoying the conversation and you've been here this whole time, just go ahead and hit the like button anyway, okay, y'all? My friend, Mind Bites also says, subscribe. If you're in here and you haven't subscribed and you've been here and you haven't subscribed, please hit the like button and make sure you subscribe as well so that you do not miss the content because baby, we are back for the conversations, okay? We just, we talk about, as you can see, we talk about a little bit of damn everything in here, child. My friend Mind Bites with the Purple Hearts as well. My friend Lego Brick says, I appreciate you. It's Lego it's Lego builds and craziness. Thanks for the support. Of course, you know, I'm always coming over there to support you because like I said, I love the content and your consistency is off the chain. So definitely everybody make sure you go over there and head to my friend Lego Bricks and subscribe as well. My friend Lego Bricks also says, oh, I got one. Oh, I got one on there for the young mug. Also, I got mine and love it. Thank you so much. And I'm glad that you received it because I wasn't sure. It said delivered, but I wasn't sure if you actually got it. My friend Lega Bricks ordered one of my mugs. If you haven't seen them, I have the Keep It Real mugs. Definitely, if you want to go check it out, I'll leave the link under here. The link is on my last video as well. My friend Lega Bricks definitely showed some love and support and ordered. They're keeping it real mug and said they received it and they are loving it. Thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate that. I truly, truly do. I'm definitely going over there. You know, I'm going to head over there regardless and catch up content, but I will definitely be over there checking that out as well. I truly appreciate you for supporting me outside of YouTube as well and purchasing a mug. And anybody that's even went over there to go look at it, check it out, see what it looks like. I appreciate y'all so much. I truly, truly do. Thank you so much, my friend Lega Bricks. And I don't know if my friend um, I Am Kirby OK is in here, but my friend I Am Kirby OK also made a purchase and I truly appreciate that. And like I said, Mind Bites, uh, my friend Boo Bougie, everybody who's even mentioned it, talked to me about it, asked me a question about it. I truly, truly appreciate y'all because even just talking to me about it is enough for me. If you don't buy it, that's okay. Just even if you said something about it, baby, I appreciate it. So thank you so much, Lego Bricks. I truly, truly appreciate that. And I'm so glad that you got it because I was wondering how long it was going to take for you to get it for sure. And I'm glad it, it, it said delivered. And I was wondering if you actually got it. So I'm glad that you actually did receive it. Um, and that's for my friend Lego Bricks. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and pin that. Let me see my friend Life of Queen K. Thank you for being in here. I appreciate you for leaving a comment. Says she got a relationship and ghosted us. Are you talking about Tay? Who? Let me know who you were talking about when you said she got in a relationship and ghosted us. My friend Michelle M says, yep, Tay has matured a little bit since leaving LA. Not so much good time girl anymore. Yeah, she's definitely not party girl Tay no more. She went out there and she got on her grown woman stuff. And now the content is a little different. But like I said, I enjoy it regardless. Um, and that's from my friend Michelle M. My friend Queen Chelsea says she's from the show The Shy and she also lives in Chicago. That's what I was wondering is, is it the show The Shy or was she just saying that she was from Chicago? So that's what I was wondering. My friend, um, thank you for clarifying that. That's from my friend Queen Chelsea. My friend Siobhan Abrams says Chicago is a city located in Illinois. Um, okay, so yeah, that's I think you were I think you were referring to what I was saying, what what they what they meant by her being from the shy, Chicago or the show the shy. And that's from my friend Siobhan Abrams. Thank you for bringing that to the chat and thank you for chiming in. My friend D Cosmic says, you can. Tay is more aware of her image. Tay getting the sponsor, the sponsor bag. She have um, she has to move a certain way. So yeah, I think that the more sponsorships that she gets and the more, you know, the more level up she's getting, the more she's moving in a certain direction, which makes sense. Because I mean, you know, you can't be, you can't be doing the same things and wanting different results. So you gotta, you gotta move the right way if you want the results to change and you want them to look the way you want them to look. That's from my friend D Cosmic. My friend Mind Bite says Tay is running, running in that HBCU black girl rock type crowd now. Yeah, she's definitely hanging out with, and it's good to see her with some of these other people because it seems like it seems like she um now I don't know what some of these other people do, but it seems like she is finding 
more friends that are kind of similar to her and looking and kind of doing the same things that she's doing. Not that I'm saying anything about her LA friends, but her LA friends were more, more regular girls. You know, they weren't like, they weren't like the high class girls that were moving and shaking like that. They just seemed like pretty, you know, like the average girls and nothing's wrong with that. But I'm just saying, as far as the level up that she was trying to, you know, that she was trying to do, I feel like these girls fit that more than the girls that she was hanging out with in LA with. Let me see. And that was from my friend Mind Bites. My friend Lega Brick says taste content has shifted because of her growth. And baby, I'm here for it. I'm waiting for Lily's glow, grow up. I mean, glow up. I think Lily will hit that glow up as soon as she get out this little funk she's in. Because, like I said, I know Lily got it in her. At the end of the day, we've all seen, you know, we've all seen Lily in her good space, and we've seen Lily when she's on point. So at the end of the day, I think that um, I think that she's she's really. She's really just in a space right now that's kind of stunting her growth. So she can't she can't really um she can't really grow the way that she needs to grow if she don't get out of this mindset that she's in. Hold on, y'all. Give me one second. Okay, let me see. Let me see. My friend, my friend, like a brick says, AOD is going to be reading for. Look, I'm going to be reading forever because I'm a, I'm still an hour behind on these damn comments. Okay, child, y'all gonna have to stop talking to me, otherwise I ain't never gonna get off this damn computer because I still got a whole hour worth of comments to read, y'all, and I'm trying to get to all of them. But today might be the only day I don't get to all the comments because I'm supposed to be out of here a long time. I was supposed to be. Out my, I was literally supposed to be leaving my house at 3.30 and it's 3.48 and I'm still over here running my damn mouth, okay? So at the end of the day, I promise you, if I don't get to all these comments today, I truly, truly apologize, but it already been three hours and 14 minutes and I was only supposed to be on this damn thing for one hour today because I swore I was going to do what I needed to do. I said, I'm going to do this uh, live stream and I'm going to get up out of here because... I want to make sure that um, I get to talk to my friends and that at the end of the day, everybody get to say what they want to say and we all get to talk about the stuff. But baby, I'm so goddamn far behind on these comments. I might not be able to read everything. So I'm going so to skip through some of these comments and I'm going to get to the most recent ones because my friend Lego Bricks is so damn right. I'm going to be reading my ass off if I don't hurry up and get down to the bottom of this. So I'm going uh, to scroll down to the more relevant comments and then after I go do what I do, I'm going to come back and I'm going to read through the rest of the comments that I know I didn't make it to because Lord knows if I don't get my ass down to the most recent comments, baby, we're going to be in here for a whole nother hour and I ain't never going to see half of this shit. Okay. So let me try to scroll down to look, I'm at two hours. I mean, I'm my, the last comment I read was at like two, two seventeen, and it's damn three forty eight. So I know for sure I done missed hella comments. So I'm gonna scroll down so I can, um, so that I can, um, make sure that I get to at least some of the most relevant comments. I see some other people in here that I didn't get a chance to say hey to. My friend D Squad is in the building. Thank you for being here. Let me see who else did I see. Let me see my friend Shabon Latrice. Thank y'all for being in here. If you just got in here, I'm so sorry. My friend Shannon C, thank you for being in here. Thank you for subbing. I appreciate you. Some of these people, my friend Hope Denise is in the building. I did see that. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. And I'm still, I still made it through before Easter child. Okay. So I'm doing good, baby. I'm doing real good because. I'm what I'm about a good week or two before Easter. My friend Hope Denise told me last time we ain't gonna see D again till Easter. Okay, I appreciate you, friend. Thank you so much for being here. It says, Hey, I just got here. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Hope Denise. You already know I enjoy talking to you too. Let me see. My friend Ryan, my waves is in here. Some of these, sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to read all the comments, but I'm gonna make sure I say hey to at least the people that I can see. And if I missed you, that don't mean I don't want to talk to you, friend. That just mean. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to read my ass off like my friend said, and I'm trying to I'm trying to get to the the most relevant chatter. We're gonna be in here forever, okay? Um, let me see. My friend Eric Goldberg is in the building. Thank you for coming in here. I appreciate you. Said uh, Lily loves dirty. I mean Graham's dirty draws. Let me see. My friend I don't care. Twenty twenty is in the building. I appreciate you for making it through. My friend Ismo for sure. Make sure you go over there and head over to my friend Ismo for sure. She has a YouTube channel. Make sure you go over there and. Subscribe to her channel and send her some love. Let her know Real Tea with D sent you over. My friend Pink Bellini is in the building. Thank you for coming in. 
Sorry, y'all. I, 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 I usually read all the comments, but baby, when I say I was supposed to be out of here 20 minutes ago, I still got to get dressed and I'll do all this. I'll do a whole bunch of shit before I can even leave the house. So I'm not going to make it nowhere on time, number one. And number two, these people going to think I done lost my damn mind. So I'm going to try to scroll through the rest of these so I can say um, bye to all y'all before I head out. And like I said, if you in here and you new here and I didn't get a chance, or even if you in here and you've been here and I didn't get a chance to read your comment, please, please, please don't let that deter you from coming over again because usually I read all the comments, but today I got to make sure I get my ass out of here because I'm already late. So I apologize to anybody who's a uh, comment that I didn't get to read or respond to, but I have to scroll all the way down so I can make sure that I'm catching up enough to, to at least, to at least get to the end of it. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Now, my friend Hope Denise said, I don't watch Lily Graham's The Winslow's. I lost all y'all. Uh, I'm lost, but y'all are breaking it down as always. That's funny. She said, I don't watch none of these damn people. But look, my friends is definitely going to keep you in the um, keep you in the loop and let you know what's going on. Let me see. Let me see. Life of Deshante, October, October 92. Herbert, thank you for being in here. T, thank you for being in here. Uh, Sulin Bryant, I think, I think, I think that's how you say it. Sulin Bryant, thank you for being in here. Leanna Nash, I appreciate you. T, oh, I think I said that one. Um, let me see. Okay, yeah. So now I made it to the bottom. I made it all the way to the bottom. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna scroll up and make sure it's anybody I didn't that I didn't miss. Eric Goldberg, thank you for being in here. I think I said I don't care 2020. I appreciate you for making an in here. Shannon C, ride my wave. D Squad. Um, Siobhan Latrice, if anybody, now trust me, like I said, if anybody's in here and you new here, usually I read everybody's comments, but baby, I'm, I've been running my goddamn mouth so much and responding to some of these comments. My ass is all the way back an hour in comments. So I didn't get a chance to read everybody's comments today, but you already know, usually these conversations be going for miles because I got to respond to everybody. I got to respond to all my friends. Okay. My friend Cream794, thank you for being in here. It says smash the like button. I appreciate you for making sure that you remind people to smash the like button. Okay. Let me see. Helen Hicks, Lucinda Speaks TV. Thank you for being in here, friend. Thank you for making it over and thank you for leaving the purple hearts. I appreciate you. Um, anybody, anybody that's in here that um my friend Denny Moss is in the building. Make sure you guys head over to Denny Moss because she definitely is consistent and she definitely has good quality content. So make sure that you head over to her channel and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like her, her videos and send her some purple hearts and let her know that Real Tea with D sent you over, Chad, okay? Um, let me see. Let me see. Anybody else that I missed that I haven't been speaking to yet? I don't think so. I think everybody else, I pretty much got a chance to at least chime in on something that you said. My friend Lucinda Speaks says, hey, everybody, and hey, D, thank you for making it in, Lucinda. I appreciate you. Um, yes, I think everybody else I was able to at least respond to in the first two hours, Chow. Okay, my friend Phoenix Johnson is in the building. I appreciate you for coming through, and thank you for leaving a comment. Um, anybody else? Anybody else? I'm so sorry, y'all. If I didn't get to your comment or if I didn't get to say anything to y'all today, I truly apologize. Miss Bug is in the building. Thank you, Miss Bug, for being in here. Say, I know pickles and cheeses, child. Definitely the pickles and cheeses, okay? If I didn't get a chance to chime in with you today, don't even worry about it because look, now y'all don't call me no liar, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm coming back this week for a live stream so that we can catch up with the rest of the conversation because it's, it's a whole bunch of other stuff that I wanted to chime in on. And baby, we still got to talk about this uh, the Love Experiment show because I want to know how y'all felt about that with Tarzan on his TV show. So please hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell for the next live stream because I want to make sure that we touch on all these topics so that we can catch up to what's relevant so that by the time these new videos come out or we watch these new vlogs, we can chime in on those too. So please make sure you hit the notification bell so that when the next live stream comes up, we can talk about that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and try to, what's that, Monday? I'm going to go ahead and try to set the next live stream for Wednesday. So um, I'll put up a poll and I'll I'll put the poll up for Wednesday or Thursday. And y'all let me know which, which day y'all vote for either Wednesday or Thursday afternoon. And y'all let me know which day would be better for um better for the next live stream because I'm definitely going to do another live stream this week. My friend Life of Queen K is in the building. I appreciate you for coming through. So make sure that you uh, keep your eye out for the poll so that you can vote for either Wednesday or Thursday of this week so that we can come back in and we can... um chime in on the rest of these topics. And baby, 
Next week, leg up bricks. I'm I'm gonna read faster next week, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna read faster next week. That half of the problem is is because I'll read some shit that y'all put in here, and then after I read it, I'll be having a thousand things to say. So by the time I get to the next damn comment, it'd be 40 new comments, and so my ass be so behind because I, I got I got 20 minutes of goddamn conversation for one comment. Per comment, I got some whole 10 minutes of shit to talk about per every comment that I see. So that's half of my fault because I be talking so damn much. Every time I read a comment, I be having to hurry up and catch up. But then by the time, like I said, I'm trying to catch up, I'll be a whole hour behind. So next time, I'm definitely going to try to make sure that I keep my commentary short so that I can make sure I'm catching up on all the content. I mean, on all the comments. But this is honestly the first time I didn't get a chance to read all the comments. This is one of the first times I've ever had a live stream and didn't get to read everybody's comment. So I truly apologize to anybody who came in late and I didn't get a chance to chime in on what you said or, you know, chime in on your conversation, but that is not the usual. So if you ever come in here, please know that I'm going to talk to you too. And I'm going to catch up on all the comments. Okay. So please, please, please don't let today throw you off. Cause you probably like, I done brought my ass in here talking for nothing. Cause this lady is not talking to me. Okay. But like I said, I promise y'all when I come back, I'm catching up on everybody comments and we're going to talk about everything y'all want to talk about because Today, I'm just, I'm, I'm all over the place, okay? I'm running behind, I'm running in circles, and I'm trying to get up out of here, too. So, at the end of the day, it's it's going to be different next time, I promise, friends, okay? Let me see. My friend Leanna Nash is in the building, says, just got off work. Let me see. Let me see. My friend T says, yeah, because, uh, Miss D, you sound like you're on something. Miss D, you're acting kind of strange. I don't. That's hilarious. Says, you acting like you on something. Baby, what the hell? I sound like I'm on some drugs, because that's, <laughs> that's funny as hell. Let me see. That's hilarious because I'm like, what? I sound like I'm on what, friend? I sound like I'm on the drugs. I sound like I'm on the provitazine and the Percocet, like Lily said, child. Let me see. My friend Hope Denise says, it's okay. Go handle your business, child. This is long ass live. Baby, look, we've been in here for goddamn near four hours, okay? We ain't going to see you till April Fool's Day. <laughs> look, my friend said, we ain't going to see you till April Fool's Day now. First, she said, first, she said, y'all wasn't going to see me until Easter. Now, my friend said, April Fool's Day. She like, I got to push it back. I got to push it back a few days because your ass, your ass ain't coming no time soon. That's hilarious. She like, oh, four hours? You ain't coming back no time soon, friend. I just, okay. That is hilarious. My friend Hope Denise always be calling me out, and I love it. That is so funny to me. But I promise you, that's why I said I'm coming back this week. I'm going to make y'all vote either Wednesday or Thursday. But I'm coming back for sure, I promise. Just for you. Just You know, every time, I'm going to do it just for you because that's hilarious. My friend, let me see my friend uh, C. Lopez says, y'all have a wonderful day. See y'all soon. I appreciate you. Make sure you have a wonderful day as well. Um, my friend I don't care says, I must definitely be back. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for that. My friend, you can love me or hate me with the purple hearts. My friend Lega Bricks with the crying laughing face says, your live is a vibe. I appreciate that. And y'all are a vibe too. That's the reason I've been in here talking so damn long because I love y'all. Y'all be having me going. I swear, when I say I get in here and I only be supposed to be doing an hour and here we are three and a half hours later, it's because y'all be, my friends be in here giving me all the energy I need to keep on talking. And I truly appreciate y'all for that. Y'all are a vibe and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love talking to y'all. It's so fun and so funny. My friend, um, let me see, let me scroll down so I can get to the end. My friend C. Lopez says, you're doing, ama you doing amazing trying to keep up, D. Your talking skills are out of this world. Baby, um, thank you so much. I'll be talking a mile a minute and I'll be trying to talk as fast as I see these comments coming is as fast as I'll be trying to talk. And look, my ass is still behind, Chell. Says, great vibes. I appreciate you so much, C. Lopez. My friend, uh, Sulin Bryant says, do you, girl? I appreciate you. My friend T says, I'm a boy and you got a big mouth. Baby, I don't give a damn. You in here talking to us, so we're going to talk to you, too. And if you have that much of a problem with it, your ass wouldn't still be in here talking. So either get cussed out or come correct. But baby, at the end of the day, as much as you go, I'm going to go, too. And you've been in here listening for at least a damn hour. So, baby, as big as my mouth is, you must enjoy it. So keep on leaving your comments, child, because I don't give a damn what you got to say. My friend Lego Brick says, ooh, a troll, you made it, D. Oh, shit. Look, thank you, because at the end of the day, these trolls be thinking they doing something coming in here talking to me. That might be hood rap face tap, baby, okay? At the end of the day, these trolls be coming in here thinking they finna scare me, telling me I talk too much and I got a big mouth. Bitch, I could have told you that my damn self, okay? I don't know who you are, but at the end of the day, if you wanted to know about a big mouth and talking too damn fast, I could have mentioned that my damn self if you wanted me to at the end of the day, child. Black people sad, okay? So you must not be black, baby. We really ain't worried about you talking about black people, honey. At the end of the day, you coming in here being racist definitely ain't gonna help you out none. Now we just finna ignore your burnt out ass, okay? Because that was just that was just unnecessary, okay? At the end of the day, we moving on to the people who got some damn sense because we see T ain't got none. 
My friend Hope Denise says, we appreciate you. Bye-bye. Go do what you need to do. We'll be here. Thank you so much, friend. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Y'all have a great day and enjoy yourselves for the rest of the day. And look out for that poll and let me know how y'all feel about it and what y'all want to do either Wednesday or Thursday. And I will see all of y'all on the next live and in the next video. Peace.